Logging 10,000 Years into the Future Chapter 251 The Prayer Wheel, The Invisible Blade Wave 4. The Most Prosperous World Trade Plaza in Downtown Beihe Hanging Ling Sheng Pharmaceutical, at the door of the pharmacy of Xing Shantang, a tall figure walked in from the door. The shopping guide who had just arrived a few days ago, a little girl in her early twenties with a hint of greenness on her face who had just left the campus hurried up to meet her. Sir, may I ask you? As soon as the girl started speaking, she was stuck in her mouth and couldn't say it. He stood there, staring straight at the person in front of him. It was a young man in his twenties. Tall and straight, with an extremely well-proportioned figure and long, slender fingers. He has slightly long black hair, and his skin is as white as jade, as if it will glow. Wearing a simple casual suit, he stood in front of the girl, casually scanning the gestures and movements in the store. Let the girls subconsciously think of the cartoon handsome men on the covers of the romance novels. She swears that she has never seen someone better looking than the other person in reality. It's like carrying a beauty filter with you. Is he Ling Su there? The handsome young man who was shining all over asked the girl. He. He Ling Su. The girl blinked, and her unresponsive brain barely started to run 857. At this time, an old shopping guide behind him walked up quickly and said respectfully, Miss he is in the office, I'll take you there. No need. The handsome young man shook his head greeted the two casually, and then walked straight into the store. The girl kept staring at the figure of the handsome young man until it disappeared, and the whole person was still dazed. Did you look stupid? The old shopping guide next to her stretched out a hand and shook it in front of her. The girl shuddered, her pretty face immediately turned red, and she shook her head shyly, no, no. He couldn't help but be curious, and asked, Sister Lee. Who is this? Miss He's distant cousin, how is it, is he handsome? Handsome? The girl nodded earnestly, I've never seen anyone more handsome than him. The grass and school grass in the university used to be far worse than him. Right. The old shopping guide sighed and said in a complicated tone, not only is he handsome, but he is also a top martial arts genius. The champion of martial arts in the whole country, it is said that some time ago, he also won the first place in the National College Student Martial Arts Conference. The girl's eyes widened, shock and disbelief written all over her face. But it soon returned to normal. Just looking at the appearance, such a character is already a star in the sky to her. Coupled with the dazzling halo that followed, it was just a change from a star to a moon. No matter which one. It's far away for her. It is an unattainable existence. The girl shook her head, threw out the unrealistic thoughts in her mind, and concentrated on the shopping guide in front of her. Occasionally, the eyes can not help but drift to the direction of the owner's office in the store. Looking forward to seeing that figure again. Is everything ready? All right. Um. L. Yu Shang raised his hands and stood there casually. He Ling Su came up consciously and helped him put on the pharmacist's uniform, protective glasses, and gloves. Then he turned to go out, and took the initiative to close the door before leaving. L. Yu Sheng didn't delay. As soon as the mental power swept the blending room, it immediately began to refine. With his current mental strength, it is estimated that dozens of sixth-level pharmacists are not as efficient as him. A large number of medicinal materials are processed in different categories, and then without a second delay, they are put into the next step. Every step is precise and perfect. Dazzling Operation In front of L. Yu Sheng, the top-level pharmacy blending room that had been overhauled and upgraded by He Ling once seemed to have become an orderly pharmacy factory. Tubes of golden potions were quickly produced and placed in front of L. Yu Sheng. After a while, all processes stopped. In front of L. Yu Sheng, there were 45 6 level golden dragon saliva. L. Yu Sheng picked up a tube and took a sip. After tasting it, he felt right, and then he drank all the rest of the potion. Then the second tube, 
the third tube, the fourth tube. Within a minute, all the golden dragon saliva that had just been released was consumed by El Yu Sheng. With the help of mental power, not even a tiny bit of the medicine remained in the tube. Cleaner than flushed with water. Forty-five golden dragons salivated, and El Yu Sheng's stomach bulged slightly. Then quickly calmed down again. A hot stream of heat radiated out of his body. The medicinal effects of 45 tubes of golden amber grease were quickly digested and absorbed by El Yu Sheng. Converted into qi and blood, part of it was injected into the immortal cells of the Yintang Temple in the eyebrows, and the other part was collected in the chest again. A pigeon pill-sized blood pill was slowly condensing. Second blood coagulation pill, it's only me. El Yu Sheng sighed, and threw the potion bottle in his hand into the sink, anyway. He Ling Su would clean it up afterward. In the past two days, he asked Zhao Kangtai to convert all the credits he had left in school into grade six different marrow fluid and send it over. L. Yu Sheng left a part to fill the deficiency of the body after the immortal cells, and the remaining part was exchanged for money at the martial artist's home. L. Yu Sheng is really short of money now. Almost all of the main materials of the praying wheel knife are Mijin and there are also a small amount of auxiliary materials that are not inferior to Mijin. Although the inner wheel knife does not use broken ink star iron, the replacement material star grain steel is more expensive than dense gold. It will cost nearly 10 billion to build a single inner wheel knife. An extremely exaggerated number. Exaggerated to the point that L. Yu Shendu doubts that in the face of such a huge wealth value, has the currency completely lost its meaning? Shouldn't it be better to use value in exchange? Actually, it's not bad. With my current strength and he links his business, I can easily earn more than 1 billion yuan every year. 10 billion is just 8 or 9 years. It's just that 1989 is too long, and L. Yu Sheng can't afford to wait. I heard that on the battlefield, as long as you have strength, it's like picking up money. I hope enthusiastic netizens don't lie to me. L. Yu Sheng took off his pharmacist's clothes, discarded the disposable mask and gloves, and walked out of the pharmacy dispensing room with a calm face. He Ling Su always stood guard at the door. How about the recent sales of Yang Sui Dan? Good. After a brief chat with He Ling Su, L. Yu Sheng left point zero. The money-making machine of Ling Sheng Pharmaceutical is still a little small at present, but sooner or later it will grow bigger and bigger like a snowball bringing him unexpected surprises. It really doesn't work, just buy some leftover technology. I guess I can exchange some money. L. Yu Sheng was walking on the street, thinking at random, while speeding up his steps. His speed is getting faster and faster. The surrounding people and traffic, various scenes become blurred, and then pulled into lines of different colors and L. Yu Sheng still maintained the attitude of strolling in the courtyard. He walked towards the outskirts of the city. Now within a radius of dozens of kilometers, L. Yu Sheng can walk faster than taking a taxi. More than 100 kilometers, you still have to take a car. Because of the cost of shoes. In about 10 minutes, L. Yu Sheng came to the foot of Lank Mountain on the outskirts of the city. This time, L. Yu Sheng didn't choose to go up the mountain. He turned around and walked towards the other side of the mountain road. Lank Mountain has been developed into a scenic spot on one side, and the other side is densely forested, which is an undeveloped cliff valley. L. Yu Sheng walked into the forest and moved through the forest like a ghost. Step over a creek. There is a wild deer drinking water by the stream. L. Yu Sheng walked by, bringing a slight wind. The wild deer raised his head alertly, looked around and lowered his head again. Soon, L. Yu Sheng came to a place. It's here. L. Yu Sheng stopped and looked at the rocks and rocks, slightly satisfied. He spread out his mental energy and swept it casually. There were no people nearby, just some small animals. Not far behind the mountain wall, there are two warriors, who do not know what they are doing, standing there. It is estimated that it will not affect them. At most, there will be some movement, and I am too lazy to change places. 
L. Yu Sheng thought for a moment and then decided. SHHHHH. The sound of blades crashing sounded from under L. Yu Sheng's clothes. Then, the silver blades flew out of L. Yu Sheng's cuffs quickly, like silver grey butterflies. Hundreds of silver blades combined into a huge crescent 4.8 shaped blade wheel on top of L. Yu Sheng's head, shining strangely in the sun. Try it. L. Yu Sheng stared at the mountain wall in front of him, and his eyes shone little by little. I've been practicing for a few days and praying for the wheel knife. How strong is it? L. Yu Sheng licked his lips, then raised his hands and faced the mountain wall in front of him in a posture of holding a knife in the void. Invisible fluctuations emanated from him, and his spiritual power quickly condensed together. Transform into shape and form. Behind L. Yu Sheng, a transparent figure formed by distorted air that could barely be captured with the naked eye appeared quietly. The huge transparent figure was exactly the same as L. Yu Sheng's gestures. He raised his hands and held the huge silver knife wheel in his hands. Pray for a round knife, cut. L. Yu Sheng slashed with both hands. The twisted human figure behind him also completely synchronized with his movements, grabbing the silver knife wheel and slashing down towards the mountain wall. In an instant, an indescribable, invisible, and qualitative half-moon-shaped terrifying blade wave was released. Not into the mountain wall. At the same time, on the other side of the mountain wall, two figures were facing each other. Chapter 252 Look me in the eyes, cub. 1. Two figures, one of which is a middle-aged man in his forties, with a strong physique. In the cold weather in December, he was only wearing a vest and shorts, showing his muscles as strong as a rock. You chose this place well. The middle-aged man glanced around and said casually, it's the most suitable place to bury bones. If you die here, no one will know. The corpse was eaten up by wild animals that night. The middle-aged man was confronted by a young man in his thirties. He was equally imposing, a little like that kind of bodybuilder, but his muscles were like iron ingots, and he didn't have the slightest sense of frivolity as a bodybuilder. This is also the cemetery that I specially selected for you. The young man's face was hideous, he raised his fists and collided lightly on his chest, his whole body rattled, and said, Wei He, you are a beast who is not as good as a pig or a dog. Back then, I killed my teacher for the sake of the crane show. Today I, Jia Jia Long, are going to beat you to death with one punch and one punch, in order to avenge the revenge for killing the master and taking the law. Ha ha! The middle-aged man sneered, Did you float away after staying abroad for a few years? Who gave you the confidence? While speaking, the middle-aged man looked around casually, but his eyes were actually full of vigilance. He was invited to fight by this enemy disciple who had returned from cultivating in front of him, not because he was afraid of the opponent's strength, but because he was worried about an ambush or some other means. His eyes swept across the surrounding trees, and there was nothing unusual. Suddenly, he stopped at the mountain wall not far from his side. Seems a bit out of eleven. The middle-aged man narrowed his eyes and wanted to look more closely. The next second. Pupils narrowed sharply. What are you looking at? The strong young man found that his opponent who had a deep hatred in the blood sea suddenly stared at the rocky rock wall on one side, and his heart was filled with anger, and he couldn't help shouting, Look straight into my eyes, bastard. I'm going to kill you. He was like a furious lion, roaring loudly as he walked towards the middle-aged man's position. At this moment, there was a soft sound of swoosh in the ear. The strong young man subconsciously turned his head to look. I saw a long white line suddenly appeared on the rock wall more than ten meters away from them. Immediately afterwards, an invisible wave of light that was difficult to capture by the naked eye emerged from the mountain wall. It swept past the strong young man's nose less than a foot in front of him. Wherever he passed, the air twisted. The strong young man's muscles tensed in an instant, the hair on his whole body stood up, and his scalp was numb. It's like when you're casually playing with your phone and crossing the road, 
a big truck full of goods suddenly drives past 120 yards with your face. That creepy feeling. Crack knock. There was the sound of trees falling down. The strong young man twisted his neck stiffly and looked to the other side. I saw that in the dense forest, there was a long trail that looked like it was cut by a huge sickle. Whoosh hoot. The field fell into an eerie silence, and only the strong young man could be heard gasping for breath. And middle-aged men. Both of them stood stiffly in the same place as if they had been hit by the petrification technique. They were a little overwhelmed and uneasy by the great horror and terror that appeared for no reason. Kakaka. A tooth-crushing sound rang out. The two suddenly looked up and saw that on the rock wall of the mountain where the terrifying invisible ripples appeared just now, huge cracks appeared quickly, spreading. After just a few breaths. Boom. The lower half of the rock wall of the entire mountain collapsed suddenly. Whispering. The sound continued for several minutes. New rock walls keep appearing after the collapsed rock. 5 meters, 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters. The eyes of strong young and middle-aged men kept widening. This can almost be regarded as opening a mountain tunnel. It was completely caused by the terrifying invisible wave light just now. If this falls on people. The two of them tightened their scalps and didn't dare to think about it. Finally, the rock collapse ended. The smoke and dust dissipated, and behind the scattered rocks, a slender and tall figure gradually emerged. The pupils of the two strong young men shrank suddenly, as if their hearts were suddenly clenched tightly by some invisible big hand. I saw that it was a handsome young man who looked only under twenty years old, extremely young. A huge crescent-shaped silver knife wheel is suspended above his head. His eyes passed through the layers of space and calmly fell on the two of them. Their bodies were suddenly tense, their mouths were dry, and they wanted to step back, but their legs didn't obey them at all, and they were nailed to the ground. There is a terrifying feeling of being stared at by some wild beast. The handsome young man looked at the two of them, thought for a moment, and said, You guys, continue, don't worry about me. After speaking, his figure and the silver knife wheel disappeared together, as if they had never appeared. Guru. The middle-aged man swallowed hard, turned his head pale, forced a smile, and said, I suddenly remembered that something happened today, let's fight next time, that's it. After speaking, he ran into the woods and disappeared without a trace in the blink of an eye. The strong young man stood there, his entire back completely soaked with sweat. As soon as the forest wind blew, there was a chilling feeling, and goosebumps all over my body. Ha ha! The strong young man pointed in the direction the middle-aged man was leaving, and smiled as if he was crying, Forget about your escape, you son of a bitch. When I return from diving next time, I will squeeze all your shit out. After speaking, he ran without saying a word. What realm has my spiritual power reached now? Level 7, or Level 8. On the way back, L. Yu Sheng sorted out what he had just learned. I don't know if there is a Level 8, but it must be far beyond Level 7. The Grey Roulette of Shiquan Master Dao is inlaid with no less than 10 wills of Masters and Great Masters. It is precisely because the spiritual power is so powerful that the power of the Pray for Heaven's Wheel Knife is so impressive. Just after the slash of the Invisible Blade Wave, L. Yu Sheng felt that even if it was an eighth level sect, if it was head on, it would be divided into two sections. And this has not yet used the will of the Master, the Immortal Cell, and the State of the God of War. If the divine illumination of the Pluto Sutra breaks through to the second level, to the point where it can increase spiritual power, how strong should this move be? L. Yu Sheng felt looking forward to it when he thought about it. Praying for the heaven's wish wheel knife is actually a high degree of compression using mental power, squeezing the air, and forming a knife wave effect similar to vacuum killing in the air. Although the principle is simple, it is very complicated to operate. It not only requires a strong mental power control ability, but also requires a strong mental power as the basis. Of course, power and difficulty are also directly proportional. 
The inner wheel knife technique is more about the attainment of the knife technique. My current knife technique is only in control, and it's a little weaker. L. Yu Sheng thought about finding a sword technique in the dream space to hunt down and get the other party's inheritance memory. This is the fastest way to improve his sword technique. This is still the praying wheel knife I displayed with the infernal knife wheel. There are quite a few incompatibility between weapons and tactics. It's like using a stick to use a spear, the power is at least 30% or 40% weaker. However, the forging of the wish wheel knife still requires a lot of money, and for the time being, I can only make do with the endless knife wheel. Praying for the heavens, wishing the sword, praying for the heavens, praying for the heavens. Because when you use this sword technique, you often need to raise your hands above your head, as if praying to the heavens, so you use this name. L. Yu Sheng thought about it, got on the fast lane, and walked towards home. Tomorrow morning at 9,387, is it Beihe City Airport? Okay, I got it. L. Yu Sheng, who was sitting at the desk, hung up the phone, unable to say what he was feeling. The phone call from the Eastern Military Region finally came again to officially confirm the time for him to go to the military region. Just tomorrow. And it seemed that a fighter plane was sent to pick him up and landed at Beihe Airport temporarily for only 15 minutes. Ufei seems to be very busy, he doesn't even have time to make a phone call. It was originally agreed that Dong Qingxiu and Qin Shaijun would come to pick me up and changed the plan. L. Yu Sheng casually played with the phone in his hand, thinking silently. Of course, he didn't pay much attention to this. When the front line of the war zone was not well protected, there would be a war emergency. It was normal for Yu Fei to be temporarily recruited to the battlefield. Battlefield. L. Yu Sheng leaned back in his chair and looked sideways at the sky outside the window. In the blue sky, there were a few snow white clouds. Occasionally I heard cars passing by and people walking and talking. Everything seemed so peaceful and peaceful. The beauty in front of me is all that the frontline soldiers exchanged with their flesh and blood. I should be deeply honored to have the opportunity to personally participate in the protection of this tranquility. L. Yu Sheng said to himself silently, just find a chance to tell the family later. He stood up, lay down on the bed, and quickly entered the dream space. The familiar grey sky, L. Yu Sheng once again appeared on the dilapidated street in the dream space. Take out the brain. Inquiry Base 1359 is a martial artist who majors in swordsmanship, the filter criteria. L. Yu Sheng thought about it and said, above the eighth level. Screening. Soon, yellow light spots appeared on the virtual map in front of L. Yu Sheng's eyes. L. Yu Sheng casually clicked to check. Suddenly, his eyes lit up and saw an unexpected suitable target. Chapter 253 the Splendid Battle Damaged Martial Artist Board the Plane 2. May the Sword Flow, Gu Xian L. Yu Sheng tapped the yellow dot with his finger, and a personal profile was enlarged and presented. The first is a personal photo of a young man with handsome features and calm eyes. Seeing that he was only in his thirties, the data showed that he was almost ninety years old. Strength Ninth Grade L. Yu Sheng inhaled lightly, but a little bit of excitement flashed in his eyes. Martial Saint Level Powerhouse Although it is a zombie with only fighting instinct, it should also allow me to feel a little power of the 9th level Martial Saint. Now the 8th level Grand Master level zombies have little threat to L. Yu Sheng. Occasionally, he can only come across one or two existences that can cause a little pressure on him. After using the whole card, he can also be killed successfully. That is to say, it's time for L. Yu Sheng to upgrade and change the map to spawn monsters again. The strongest martial artist in base 1359 is only level 10. If I can get down to level 9, I'll probably be able to get through the dungeon number 1359 and go to other bases to explore. L. Yu Sheng Neng has grown rapidly so far except for the inheritance of the three major 11-level exercises. 
the many treasures of martial arts of the 7th and 8th level masters that have been harvested along the way are also crucial reasons. If you compare L. Yu Sheng's martial arts practice to building a house, those three major 11th level exercises have laid an extremely solid foundation for him. And the treasures of martial arts of the 7th level or 8th level powerhouses he obtained were bricks, reinforced concrete and concrete, which were piled up crazily. On the foundation, the Marshall Dao high-rise building that helped L. Yu Sheng quickly rose from the ground. This is still the case at the 7th and 8th levels, not to mention the martial arts treasures of the 9th and even 10th level powerhouses. It is conceivable that once L. Yu Sheng opens this gap, his strength will inevitably usher in an unprecedented period of rapid growth. Try it. L. Yu Sheng was excited, his whole body was on fire, and he slowly ignited. He walked towards the position of the yellow light spot along the display of the optical brain map. Don't worry, just take care of some yellow spots along the way. Wish the sword to flow the martial arts, it is estimated that he is one of the disciples of the martial arts that Duan Yifeng opened up. If you can get it, it can be said to be seamless. L. Yu Sheng walked on the street, and with a flick of his figure, he appeared in front of a grand master level zombie. Just as the latter became violent, L. Yu Sheng casually grabbed his neck. Twisted his head off like picking an orange. His. A black line of smoke rushed into L. Yu Sheng's nostrils, the martial arts experience was branded into the body, and the martial arts will was attributed to the grey roulette. Strength has increased. The heroic spirit is immortal. L. Yu Sheng stood in front of this master level zombie and said in a low voice. Then step over the battle suit it's left behind and move on. Along the way, two Grand Master level zombies and one Grand Master level zombie were sent away. Three huge martial arts memories poured into his mind in a row, and L. Yu Sheng felt a slight swelling between his brows. Almost dot. He finally stood in front of the target. L. Yu Sheng narrowed his eyes and looked at the young man in front of him. The latter is wearing a streamlined black combat armor slender and tall, holding a long black knife in his right hand. Although the armor is full of scars and the long blade is full of gaps, it still reminds L. Yu Sheng of the hero of the battle manga. And it's the kind of male protagonist who wears battle damage makeup. He's really handsome. This is also the closest zombie L. Yu Sheng has seen in the dream space. The appearance of the young man is very similar to the photo, except that the complexion is dull and the cheeks are slightly thin. He stood alone in the empty street, with the broken earth under his feet and the grey and depressing sky behind him. When L. Yu Sheng approached, he slowly raised his drooping head, and that glance was peerless. Even L. Yu Sheng was a little amazed. I want battle damage makeup too. L. Yu Sheng murmured in a trance. Taking the next breath, the young man walked towards L. Yu Sheng step by step. He walked very slowly, but very fast. On the way, the young man slowly raised the long knife in his hand. In an instant. The new moon is rising, the heavenly sword is coming. L. Yu Sheng's pupils shrank suddenly, and a grey light bloomed in the deepest part of his eyes, almost subconsciously entering the martial god state. I am God. L. Yu Sheng rushed up and the two figures collided fiercely. White River Airport. The ultimate VIP lounge in the waiting hall. L. Yu Sheng sat on a large and comfortable massage chair, casually playing with a silver pendant in his hand. The pendant is made of sterling silver, but the color looks a little duller than ordinary silver, and it looks a bit spread. There is no pattern on it, just a round shape. L. Yu Sheng rubbed the pendant for a while then tucked the pendant into his pocket, reached out and rubbed his eyebrows, a bit of exhaustion in his eyes. The ninth level, as expected of the ninth level. In the battle in the dream space yesterday, L. Yu Sheng lost. This is also the first defeat he has suffered since he started the martial god state. L. Yu Sheng had a feeling of being split in his brain by a knife. Strong. However, it is not only the ninth level who is stronger but also the person who is ninth level. I really underestimate the power of wish wheels. After all, 
it is the Dao passed down by the 11th level powerhouse. Although it is only in the form of an inner wheel knife, it also points directly to the 11th level Dao. In the hands of the 9th level martial saint, combined with the swordsmanship of the four realms, it is displayed. It's a miracle I'm alive. Liu Sheng recalled the battle yesterday. He almost used all his cards, except that the weapons and equipment were not in perfect condition, and even the immortal cells were used. But he was still beaten, not to mention that he had no power to fight back, anyway, it was very embarrassing and miserable. Every knife of the young Marshal Saint Gu Xian is absolutely stunning, like a stone-shattering shock, the sudden light of aura, the thunder of the sky. L. Yu Sheng has also seen Tan's Hongaihu's swordsmanship, which is very sharp. But compared to Gu Xian, the Firefly and Haoyu are not enough to describe. Of course, it also has something to do with the Tan's Hongaihu's swordsmanship that L. Yu Sheng has seen is only a part of the Master Realm. But the pattern, the intention can be seen. Really bad. The Tao of the 11th level and the Tao of the 9th level are completely different concepts. The more this is the case, the more eager L. Yu Sheng is in his heart. Mine, sooner or later it's mine. Majoring in Gun Lane? After laughing, children make choices, adults, all of them. In fact, if it was just a defeat, L. Yu Sheng would not be so dejected. Mainly, he also made a few talismans for his family this morning. In the Mayan Pendant, there is a will of martial arts that belongs to him, and when the wearer is faced with a life and death crisis, it will burst out and resist the crisis. This little trick is the use of spiritual power that L. Yu Sheng searched from the Tinder Resource Library after his authority was elevated. In the future, Martial arts will be quite popular for 10,000 years, and almost everyone in the family of many strong people will carry several pieces with them. Objects that contain the will of the top powerhouses in martial arts can be fired at sky-high prices. I hope there will be a day when it doesn't come in handy. L. Yu Sheng thought. There was a rustling voice in the ear. L. Yu Sheng was not alone in the entire lounge. There is a man and two girls. The man is probably in his early forties, dressed in a suit and leather shoes, wearing a famous watch on his hand, a corporate executive, and the temperament of a business elite. The other two girls were in their early twenties and looked like college students. L. Yu Sheng glanced at him, his appearance and body were very good, the two sat behind L. Yu Sheng, kept talking with their heads together, and occasionally looked at L. Yu Sheng. L. Yu Sheng didn't care. He took out his phone and opened a map at will. The map shows the topographical location of the eastern part of the Dragon Kingdom. This map is very common and can be found anywhere on the internet. But in the eyes of Liu Sheng, this map was marked with gold or silver dots. Each point represents a huge wealth. There are still many distribution points of dense gold and dense silver mines in the east, but I don't know if they have been developed. If I can find one or two, I pray that the cost of building a round knife will be. L. Yu Sheng thought about it, and if he wanted to earn such a large amount of wealth in a short period of time, I am afraid he had to go mining. Anyway, it's not that they haven't dug. Boom. The sound of continuous planes flying by. A, zhao zhao zhao, a snow white passenger plane brushed overhead and landed slowly. A jet black fighter jet followed. Everyone in the lounge stood up. Our plane has arrived. One of the two female college students looked out the window and shouted, Hey, why are there fighter jets? I guess it's some kind of mission. Let's go, the boarding announcement will come out in a while. The middle-aged man in a neat suit also put away the magazine in his hand and stood up, picking up a briefcase beside him. L. Yu Sheng glanced at the time, then checked the number on the fighter jet and also picked up his luggage and stood up. Several people came out of the lounge one after another. The other three didn't take anything, only L. Yu Sheng had the most luggage. A silver suitcase, as well as the weapons to carry around. When walking through the boarding passage, L. Yu Sheng caught up with the people in front of him. Two fair-skinned and charming female college students glanced at him, and one of them smiled and said to him, 
handsome guy, weapon packages need special consignment and can't be brought on the plane. Don't get kicked out for a while. The other girl also watched him cover her mouth and chuckle, her watery eyes wandering, staring at Liu Sheng nonstop. Liu Sheng Chong smiled and replied casually, I'm on a different plane than you. Chapter 254 The Level of the Burrow, The Battlefield of the Star 3. Don't be kidding. There's only one flight here, you don't take this one. Through the window of the passage corridor, the girl pointed to the black fighter jet that had just stopped for a long time in the distance, and giggled, can you still get on that plane? L. Yu Sheng saw a few figures in military uniforms coming down from the black fighter jet, and they seemed to be walking towards this side. After thinking about it, he tilted his head and smiled at the two girls. Goodbye. After speaking, the whole person jumped out from the passage window like a phantom. In just a few blinks of an eye, L. Yu Sheng's figure turned into a small black spot, close to the position of the fighter. Sky. The two girls were instantly stunned, and subconsciously lay down at the window, staring with wide eyes. A few people went through the VIP channel, and there were only a few people in the entire channel. Including middle-aged men in suits who have just been walking in front. This guy looked serious, but in fact he was secretly paying attention to the conversation of the two girls. Hearing the movement at this time, he also turned his head to watch. The three of them watched as Liu Sheng turned into a small dot, and had a little contact with a few people in military uniforms who got off the fighter jet. Then it was quickly sent to the plane, and then the fighter jet, which had not stopped for a long time, started again. Boom! It took off in a blink of an eye and disappeared above the clear blue sky in an instant. What? The two girls and middle-aged men in suits who were lying at the aisle window were all dumbfounded their expressions dazed and sluggish. So, that fighter jet just now. Was specially here to pick him up. Ho! The earth quickly receded under the feet, and the black fighter jets were inserted into the sky like arrows. It's not the first time that L. Yu Sheng has taken a plane, but a military fighter jet, it's the first time. L. Yu Sheng stared at the window of the fighter plane for a while, then turned around his eyes fell on a tall man in front of him. This man 903 looked at his early forties, with a square face and extremely short stubble. Wearing a dark blue military uniform, burly and strong. Hello, let's meet. The man stretched out his calloused broad palm and said, Eastern Theater, 1182 Division, Major General Yu Fei Sits Chin Huihu. L. Yu Sheng's eyes stopped for a moment on his shoulders. Just like Dong Qingxiu and Qin Shia Jun, they are all school officials' shoulder badges, but they need one more star. Colonel Rank. Hello. L. Yu Sheng stretched out his hand to shake him a little, then thought about it and said, Our head Qin and Qin Shia Jun relatives. Qin Huihu smiled and nodded, Uncle and nephew. L. Yu Sheng was stunned. The Eastern Theater where we are going now. No. Qin Huihu shook his head and said, Recently, a new burrow crack has appeared, the front line is tight, and the division has been fighting fiercely on the front line for many days. Our team is here for reinforcements. When I pick you up, I will rush to the front line as soon as possible. Oh. L. Yu Sheng nodded. No comments, but a little bit of anticipation. How long will it take? L. Yu Sheng asked again. About two hours. Qin Huihu replied. L. Yu Sheng didn't ask any more questions, found a seat on both sides of the cabin and sat down, waiting quietly. Qin Huihu looked at the young man who could almost be called a teenager in front of him, his face was calm, but his heart was filled with waves. When I came here, I had a rough look at L. Yu Sheng's information but Qin Huihu knew. The young man who looks like a college student sitting in front of him is a rare young master. Boy, master. Heavy, BBDJ, two words. I have been fighting on the battlefield for many years, and I am only at the peak of the sixth level, and I have not even touched the threshold of a grandmaster. 
I don't even know if there is any hope of being promoted to Grand Master in this life. He is already 57 this year. People's lives have just begun, and they are already standing at the end of their own lives. Qin Huihu sighed in his heart and sat down on the seat. At this time, L. Yu Sheng asked, Can you briefly tell me about the situation in the Eastern Theatre? Qin Huihu's back was subconsciously straight, a bit like the attitude of a subordinate when he was reporting his work to a superior, and said solemnly, Yes. The battle situation in the Eastern Theatre has always been very anxious, and it has eased a little in the past two years, but this time the new borough appears. I am afraid that it will have to go through another period of difficulties. It is said that this new basement crack is likely to be rated A, which is even worse. It is estimated that the front of the entire Eastern Theatre will be pushed back because of this. A level. L. Yu Sheng's eyes flickered, and he asked, Is the cracks in the burrow also graded? Certainly. Qin Hui who replied with a natural expression, the grade of the burrow is related to the size of the crack in the burrow, the size of the alien beast, and the strength level of the alien beast. The strongest is the SSS level burrow, and there are a total of nine in the world that can be detected by humans. Fortunately, in the Dragon Kingdom, there is not a single one. Then down, there are double S level burrows, S level burrows, triple A, double A, and so on. What is the concept of a grade A burrow? L. Yu Sheng asked. Qin Hui who thought about it for a while, and then made an analogy, A level burrows, even if an 8th level Grand Master enters, there is a certain risk of falling. So scary. L. Yu Sheng was surprised, what about the pairs of A and 3A, or even the S level, 3S level burrows? Isn't it difficult for the 9th level Martial Saint to enter and survive? Theoretically yes. Qin Hui Hu nodded and said, but it's only theoretical, because no great grandmaster or martial sage will go deep into the bottom of the crack in the cave. In fact, as long as it doesn't go too deep, ordinary 5th or 6th level warriors can also survive in the cracks in the A-level burrows. L. Yu Sheng understood. Just like playing a game, the crypt crack is a copy of the game. The deeper the difficulty, the greater the risk factor. But as long as you don't hold the idea of clearing the level and brush the previous level, it is not so dangerous. It may even be that many burrows do not need to be entered, as long as they are guarded at the entrance of the dungeon, and the monsters that have run out will be fine. If I can completely open up the SSS level burrows, will I be able to uncover the truth about the invasion of alien beasts? This idea popped into L. Yu Sheng's mind quickly snuffed out again. This goal is too far and unrealistic for him at this stage. However, in recent years, there have been several riots of alien beasts in several double S level burrows in the Dragon Kingdom, and there is a tendency to evolve into a triple S level. If there is such a day. Qin Hui Hu's tone was a bit heavy, and he said in a low voice, I'm afraid that if all the marshals of the major military regions are dispatched, it will be difficult to suppress. The three martial sages have to take action in person. L. Yu Sheng understood. No wonder the military is so eager to train a ninth level martial arts expert. It is estimated that I don't want to have such a day, when the big bosses of the military have to bow their heads and ask others for help. Although they were all from the Dragon Kingdom, and it was related to the safety of the people, it was impossible for the three martial saints not to take action. But. What is the majesty of the military? What's the face? In the end, it's still a matter of face. L. Yu Sheng sighed in his heart. At this time, Qin Hui Hu looked at him and said, When you join the military region, it is estimated that you will be awarded the rank of Major General immediately, and you will definitely have more opportunities to contact the burrows. I don't know much. L. Yu Sheng was curious, What do you mean? it seems that my future development in the military will be different from yours. Nature is different. Qin Hui Hu said sternly, you are a seventh level master, and you are a general in the military. Generals have the rank of generals, and generals also have their battlefields. As far as I know, 
the Grand Master General seeing mostly fights in the form of small teams and individual soldiers. Dedicated to carrying out various tasks issued by the military. Qin Huihu slapped his thigh and said, It's a bit similar to the credit assignments you received in Wuhan University. However, if you have outstanding talent in the military, you can also take the route of commanding the legion. L. Yu Sheng's eyes lit up, and he had a few general outlines in his mind about his upcoming career in the theater. If it is true as Qin Huihu said, then his plan to search for the Mayan mine in the war zone will undoubtedly be much more convenient. Thinking about it carefully, it is true that a master level powerhouse does not play a great role on the battlefield. Instead, it is more effective for tasks such as exploration, collection, decapitation, and rescue. Not to mention that the military has always wanted to train a ninth level person, and even more need seven or eight level generals to go deep into the burrows to seek greater breakthroughs. The two chatted casually. L. Yu Sheng found that Qin Huihu was quite talkative, and it might be because no one chatted during the frontline battle, and he was suffocated. He also told L. Yu Sheng some anecdotes about the General Star List and the military powerhouses such as the Seven Lights in the East, which made L. Yu Sheng quite knowledgeable. Time passed without knowing it. While the two were chatting, the cabin door behind them suddenly opened and a soldier wearing a combat uniform and holding a weapon quickly walked in. Sir, there are still five minutes to reach the battlefield. Qin Huihu immediately closed his mouth and stood up. L. Yu Sheng saw him walking into the cabin behind and followed. The cabin here is much more spacious than the front, but it is also full of people. All are soldiers in combat uniforms. L. Yu Sheng took a casual glance at his spiritual power and found that these people were all strong in qi and blood, and the worst martial arts strength was at the third level. This is an elite combat unit. When L. Yu Sheng looked at the people in the cabin, the soldiers were also looking at him. The pair of eyes under the combat helmet are all surprised and curious. One thing to say, L. Yu Sheng is dressed casually and looks like a college student. In a group of well-equipped and heavily armed soldiers, it is really eye-catching. It seems out of place. At this time, there was a crash sound. Qin Huihu opened the door of the rear cabin, and the wind roared in. Chapter 255 Get me a pair of shoes, the best quality ones for. Below is the front-line theater. Qin Huihu turned his head and said something to L. Yu Sheng. L. Yu Sheng narrowed his eyes and looked down. At this point, the fighter jets had already landed quite a bit, and the outline of the ground below could barely be seen. L. Yu Sheng's eyesight far surpassed that of ordinary people. While normal people see only a small blurred scene, in his eyes, it is extremely clear. The first thing that comes into view is a huge canyon crack that traverses east and west. It was as if the earth suddenly had a gap that stretched out for hundreds of kilometers. A large number of small cracks extend around the huge crack. But this is on a plane. If it is on the ground, the smallest crack would have to be several kilometers long and hundreds of meters wide. Looking down from the top, the ground seems to be a huge centipede corpse lying on the ground. Countless dense black dots crawled out of the centipede and scattered. Each black dot represents an alien beast. L. Yu Sheng couldn't count the number of these exotic beasts, he only knew that there were many. A lot of. Much. And in this wave of alien beasts like ants coming out of their nests, a handful of human forces are stubbornly resisting. From time to time, sparks burst out, taking away a little black. This scene reminded L. Yu Sheng of a bonfire that was about to burn out. Whenever you think it's going to go out, there are always sparks splashing out. The line of defense guarded by the division is there. Qin Huihu pointed to a small square area in the battle group below, and turned to L. Yu Sheng and said, We'll jump there after a while. The fighter plane won't land. You can return to the Eastern Military Region headquarters with the fighter plane. L. Yu Sheng said, Can I go down with you? I want to experience it. The wind did not dissipate L. Yu Sheng's voice, and many people in the cabin heard it. Many soldiers looked at him with surprise and novelty. 
A soldier standing in the front row muttered, Is this a playground? People are going to die down there. Qin Huihu glared at the soldier, hesitated for a moment, and nodded, Yes. Then greet the soldiers around you. Get this one a combat uniform and a skydiving bag. Need not. Liu Sheng shook his head. His eyes fell on the shiny black alloy boots on Qin Huihu's feet, and he said with a smile, Just get me a pair of shoes. Just like the ones on your feet, the best quality. Uh. Qin Huihu was stunned and blinked in confusion. A group of soldiers in combat uniforms behind them were all confused, and they didn't understand what Liu Sheng's words meant. But Qin Huihu answered quickly. It is good. A soldier hurried back to the rear cabin. Liu Sheng's expression relaxed, and he looked down at the fighting ground below. His chest became hot and fiery little by little. As if a fire was burning. The strong wind blew the black hair on Liu Sheng's forehead and temples, revealing the profile of his bright and handsome face. The low murmur drifted with the wind and landed on the ground of this battlefield. I've been waiting for this day, it's been a long time. Boom! The rich snow white swept out like a trained white sword. Spread forward in a half-moon shape. Several alien beasts blocking the path of the knife light roared, the body was divided into two in the middle position, and the upper body slowly slid down. But even so, these hideous-looking monsters struggled on the ground for more than half a minute before dying completely. Ufei, holding an alloy sword, rampaged on the battlefield. Almost any beast that stood in front of him was cut in half. The Grand Master has superhuman physique, chi, and blood like rivers and seas, and there is an endless stream of vigor. But even Ufei couldn't hold on to the high intensity and long term battle. SHH. He slashed to death the two beasts that jumped up in front of him, and with a flick of his body, he returned to the trench temporarily built by the abandoned gymnasium. Whoosh hoot. Ufei held the knife with one hand, gasping for breath. Master's seat. A soldier in a combat uniform immediately handed over an oversized marching water bottle. Ufei took it at once, raised his neck and drank it cleanly. After drinking, he didn't even bother to wipe his mouth, so he hurriedly asked, Where are the reinforcements? Are reinforcements coming? The soldier nodded and said, Reinforcements have arrived one after another, and the tight front should be eased soon. Ufei frowned and said, What about the reinforcements from the Jiangxin combat team? Mainly high-end combat power. There are more and more six or seven level alien beasts appearing, and there may even be eight levels. Without the reinforcements of the General Star team, how can we hold on to the ordinary troops of one of our divisions? These defense lines are constructed by mid- and low-level warriors with thermal weapons. It's okay to resist low-level alien beasts. Once an alien beast of level 7 or above appears, tearing this line of defense is like tearing paper, and no amount of ordinary soldiers can stop it. The soldier's face showed a bit of helplessness and said, the military said, let us persevere, at most two days, the general star team will come to reinforce. Grass. Ufei uttered a rare foul language, and grabbed the big alloy knife in his hand, gnashing his teeth a little. Two days. Boom. Suddenly there were several loud bangs from the trenches ahead. Ufei's expression tightened, and he quickly rushed to a high place and looked up. I saw that in a trench not far from this trench, two figures rushed out like swords. One of them held an alloy long sword in each hand and the speed was as fast as the wind. Wherever he went, blood splattered. Another figure was even more dazzling, with six-edged sharp weapons like military thorns floating around her. Then lazing out, quickly shuttled among the alien beasts. There are blood holes left in the bodies of the alien beasts. The two shot and quickly emptied a small piece of alien beasts, giving the ordinary warriors at the front of the trench a short respite. Many people cheered for the bravery of the two, and their morale rose slightly. The two figures soon returned to the trenches, revealing two figures, a man and a woman, their faces slightly pale. 
Yu Fei looked at the two of them and nodded slightly to them with a little relief. The reason why their front line was able to resist for so long was not only due to Yu Fei's proper command, but also the bravery of the sharp sword officers under him. Especially the two named Dong Qingxiu and Qin Shaijun, who came from famous families and had outstanding talents. In a short period of time, they have emerged on the battlefield, and in two years, maybe their division will be able to produce two seventh-level Grand Master Generals. If reinforcements continue to come one after another, it may not be able to last in two days. Yu Fei was a little more optimistic. At this moment, at the front of the battle line, there was a sudden burst of unpleasant roaring sounds. These voices caught Yu Fei's attention, and he hurriedly looked up. The pupils contracted fiercely in the next second. I saw three huge beasts with a height of more than ten meters crawling out of the cracks in the burrow in the distance. One is a strange orangutan with long black hair, protruding fangs, and golden pupils. One head looks like a praying mantis, with an inexplicable metallic light shining from all over. The other is a disgusting monster with two strong furry legs, but the upper body is covered with seventeen or eight thick tentacles like an octopus. The three-headed alien beasts were shaped like a hill, and as soon as they appeared, they attracted the attention of everyone on the battlefield. A nameless force field filled with distorting air around the three alien beasts directly lined up all the surrounding alien beasts, like a king among alien beasts, moving quickly towards the trench. 7. Seventh-level alien beasts or three heads. A soldier with blood on his face turned pale and shouted shiveringly. There is more than one person who behaves like him. Many people looked ugly, with deep fear in their eyes. The morale that had just been boosted a little was wiped out in an instant. The battle has lasted for so long, and the appearance of the seventh level alien beast is not once or twice. But each time it appeared, it was a nightmare for the soldiers in the trenches. Even if Major General Yu Fei cooperated with a group of school officials, he could kill the seventh-level alien beast every time, but the seventh-level alien beast could also cause a lot of casualties before he died. Many warriors died in the riots caused by the seventh-level alien beasts. It's been like this before facing a seventh-level alien beast, not to mention now. It's three heads. Damn. Yu Fei stared in the direction of the three alien beasts and cursed softly. He grasped the big alloy knife in his hand, but felt that the handle of the knife was slightly cold, and the blade was extremely heavy. A full three seventh level alien beasts. Even in his prosperous state, he is completely uncertain. Could it be that I'm going to die here? Yu Fei asked himself subconsciously. In the next second, his face was full of anger. How can you think so much? Fire coverage. Yu Fei jumped up suddenly and roared. Many soldiers woke up like a dream, and hurriedly threw special bombs at the group of alien beasts led by three seven-level alien beasts in front of them. Before the first year of martial arts, the development direction of military weapons pursued high precision and point killing. So much so that after the outbreak of the alien invasion disaster, most of the firearms and weapons became useless fire sticks. On the contrary, simple explosive weapons still retain considerable lethality. Therefore, on the battlefield between humans and alien beasts, all kinds of explosives are the main force against alien beasts, together with some high-strength sniper firearms. Chapter 256 Divided into two, the heavenly knife that fell from the sky. One. There are also high-intensity large-area killing weapons. For example now. Yu Fei gave an order, and many hot weapons in the trench began to shine. Dozens of machine guns were placed into the trenches, spraying large swaths of fiery flames. Self-propelled guns, grenades, bazooka. The firepower was intertwined into a net, sweeping the battlefield like a hurricane of steel and one by one alien beasts roared and was torn apart. In conjunction with the heavy sniper rifle's point killing, a large blank was immediately cleared in the alien herd. Oh! There were cheers in the trenches, and the morale that had just been hit by the appearance of three seventh-level alien beasts cheered up again. 
Ufei's face was not so good looking. His eyes have been locked on the three seventh level alien beasts. The three seventh level alien beasts were originally blocked by the low level alien beasts in front of them, and their forward speed was not fast. Now some of the low level alien beasts have been cleared by the firepower network. Instead, they go more smoothly and their goals are clearer. Grass. One of the soldiers cursed with red eyes, picked up the bazooka and blasted out the largest and most conspicuous golden-eyed orangutan in front of him. The rockets dragged out a long tail of flames and roared away. But before the rocket landed on the golden-eyed orangutan, it was slapped down by Zero Sankai. It's like shooting a small pebble flying from nowhere. The rocket didn't even pop out of a spark, let alone explode. Twisting Power Ufei's figure swooped out and appeared beside the soldier who launched the bazooka, raising his hand with a big mouth. I said, don't waste ammunition on level 7 alien beasts? Didn't your superior teach you? Yes. Master. I was wrong. Half of the face of the soldier who was slapped was swollen, his eyes were red, and there were sparkles in his eye sockets, and he shouted in response. Ufei was stinged by something in his eyes, and he didn't know what to say for a while. At this moment, the sound of fighter jets roaring came from overhead. One by one, the air-dropped missiles fell from overhead, blasting sparks in the alien herd. Reinforcements are coming. Many people looked up at the sky and shouted in surprise. Quick! Cover them down! Those with sharp eyes have seen black spots falling on the fighter plane, and they hurriedly greeted them. In an instant, the firepower on the field intertwined more violently, and began to consciously clear the alien beasts in certain areas, so as to make a safe landing for the reinforcements who were about to parachute down. Ufei stared at the fighter above his head with a blank expression. If the three seventh level alien beasts can't be solved, even if these so-called reinforcements come down, it will only be a few more people to accompany them to death. In addition to abandoning this front completely, retreat immediately. But this was not what Ufei wanted to see. All warriors above level 6 are ready. Follow me. Goal. Ufei took a deep breath, and the white chi ignited like fire. The alloy broadsword pointed to the location of the three seventh level alien beasts. Those three seventh level alien beasts. Yes. Standing tall and straight, with sturdy faces stood out from the crowd. The momentum on these people is much stronger than that of ordinary soldiers, like a sharp knife. Three minutes. Ufei reported a time, and then stopped talking, staring closely at the direction of the three seventh level alien beasts in the distance, his eyes flashing, as if thinking of a better way to break the game. Cough cough. Chin Sheijun covered his mouth and coughed twice, glanced at the palms that were stained with red, and carelessly smeared them on the battle suit. Grass, I knew there were still three level sevens, and they weren't so aggressive just now. As he was talking, he glanced at Dong Kingsu next to him, and was suddenly startled. Damn it, why are your eyes like a rabbit? Are there needles? Dong Kingsu stared at Qin Sheijun with bloodshot eyes. Roll. Qin Sheijun knew very well that this was a sign of serious mental overdraft. Even if it is a medicine that can restore mental power, it cannot be taken frequently for a short period of time. Qin Sheijun just deliberately made a fuss, habitually to ease the tension. I heard that L. Yu Sheng's kid will be here in a few days. Qin Sheijun looked ahead twitched the corners of his mouth, and said, You said that when he arrived at the military area, he rushed to look for us, but what he saw was the bodies of the two of us. Would you be dumbfounded on the spot? Ha ha ha, thinking about that scene makes me feel funny, cough cough. Qin Sheijun coughed violently while laughing. Dong Kingsu rubbed her brows, gave him a tired and helpless look, and said, If you don't say a word your chances of surviving later will be better. Okay. Then I'll shut up, I haven't had enough. Qin Sheijun shut up obediently. The three-minute break was fleeting. During this period, 
the sound of machine gun fire and fire bombing never ceased. The corpses of alien beasts were all around the trenches, accumulating in a thick layer. Some dared to run out of the trenches to do a simple clean-up. Ufei's voice also sounded again. Everyone is ready. Qin Shaijun and Dong Qingxiu immediately looked solemn, walked out of the trench slowly, and walked towards the position of the three seventh-level alien beasts. Just when Ufei was about to order the siege. Suddenly, there was a violent cracking sound from overhead. The sound of breaking the air changed from small to loud as if something fell from the sky, and many people looked up subconsciously. I saw a black shadow wrapped in flames and airflow quickly descended from the sky. Like a falling meteor. The long tail flame of the airflow dragged out from behind, it was amazing. Someone with sharp eyes pointed at the airflow fireball and shouted, It's a person. There's a person inside. His. Many people also saw it and gasped. The fireball was getting closer, and it was true that a figure of a person could be faintly revealed inside. He couldn't see his face clearly, but he could barely make out that the man stretched out on one foot, showing a landing posture, and seemed to be holding a long stick in his hand. He didn't forget to bring his parachute, did he? Someone opened their eyes and muttered. No one answered him, because many people also have such doubts in their hearts. For a while, the battlefield fell into a brief stagnation, and the sound of interweaving firepower also stopped. Including Ufei, almost everyone raised their heads, and their eyes followed the figure of the fire group and kept moving down. It is also fortunate that a wave of alien beasts was swept away before, otherwise the front line would fall to the ground. The figure of the fire group descended faster and faster, and it was getting closer and closer to the ground. Ufei's eyes wandered, and he suddenly recovered from his trance. Not good. His face changed abruptly, he raised the alloy sword in his hand, and was about to greet his soldiers to charge with the original plan. Unfortunately it's too late. Roar. The terrifying roar sounded, and an invisible sound wave burst out on the battlefield, pulling the soldiers who were temporarily absent-minded back to reality. The black-haired orangutan monster with a height of more than 10 meters and a majestic body like a hill raised his head and roared wildly, the golden light in his two eyes burst into light, and the terrifying aura spread to the surrounding. It stretched out an arm, spread its fingers, and grabbed overhead. In the sky, the figure wrapped in the airflow of the fire mass was impartial and fell right to the position of the three seventh-level alien beasts. The raised hand of the golden-eyed orangutan seemed to be able to grab it in the next second. Damn it! These two words popped into the minds of many soldiers who witnessed this scene with their own eyes. It's not good to jump anywhere, but I have to jump into three seventh-level alien beasts. Even if he couldn't fall to death, he would have to be pinched to death by a seventh-level alien beast. Not to die is to die. Damn, this dude is pretending to be an idiot. Qin Shaijun couldn't help covering his face, looking unbearable. Dong Qingxiu frowned. She has the mental power to detect, and can see more clearly than a warrior of the same level. I always felt that the figures in the fireball were a bit familiar, but after mental exhaustion, my brain throbbed from time to time, and I couldn't remember who it was for a while. Just when everyone determined the fate of the people in the fire group, they had almost imagined the next picture of blood splashing and being crushed alive in their minds. The figure that fell like a meteor suddenly accelerated and deviates from the established trajectory in an instant. Who pierced through the palm of the golden-eyed orangutan monster? Not only the golden-eyed orangutan monster was caught off guard, but even the onlookers were stunned. Then, everyone on the battlefield saw a scene that they will never forget. The figure that fell from the sky stomped on the top of the golden-eyed orangutan monster's head. 0.8 Scarlet flames fluttered like flags. The air rubbed with a sharp whistling sound. There is almost nothing in the way. The figure stepped directly from the top of the head of the golden-eyed orangutan monster. It was like a red-hot, flaming knife cutting into a piece of fatty butter. Tear. The huge golden-eyed orangutan monster didn't say a word, 
and was completely cut out of it in a breathless time. Divide evenly in half. Then. Boom. The figure completely fell to the ground. The ground on this battlefield seemed to be shaking. A circle of air waves visible to the naked eye, mixed with all kinds of sand, gravel and blood foam spread around. The two halves of the golden-eyed orangutan corpse collapsed like a mountain. Shows a shallow pit with a huge range. In the pit, a figure in the burning flame slowly stood up, holding a silver spear in his right hand. At this moment, everyone on the battlefield was stunned. The brain briefly lost its ability to think, humming. They just found out now. Where is a meteorite falling from the sky? It is clearly a sharp and unparalleled heavenly sword. Chapter 257 Recruit L. Yu Sheng, Report to the Division 2. Not long after the golden-eyed orangutan's body fell, the seventh-level alien beasts on both sides quickly attacked the figure in the pit. Chong the sound of the symphony of gold and iron suddenly sounded. In a flash, everyone saw that the figure in the giant pit raised the spear in his hand, firmly holding against a blue-black limb like a guillotine. Among the three seventh-level alien beasts, the seven-legged knife Tang Tang had appeared in front of the figure. The four guillotine-like four limbs danced wildly, disappearing and appearing again and again. The speed is so fast that the naked eye can't catch it at all. The number of attacks could only be calculated barely from the sound of the spear colliding with the blade. The figure wielding a spear suddenly jumped high, and red flames and dazzling golden light burst out from its body. Then it quickly retracted like flowing water, and all converged on the spear. The originally silver spear instantly turned into a splendid red gold, and then the figure flashed a few times quickly. Boom! A figure rose into the sky like an angry dragon holding a spear in both hands. On the tip of the spear was a terrifying beast that danced wildly with tentacles and kept screaming piercingly. Behind the figure, the blue-black killing weapon, the seven-legged sword Tang, froze in place at some point, and on the next breath, every joint on his body exploded with black blood flowers, which shattered into pieces. Like collapsed blocks. Everyone was dumbfounded. They didn't find out when the second seventh-level alien beast died. The speed of thinking jumping could not keep up with the figure with the gun. At this moment, the third-level seventh-level alien also stopped screaming. Being picked up by the long spear into the air, the spear body turned slightly. An invisible force of shock is emitted. Bang sounded eleven times, and it exploded into a huge fireworks of flesh and blood. The stench of blood and stumps were scattered all over the place. The figure shook the spear, suddenly reached out and grabbed the clothes on his body, pulling it out at will. Tear. The clothes were torn, and pieces of butterfly-like silver-white blades flew out from under the broken clothes, from the streamlined and perfect body. The blades quickly combined into a huge crescent blade above the figure. Incessantly, forever. A golden glow bloomed and the blade wheel swept around. The figure with the upper body naked followed the gun and rushed into the group of alien beasts. The blazing flames spewed out and became more and more intense. In the end, it almost turned into a fire dragon with a length of more than ten feet, wreaking havoc on the battlefield. Along with the spinning golden knife wheel. Wherever they passed, strange beasts flew everywhere like straw, and their bodies disintegrated like tofu. Everyone was dumbfounded. I just forgot what to do now. Including Yu Fei, Qin Shia Jun, Dong Qingxiu and others. They all stood there dumbfounded, their movements frozen, their eyes staring straight at the scene in front of them. For a moment, they almost thought that they were not on the front line of battle at all. But in some movie theater, what is presented in front of you is a hearty, bloody, exciting and realistic blockbuster a performance from the scene. Like a meat grinder, the fire dragon spear shadow and golden knife wheel went around the trench and cleaned it out. Everyone looked numb. Including the eight soldiers who had just parachuted from the fighter plane and were wearing combat uniforms. One by one was ready to deal with any unexpected situation at any time when they landed, and the weapons were also in hand. 
As soon as the result landed, the whole person was completely blinded. Oh my god! Qin Huihu landed steadily on the ground, and the parachute had already been cut off at a height of 10 or 20 meters from the ground. He stared at the figure that was raging and cleared the field with a dull expression, doubting whether he was blood rushing when he jumped down, and his mind was not clear enough that he had hallucinations. After a while, he suddenly came back to his senses. Finding Yu Fei's position, he hurriedly walked up. Master Seat Qin Huihu made a military salute and greeted Yu Fei with a serious look. Yu Fei turned his head in a trance, saw Qin Huihu nodded slightly, and subconsciously asked, Is this with you? Qin Huihu nodded with complicated eyes. Yes. After receiving Qin Huihu's affirmative answer, Yu Fei's expression became even more confused. Which fighter is this on the star ranking? Didn't it take two days for the reinforcements to arrive? A hint of hesitation flashed across Qin Huihu's face, and he was about to explain. At this moment, a burst of gun whistling suddenly rose, attracting everyone to concentrate. I saw the figure who had almost cleaned up all the nearby fronts, and suddenly turned around. Quickly rushed towards the trenches. He killed too many alien beasts and the blood and corpses of many alien beasts didn't even have time to splash out, and they were wrapped in the nameless place around him. Accumulate more and more. So that when the figure rushes now, the whole person is like a dark red hurricane composed entirely of blood foam fragments. Accompanied by the red flame tail, the rotating golden knife wheel. The blood and rain the monstrous killing intent and the suffocating aura that rushed towards the face made all the soldiers in the trenches turn pale and retreated one after another. Even Yu Fei was deterred by this terrifying power, his face tightened, and he subconsciously grasped the alloy sword in his hand. Gang Chi revealed, the Grand Master Force field continued to spread. Boom! The blood-colored hurricane stopped abruptly less than three meters away from Yu Fei's body. The sudden gust of wind suddenly blew Yu Fei's chi, and the Grand Master's force field swayed. A mist of blood blew onto Yu Fei's face, obscuring his vision. Yu Fei stretched out his hand and wiped his face, then saw. A young man with a long spear and shining eyes was standing in front of him. The boy's whole body was surrounded by thick blood and suffocation, his blood was rising like a furnace, and his essence was rising like smoke. His upper body was naked, and his body stretched up and down as he breathed. Then he grinned and compared Yu Fei with a military salute that was not standard, and said loudly. New recruit L. Yu Sheng, come here to report to the division. Yu Fei, who was a little dazed at first, froze when he heard these words. Qin Shaijun and Dong Qingxiu, who were looking at this side from a distance, looked at each other with a ghostly expression. As night fell, the sound of gunshots, explosions, roars, and fighting was still heard. But it's much better than during the day. L. Yu Sheng sat in a rather spacious office. This is Yu Fei's command room. It was temporarily remodeled from the athlete's lounge of an abandoned gymnasium, and it is quite rudimentary. Let's just take a moment, it's not bad. The battle line is located in the former abandoned city area and there is still a lot of infrastructure available. If you encounter that kind of desert wilderness, deep mountains, and old forests, sometimes it is difficult to find a tile to cover your head. Yu Fei poured a cup of coffee for L. Yu Sheng and sat down in front of L. Yu Sheng. L. Yu Sheng took the cup. The coffee is instant, but it still exudes a hint of aroma when brewed in hot boiling water. L. Yu Sheng took a sip feeling slightly satisfied, and said, Thank you, Master. Thank me for a cup of coffee? Then how should I thank you for saving so many of us today? Cut your head off for you. Yu Fei glared at him and said angrily. L. Yu Sheng smiled, didn't say anything, just drank the coffee in his hand. Yu Fei also poured himself a cup, sipped most of it in one sip, and said with a sense of feeling, but then again, I really want to thank you today. Otherwise, it would be a headache for three level 7 alien beasts to enter the camp. 
80% of this front is untenable. L. Yu Sheng couldn't help but wonder, Master, is the A-level burrow so dangerous? The seventh-level alien beasts haunt the entrance of the burrow. Now look at where it will stop at A-level, at least it will be 3A. Generally speaking, a new burrow crack has just appeared, and there will be an outbreak period. There will indeed be many high-level alien beasts. Just wait until this outbreak period is over, stabilize and take it slow. It's not as exaggerated as you think. L. Yu Sheng nodded. He listened to Qin Hui Hu's introduction to the classification of the burrow 493 on the plane. He thought that the crack in the burrow guarded by Yu Fei this time was only grade A, so it shouldn't be too dangerous. But I never thought that if he hadn't arrived in time, something would have happened. At that time, even if Yu Fei and others did not die, they could only be forced to abandon the trenches and return after a disastrous defeat. I heard that you killed Tong Kui Sing, a sect-level master of the Extreme Martial Arts Hall, and I couldn't believe it, but now I believe it completely. Yu Fei looked at L. Yu Sheng with a monster-like look, and said, You kid, you already have the strength to hit the star rankings. It is estimated that you can enter the top 50 of the star list. Is the Zhang star ranking similar to the old student ranking and the seven sacred rankings in Chen Guo University? Almost, but the star list is not only about strength. It also depends on your merits, contributions, etc. Yu Fei I thought for a while, and said, I'll let someone count the six or seven level alien beasts you killed on the battlefield today, and all the merit contribution points you exchanged will be added to you. These meritorious contribution points can be exchanged for resources in the military department, which is beneficial to your future cultivation. Okay. L. Yu Sheng nodded without saying thank you. He was afraid that Yu Fei would blow his beard and stare at him again. Okay, okay, go back to the military headquarters and have a good chat. You just came to the military region, so don't worry about many things, just get to know them slowly. Go down and have a good rest. Don't think that the battle is over, a bigger wave of alien beasts may break out at any time in the past half month. Since you have come to the front line, you can work hard for me for a while, and you will work hard in the future. L. Yu Sheng responded and said nothing. He is accompanied by immortal cells and natural breathing method, and his qi and physical strength are almost endless, and he does not feel tired at all. But he could see that Yu Fei was really tired and exhausted. Both mentally and physically. To be able to exhaust a seventh-level grandmaster with endless energy into such a state, one can imagine how hard the battle was during this period of time. L. Yu Sheng walked out of Yu Fei's office and touched his stomach. Hungry. Chapter 258 You talk too much. 3. The entire battle line of the 1182 division is built around this abandoned stadium. Centered on the gymnasium, it extended to both sides, like an eagle with its wings stretched out. The main thing to deal with is a crack in a cave less than three kilometers ahead of the stadium. On the plain, L. Yu Sheng saw the entire crack in the burrow that looked like a centipede. At least it took nearly a hundred divisions, large and small, to barely block it. The 1182 division is just one of them. In this way, there are enough powerhouses in the military. I don't know how many there are seven-level grandmasters, it is estimated that there are thousands. L. Yu Sheng thought about it and took a few steps along the left side of Yu Fei's office. However, the military has always had the most powerhouses. A lot of life and death, fighting, is the hotbed of martial arts, the easiest to break through the limit, and give birth to strong martial arts. What the military lacks is only the ninth-level martial arts masters, and there is no shortage of Grand Masters. The marshals of the five military regions are all top masters second only to the martial arts masters, and they have countless tyrants. Thinking of this, L. Yu Sheng seemed to see a brand new and huge stage presented in front of him. L. Yu. Major General L. Yu. Just as he was thinking, a figure suddenly stood in front of him. 
it was a female soldier in a dark blue military uniform, with very white skin and big eyes. What's up? L. Yu Sheng stopped and explained seriously, I haven't been awarded a medal yet, and I'm not yet a major general. You called it wrong. Sooner or later. The female soldier quickly replied, then pointed her finger in one direction and said, The division has started a gang, and I'm calling you to eat. The cafeteria is right there. L. Yu Sheng's eyes lit up and nodded, OK, I see. He is really hungry. The female soldier gave him a fixed look, and suddenly stared at the position of his chest, her cheeks flushed, and she ran away like a fly. L. Yu Sheng looked at the back of the female soldier leaving, then looked at the battle uniform he was wearing, and suddenly realized. Could it be because of, that? During the day, he was eager to kill on the battlefield, and he ripped off his clothes at will. Shirtless, he killed seven in and seven out in the alien beast group. I thought it was pretty cool at the time, but now that I think about it. Nima, there are still many girl warriors in the division, okay? In broad daylight, in front of many comrades, she took the initiative to show her upper body. What is the difference between it and being a hooligan in public? It's too shameful. Calm down, next time be sure to calm down. L. Yu Sheng kept admonishing himself in his heart, and then walked in the direction of the cafeteria pointed by the female soldier. Camp fires were lit in the open spaces of the gymnasium filled with camps and tents. Three or five or a dozen men were sitting around the fire, and they ate the meat soup that was simmering on the fire. A different atmosphere emerged. This was something L. Yu Sheng had never experienced before. On L. Yu Sheng's way to the cafeteria, Many soldiers recognized him, stood up without saying a word, and saluted him. No matter how bad it was, he saluted with a straight posture. Zhang Gang Ai's face was full of deep awe and admiration. Today, the scene where El Yu Shang descended from the sky with one foot like a celestial sword, splitting the seventh level alien beast, the golden eyed devil monkey, into two is really shocking. There is also a follow up solo front clearing. All of them left an unprecedented huge impact on them. In a world where the strong are respected, the barracks and battlefields show this most vividly. These fighters are pure cuteness. L. Yu Sheng is strong enough, no matter how old he looks, he can easily win their respect from the bottom of his heart. It's him, he's too strong. Still so young, he's definitely a genius level general. I heard that we have a very good relationship with our division. Haha, <laughs> it seems that our 1182 division will have a fierce person who can rush to the star list. Hey, it would be great if I could be this strong. Then Big Lu would. Don't think too much, it's a good thing to survive. L. Yu Sheng heard the low voice in his ear, and suddenly Lu Kaiming sounded. It has been almost four or five months since Liu Kaiming joined the Eastern Military Region as a recruit, and he doesn't know how he is doing now. Is it the same as these big-headed soldiers, sitting around the same fire, eating meat and soup, bragging and farting to relieve tension and exhaustion? Do not know. L. Yu Sheng stopped at the entrance of the cafeteria where the special offer from the school officer was hung. Look left and right and there are canteens for a lieutenant's special offer and non-commissioned officer's special offer. He walked right in. The canteen is a temporary camping shed. The space inside is not large, there are only a dozen tables, and there are several people sitting on each table. When L. Yu Sheng came in, some people glanced at him subconsciously, and then their eyes suddenly stopped. Reminding each other, after a while, all the officers in the cafeteria all stood up in unison, as if they were waiting for the inspection by Sheng Lu. Lu Sheng felt helpless. He is new here, and he is not used to the strict discipline of the parts. He thought for a while, and said in a low voice, Sit down. These school officials sat down one after another, but their bodies were still tense, their backs were straight, and they were quite restrained even when they were eating. L. Yu Sheng couldn't care any more, he ordered a meal at the window and looked for a seat. Unsurprisingly, he met a pair of slightly sneaky eyes, 
twitched the corners of his mouth, and strode over. L. Yu Shang put the dinner plate on the table, did not sit down in a hurry, but looked at the two old friends in front of him who had not seen him for a long time. The mental power spread out, and a simple noise barrier was set up around this small table. L. Yu Sheng smiled and said, Instructor Dong, Instructor Qin, long time no see. Grass. L. Yu Sheng is really you. Qin Shea almost didn't jump up from his seat, he subconsciously wanted to come up and hug L. Yu Sheng's shoulder, but he quickly realized that it was inappropriate and held back. A handsome face full of excitement and excitement. Dong Qingxiu's performance was much more restrained than Qin Shea Jun's, but she could still see the restlessness in her heart. L. Yu Sheng sat down beside Dong Qingxiu, keenly aware of the process of Dong Qingxiu's body tightening and then relaxing. Is this what you usually eat? L. Yu Sheng picked up the food on the dinner plate. The dishes are mainly exotic animal meat, which is freshly cut and cooked, and the taste can only be said to be barely swallowable. Then there's one serving of high-energy synthetic nutrients, and one serving of canned mixed vegetables. The food that L. Yu Sheng had eaten in the training camp was too different. Where are you going to pick on the front-line battlefield? Let's make do with it. Qin Shea Jun said with a smile, when the outbreak of the alien beast tide passes, and the battle line is stable, I will take you back to the military area to give you a good meal. It is good. L. Yu Sheng smiled and nodded. Dong Qingxiu, who was sitting beside him, was silent and didn't know what she was thinking. L. Yu Sheng is also not good at words. He wanted to find a topic to chat with Dong Qingxiu several times, but he didn't know why he always jumped out of the Dream Space's personal data spouse column. The name belonging to Dong Qingxiu. The more I think about it, the more embarrassed I feel, so I simply shut up. After a meal, Qin Shea Jun said the most. L. Yu Sheng chatted with him casually. In fact, long ago, the relationship between L. Yu Sheng, Qin Shea Jun, and Dong Qingxiu changed from being a pure instructor and student to being both a teacher and a friend. So now they get along quite harmoniously, not embarrassing. L. Yu Sheng quickly finished his meal, greeted Qin Shea Jun and Dong Qingxiu, and Qi Shiran walked out of the cafeteria. As soon as he left, the atmosphere in the cafeteria suddenly relaxed. The voices of speaking also began to sound. When L. Yu Sheng was there before, they were too shy to speak. Dot what's wrong with you? Qin Shea Jun looked at the direction L. Yu Sheng was leaving, and asked Dong Qingxiu doubtfully. When L. Yu Sheng challenged the extreme master Li and Jibei at the National Martial Arts Conference, you were in such a hurry. If it weren't for the urgent task, I would like to fly directly to the Cumulus Mountain in Kyoto. Now that you see L. Yu Sheng in front of you, don't say a word again? Really weird. Dong Qingxiu lowered her head and gently pulled the food on the plate with chopsticks, spitting out, it's none of your business. Qin Shea Jun stared at her for a long time, suddenly as if thinking of something, he suddenly whispered, Dong Qingxiu, are you happy? snapped. A dinner plate was reprinted on Qin Shea Jun's face, and the soup and water continued to slide down Qin Shea Jun's handsome face. Dong Qingxiu stood up expressionlessly, and said coldly, You talk a lot. After speaking, ignoring the stunned eyes around him, he turned and left. Yu Fei I specially arranged a single-person accommodation room for L. Yu Sheng, which was also renovated from the abandoned lounge in the gymnasium, and even able to take a bath. L. Yu Sheng lay on the bed for a while, and his mind kept replaying the scenes of fighting on the battlefield during the day. The blood in the body suddenly became hot again. He quickly realized that if he didn't take the initiative to enter the dream space, he was afraid that it would be difficult for him to fall asleep all night. But he didn't want to go to bed so early. After thinking about it, he simply put on the red crystal dragon pattern and went out to the trenches. The sky in the wilderness area is much brighter than that in the city. Even without lighting, moonlight and starlight illuminate the earth brightly. L. Yu Sheng stood at a high point in the trench, watching the soldiers who stayed up all night fighting with their machine guns, 
cursing and frantically attacking the alien beasts that occasionally rushed out of the distance. The offensive of the beasts will not slow down as the sun goes down. The part of the front that the 1182 division was responsible for seemed relaxed now, all because El Yusheng killed too much during the day, giving them a lot of breathing time. It also takes time for the alien herd to climb out of the burrow. El Yusheng Chao looked from a distance, the artillery fire was in the sky, and the sound of fighting was endless, not much less than during the day. Go and see. El Yusheng's eyes moved slightly, and with a tattoo of a red crystal dragon, he quickly disappeared into the distance. Chapter 259 The Long Night Attack, The Gun That Pierces the Darkness 4. This is an abandoned residential area. It was built to look like a makeshift trench. More than a dozen armored vehicles and tanks blocked the gap in the gate of the community. Tongues of flame and flames were sprayed from the machine guns and barrels, trying to clean up the waves of alien beasts coming up in front of them. Lights and firelights illuminated the battlefield as bright as day. Occasionally, alien beasts that escaped the bombardment of gunpowder leaked into the defense line, and high-level soldiers with cold weapons would immediately surround them and strangle them. Damn, why are there so many? A tall burly middle-aged man stood on the roof of a residential building somewhere, looking at the anxious battlefield below, his face sinking like water. He was blind in one eye and was heavily bandaged. His right hand was also in a plaster cast and hung on his chest. The state of the whole person is not very good, but the temperament is still as majestic as a mountain that can never be knocked down. A man in a school official's uniform hurried up. The middle-aged man turned his head and asked in a deep voice. When will the reinforcements arrive? The visitor smiled bitterly, I'm afraid I won't be able to come in a short time. Just in time for a double SS borough riot, many generals took over the suppression mission. It will take at least two or three days to free up manpower, and the most important openings in the West will definitely be aided immediately. Okay, I know. The middle-aged man nodded and said nothing. He just picked up a bottle of spirits with a red star printed on it, put it in his mouth and took a few sips. Officers above the Grand Master rank are allowed to drink alcohol on the battlefield, as long as it is not excessive. Because of the strong physique of the Grand Master level warrior, the blood and blood are running a little, and the alcohol will be scattered, and it will not affect the thinking and judgment, and sometimes it can even make people more sober. Boom! The 770 grams tank underneath fired a shell. The cannonball drew a clear trajectory in the night sky, and after falling into the alien herd in the distance, it was like a mud cow entering the sea, silently, without even a single wave. The eyes of the one-eyed man on the roof flickered violently, and he stood up suddenly. Generally speaking, when such a situation occurs, it represents only one possibility. 7th Level Alien Beast Because only the twisting force field carried by the 7th level alien beast will make the hot weapon completely ineffective. Sure enough, in the darkness, four groups of blue ghost fires quietly emerged. The crowded alien beasts separated to both sides, and a terrifying alien beast with a length of more than 6 meters and a height of more than 3 meters slowly walked out of the darkness. This is a monster that looks like a cheetah. But the whole body is covered with small snake scales, and the tail is like a scorpion, raised high. With two heads, the dark blue ghost fire before is the four eyes on the two heads. Two-headed leopard. The one-eyed man took a deep breath and reached out to grab a double-sided axe at his feet. Without saying anything, he jumped off the roof. Bang! He fell outside the defense line of the community, and his feet shook the ground with large cracks. He shook his right hand, the plaster on his right hand was broken, and the whole person was completely stretched out. Come on, I'm just about to drink a lot of meat. The one-eyed man didn't talk nonsense, grabbed the double-sided alloy battle axe and rushed towards the double-headed shadow leopard. A rich white chi burst out from his body, illuminating the darkness around him. The powerful aura that belonged to the master radiated out, the blood boiled, and the wolf smoke rose steeply. One person and one beast are fighting together, 
and there are terrifying air waves that burst out from time to time, spreading. The battle is still going on, but everyone will subconsciously look at the position of the central chapter. The situation there was clearly more important than theirs. Sudden. Boom. A figure flew out from the center of the battle group, the white chi drifted like rags, and the body slammed into the wall of an armored vehicle, sinking deep into it. The sound of machine guns and artillery fire intertwined on the battlefield suddenly stopped, and everyone's eyes turned around. Cough. The one-eyed man opened his mouth and coughed out a mouthful of blood. He looked down at the huge claw marks on his chest that could be seen deep in the bone. He didn't know whether to cry or laugh. Two ends. Eight groups of blue ghost fires appeared, and two double-headed shadow leopards paced out of the darkness. All are seven. It's just that one of them looks more petite, and it's probably the mother's. Brute. The one-eyed man scolded, struggling to get up from the pit of the armored vehicle, clutching his chest, and looking around for the weapon he dropped. He suddenly raised his head and scolded the surroundings, still stunned. The alien beasts are licking your heavenly cover, and you still don't know how to fire? The sound of artillery fire sounded again, and a dozen figures holding cold weapons crossed the high wall and landed around the one-eyed man, protecting him in the middle. Master's seat. Someone with red eyes, handed over the one-eyed man's axe. The one-eyed man took it and said nonchalantly, What are you afraid of? Let's fight first, if you can't fight, then withdraw. As he said that, the chi in his body surged up again. Several people looked solemn, did not speak, and silently followed around the one-eyed man. A group of people walked towards the two alien beasts step by step under the fire of artillery fire, already holding the heart to die. Is there any wine? The one-eyed man walking at the front suddenly spoke coldly, and the people behind him looked stunned. But before they could answer, the one-eyed man shook his head and said, Forget it, it's not bad. After that, the pace quickened. The big axe in his hand burst out with surging chi, held it high, and killed it forward. The eyes of the two double-headed shadow leopards burst out with cruel rays of light, and their figures disappeared in a flash. Almost in no particular order, they jumped high and rushed towards the one-eyed man. The burly body holding the big axe and the two two-headed shadow leopards are about to collide. The screen freezes. A violent cracking sound came from a distance. The roaring flames tear open the night. Save, boom. A red streamer of flames entwined in an instant, pinning the previous two-headed shadow leopard to the ground. The other two-headed shadow leopard was startled, roared, and jumped up. There was a golden light in the night. The two bodies fell to the ground, the organs scattered on the ground, and the stump twisted wildly. The one-eyed man and the dozen or so school officials who followed him were all stunned. I was stunned by this sudden change. The one-eyed man subconsciously looked at the two-headed shadow leopard that was nailed to the ground in front of him. He saw a silver spear running through the latter's body, the spear body submerged most of the ground, and there were sporadic flames burning. In the next breath, a slender and tall figure walked out of the darkness quickly. He quickly came to the surviving two-headed shadow leopard, and raised his black alloy boots. Crack. Kick. Like stepping on tofu, the two heads of the two-headed shadow leopard were smashed. Then he pulled out his spear calmly, and glanced at the one-eyed man at random. Suddenly disappeared from the field. The artillery fire suddenly stopped again. Everyone on the front line was a little dazed, looked dazed, and did not respond. The one-eyed man stared blankly at the two corpses on the ground, and then looked at the double-sided axe in his hand. In my heart, I couldn't help but wonder if the one who had just fought against him and the one who died under the young man's hands were the same two-headed shadow leopard of a seventh-level alien beast. Obviously he fights so hard, but the latter kills as easily as chopping melons and vegetables. This is so special. Where the hell is this fierce guy coming out? The one-eyed man looked at the direction in which the mysterious young man disappeared, in a trance, and sighed. Similar scenes were repeated on all fronts. Relying on his speed, 
Liao Yusheng ran around the front of the 1182 division. His flaming spear that pierced through the night, as well as the golden light of the endless knife wheel, left an indelible impression on countless soldiers who fought hard this night. It was not until dawn broke that Liao Yusheng returned to Ufei's battle group. During the night of slaughter, he was covered in thick blood and suffocation. You can smell it from far away, under the transpiration of qi and blood, it is like a walking hurricane of blood foam. How many beasts did your kid kill in one night? When Yu Fei saw Al Yu Sheng, he stared at him with wide eyes in disbelief. 12. 18. Al Yu Sheng twisted open a bottle of pure water and poured it into his mouth. He shook his head and said, Forget it. Anyway, there are quite a lot of level 7 people, but I haven't counted the level 6. Yu Fei opened his mouth, unable to say a word. L. Yu Sheng drank a bottle of water in one breath, spit out a mouthful of air, and said with some regret, It's a pity that the body can't be brought back, it's cheaper for others. This is also impossible. He ran for a long night, and it was expensive to be fast. Bringing the corpse of a seventh level alien beast would only slow down the pace. Although L. Yu Sheng regretted the corpses of alien beasts that he abandoned on the battlefield, he was even more sorry for the young lives who died on the battlefield. He couldn't do much, he could only do as much as he could. Yu Fei stared at him for a long time, and finally said slowly, It's all right, there are black box videos on each front, and when you go back and count your military exploits, you will naturally count all your exploits. Not a cent less. That couldn't be better. L. Yu Sheng's eyes lit up instantly feeling full of energy. Yu Fei looked at him with non-human eyes, and muttered, Yu kid is rescued and rescued, but it is always from the 1182 division, you have to take care of this side first. L. Yu Sheng smiled and said, Don't worry, master. I promise to kill everyone here before going out. Otherwise, you can give me a communication device, and if something goes wrong, I will come back immediately. Yu Fei I didn't know what to say. I just feel that I ordered the decision to continuously add different marrow fluid to the cultivation warehouse that contained the body of the young man. It was definitely the most wise and decisive decision he had ever made in his life. Who would have thought that a few cabins of fourth level different marrow fluid could raise a chaotic dragon? It must be the creation of Lao Tzu. Yu Fei I smacked his mouth and thought to himself. Chapter 260 You are crazy, Dong Kinks Yu. 1. Huge Conference Hall Black Quartz Long Table by Ming K. Jianren. On the table are neatly a dozen large brimmed hats with dark blue embroidered dress cap badges, and in front of each brimmed hat sits a well-mannered middle-aged man and woman. The collar flowers and cuffs of their military uniforms are decorated with patterns of oak leaves and cinnamon branches, following the ancient military traditions before the first year of martial arts, and they are symbols of status and power. A skinny man who was a little younger and had a few fewer stars on his epaulette stood in front of a magnified map, and was introducing the situation in several war zones to the military leaders in the room. The riot in the cracks in Cave 2 is a bit serious this time. More than 13 gaps have been lost. Although the general star was sent to suppress it at the first time, it still inevitably caused some effects. According to the current form, within seven days, the riot can be completely suppressed. An old man in military uniform who looked in his sixties, with a high hairline and a majestic appearance said, How about the casualties, have you counted them? The reporter replied honestly, So far, the casualties of ordinary soldiers have totaled more than 15,200 people, and the casualties of non-commissioned soldiers have reached 320 casualties. Eight people, one eighth-level general. Eighth-level generals have also fallen. The old man in military uniform frowned. The reporter hurriedly explained, when the turmoil occurred in the number two borough, the fallen eighth-level general was in the deeper part of the borough, and he couldn't retreat. Which eighth-level general is it? Zheng Wei who was ranked 28th on the star list before. The old man in the military uniform nodded and said slowly, 
the funeral will be held according to the specifications. Let me know the specific time, and I will be there when the time comes. Yes. Let's talk about other things, how is the new crack in the burrow? The reporter lightly pressed the remote control in his hand, and the map on the huge projection screen was changed. The military bosses sitting at the long table of the conference all looked up. Judging from the current situation, this newly appeared burrow crack is rated between AA and AAA, and it is unlikely to reach S level. Hearing this sentence, the expressions of the people at the long table of the conference were all relaxed, and even the expression of the old man in the military uniform in the center softened a lot. As long as it's not S class, it's okay to say. The old man in the military uniform stretched out his hand and tapped on the smooth tabletop, and sighed softly, our Eastern Theater's defense line has almost reached its limit, and there will be one or two more S-level burrows. The old man didn't continue to talk, and there was no need to talk, everyone on the table knew it. The reporter continued, but since most of the high-end combat power of the star is concentrated in a few double S-level burrows, the defense line outside this newly appeared burrow was tight for many sections, especially. The reporter marked several red circle key signs on the defense line map, and said solemnly, these positions are on the verge of collapse at any time. If no more support is sent, the situation will not be optimistic. The old man in the military uniform stared at the line of defense in front of him and said, how much power can we deploy at present? The reporter shook his head, very few, and even if it is ordered now, it will not arrive until tomorrow at the earliest. Then plug the most important gap first. The old man in military uniform looked around and finally landed on a red circle. Priority to reinforcement point A. Military seat, the location of point B is equally important. Someone spoke at the long table. The old man in military uniform said lightly, I know. The line of defense is very intuitive, and the red circles marked A and B are the most obvious. Both points are similar to pocket pockets on the defensive line and are of equal importance. The area after point B is far away from the residential area, and the middle ground is wide. Even if the defense line collapses, it can be slowly cleared and closed in the future. Point A is different, once point A is broken, alien beasts may invade Uehara city, which is closest to the front line within half a month. Many people nodded in agreement and the person who had questioned before stopped talking. Since there is no problem, let's follow this plan. The old man in the military uniform thought for a while and said, which division is guarding point A? The 1058 division, the division leader, Major General Sun Jet. Then tell Sun Jet, even if the battle reaches one soldier and one soldier, he will defend his line of defense for me. The people in the remaining positions have selective defense, and if necessary, they can abandon the formation and evacuate, and transfer to point A. Yes. The old man in military uniform waved his hand and said lightly, the meeting is dismissed. Have to wait, two days after another, God knows how many days it will take. Ufei let out a sigh of turbidity, walked into the trench, stood beside El Yusheng and said helplessly. Ufei just came out of the office after answering the phone. El Yusheng sat on a broken cement board, grasping the gun in one hand and carefully wiping it with a weapon cloth in the other. Have other fronts in the military region been tight recently? Can't even send reinforcements to the newly emerging burrow crack defense line. El Yusheng replied casually, a pair of thick sword brows slightly wrinkled. When he was cleaning the gun, he found that there were many gaps and scratches on the gun body, and when he penetrated his mental power, he detected several broken marks. After all, it's only a quasi level 7, not a serious level 7. After several days of fierce battles, more than half of the durability has been lost. I have to change the gun, at least I have to change the real 7 level gun body. The reinforcements have never been interrupted what is lacking is the high-end combat power of the star. You know how terrifying the seventh-level alien beasts are, not ordinary warriors. Ufei shook his head suddenly, halfway through his words, and changed his words, 
no, you don't know. L. Yu Sheng is simply a pervert. It has been almost five days in a row, and every day, they have been attacking at night, wandering between various fronts. Go out clean at dusk, and come back with a thick bloody aura at dawn. So far, even after taking a shower and changing into clean clothes, there is still a trace of blood lingering on his body. It's like a veteran who has been on the battlefield for four or five years. But he had only been on the battlefield for less than a week. God knows how many alien beasts have been killed to cause such an effect. Ufei was not surprised by L. Yu Sheng's strength, but by his physical strength. L. Yu Sheng's physical strength seems to be endless. He takes less than two hours of rest every day, but he is still alive and well, and he does not show any signs of fatigue. It really is a messed up dragon. I'm ready to go, master. L. Yu Sheng stood up after wiping the gun, and the blades of the endless knife wheel scattered all over the ground flew around him like butterflies, quietly surrounding him. Yu Fei's eyes were slightly complicated, and he nodded, Be careful, contact me any time if you have anything. Clear. L. Yu Sheng tapped on the wireless communication headset in the oracle, indicating that he understood. He stood on a high ground in the trenches, holding the red crystal dragon pattern, and stretched his body. Many people cast their gazes involuntarily. All full of awe, reverence, admiration. After five days, L. Yu Sheng has completely won the respect of the soldiers of the entire 1182 division. In a sense, at this time, L. Yu Sheng's status in their minds is even better than that of the teacher Yu Fei. L. Yu Sheng is like a needle of Ding Hai Shen, as long as he appears on the battlefield, the morale of the entire battle group can immediately skyrocket. However, Yu Fei's defense line has fewer and fewer alien beasts, and rarely sees the seventh level alien beast again. Occasionally, Yu Fei can easily solve it himself. According to Yu Fei's words, it has almost entered the plateau, and wait for another seven or eight days. When it is completely stabilized, a defensive base can be built and ready to evacuate. This is also one of the reasons why L. Yu Sheng has been at ease and boldly strolling around recently. Go west today. The alloy boots under L. Yu Sheng's feet lightly stepped on the concrete pavement and calmly locked his direction. In the past few days, he has been running towards the eastern frontier defense line, making shots from time to time, and he is almost familiar with the several divisions of the eastern frontier defense line. As soon as he appeared on the battle group over there, the red crystal dragon pattern flew out, and the soldiers below immediately burst into cheers, and the prestige was higher than their division commander. In a world where force is supreme, individual heroism is more advocated. L. Yu Sheng thought to himself and was about to leave. Suddenly I noticed a familiar figure. A woman in a battle suit walks on the battlefield, manipulating the six-edged thorns around her to continuously harvest the lives of sporadic beasts. Donking Xiu. L. Yu Sheng's eyes flickered, and he subconsciously touched the two dense silver pendants in his pocket. Never mind. L. Yu Sheng felt that after this meeting, Dong Qingxiu's attitude towards him was a little indifferent, and he didn't know if it was because he was starting to have a higher status than her. Just don't bother, let her do it herself. L. Yu Sheng's eyes fell on Qin Shijun, who was sitting in the trench drinking water and resting, and rushed over in a flash. Instructor Qin. L. Yu Sheng handed two dense silver pendants to Qin Shijun, and said casually, I made a little gift this time. I forgot to give it to you before. Please help me bring it to Instructor Dong. Qin Shijun subconsciously took the dense silver pendant handed over by L. Yu Sheng, and before he could react, L. Yu Sheng patted him on the shoulder and disappeared with a hui. Gone. Qin Shijun looked in the direction that L. Yu Sheng was leaving, and blinked, somewhat surprised. It's still done by hand, it's hardy enough. He was about to turn around and take a good look at the things in his hands, when suddenly... Call. Another figure appeared in front of him. Give it to me, take it. Dong Qingxiu snatched the secret silver pendant from Qin Shijun's hand, dropped a word coldly, 
and turned away. Qin Shijun was stunned. The next second blurted out. You are crazy. Dong Kinks You. Chapter 261 One person, one shot, defending the front alone. 2. L. Yu Sheng grabbed the red crystal dragon pattern with one hand and ran on the dilapidated street. His speed has not improved to the extreme, but it is still very fast. All I could see were silhouettes that flashed and disappeared, as well as the dust that started up when the alloy boots landed. L. Yu Sheng ran along the long street all the way. Before the alien beast crisis broke out, it turned out to be a first tier city in the Dragon Country. The frequent appearance of burrows has led to the evacuation of all the population in the city. For more than 100 years, this prosperous metropolis in the past has been covered with dust, and there are traces of time flowing and washing away everywhere. L. Yu Sheng slowed down and walked on the long street. There are dilapidated high rise buildings on both sides of him. This is already close to the city center. It should have been a commercial street at the beginning. The dilapidated scene is somewhat similar to the fallen base 1359 in the dream space, the only difference is that the sides of the street are covered with weeds and overgrown with trees. There are traces of savage growth of vegetation everywhere. In a few hundred years, this place may return to nature. L. Yu Sheng looked at the squirrels resting on the street lights in the distance, and thought silently in his heart. The alloy boots stepped on the concrete street, making clear and reassuring footsteps. L. Yu Sheng walked to a tall building and stopped 967. The glass wall under this tall building has not been completely broken, and the outline of L. Yu Sheng is dimly reflected. Mental power turned into an invisible hand, wiping away all the dust on the glass wall. A strange yet familiar figure was reflected in the mirror. He is 1.92 meters tall, wearing a black combat uniform jacket, black camouflage trousers and alloy combat boots. The figure is tall and slender, as if blending with the silver spear in his hand. Beneath the slightly messy black hair is a tough and handsome face with bright eyes. The original greenness has almost faded away, and a thin layer of dark blue has emerged on the lips and chin. In less than a week, L. Yu Sheng has completely completed his transformation from a teenager to a youth. If my parents and L. Yu King he saw me like this, they probably wouldn't recognize me at a glance. L. Yu Sheng thought about it, stopped looking, turned and left. Go a few kilometers further. When L. Yu Sheng walked through a green area of a community overgrown with weeds, a black shadow suddenly jumped out of it and rushed towards his door. L. Yu Sheng calmly glanced over. The black shadow instantly freezes in mid-air, and then bursts open. The stench of blood splattered on the ground in front of the Lushan alloy boots. Now facing this kind of alien beast below level 7, I don't even need to use a weapon, pure mental power is enough to easily crush it. L. Yu Sheng also tried not to use weapons, but simply used his mental power to cast the invisible wave of the praying wheel knife. The power is acceptable. Continuous attacks can also kill a 7th level alien beast. After getting the inheritance of the real spiritual master technique, my spiritual power that has been eating ashes for too long can finally be used as the main combat force to participate in the war. When the golden obsidian humanoid is completely transformed into the amethyst humanoid, I am afraid that only one invisible blade wave will be able to kill the 7th level alien beast like mowing grass. Using the Wheel of Wishes, Killing an 8th level sect is like killing a chicken. L. Yu Sheng's thoughts moved, and the blades of the endless knife wheel that had been surrounding him all flew towards him like butterflies. L. Yu Sheng picked up a piece and glanced at random. There are several rice grain sized gaps on the edge of the blade, and there are many scratches on the surface that was originally smooth as a mirror. This is the consequence of L. Yu Sheng's extreme attention to control. As soon as you enter the 7th level, all the secret silver weapons are not enough. At least one third of the secret gold must be mixed with it, and it must be maintained frequently. Of course, it also has something to do with him using it too often. In the past five days, L. Yu Sheng killed nearly 50 of the seventh level alien beasts. Level 7 exotic animals have rough and thick flesh, 
and weapons under level 7 lose their durability quickly. It's a shame that I said before that the infinite blade wheel hasn't been used a few times since it was built, and it's put in the corner to eat ashes. If you use it, it will be rotten. L. Yu Shang shook his head. He just wants to quickly end the battle here, return to the base as soon as possible for repairs, change equipment, or something. This is also one of the reasons why he madly killed alien beasts to accumulate merits during this period. L. Yu Shang grabbed the red crystal dragon pattern and continued to walk forward. Suddenly, his expression changed slightly. The next breathing figure freezes and dissipates like a bubble. Die. Die. Ha ha. A man in a battle suit, covered in blood, his face was barely visible, and his hair was condensed into clumps. Holding a heavy machine gun, he frantically spit out tongues of fire at several alien beasts in front of him. He was insane, and he didn't know whether to cry or laugh. Soon, the bullets in the machine gun ran out. He tore off the jacket of his combat uniform, revealing the densely packed high explosive grenades the size of goose eggs. Die together. The man's eyes showed a strong madness, and he stretched out his hand to pull the grenade ring on his waist. But just as his hand grabbed the thunder ring and was about to pull it out, an invisible and inexplicable force suddenly descended, firmly suppressing his body and hands. The man opened his eyes wide, with a ghostly expression on his face, trying hard to struggle, but he didn't move. Seeing that several ferocious beasts were approaching like a fly, the stench from his mouth slapped his cheeks. The man finally panicked, despair in his eyes. Hold. His eyes widened, and he was about to die. At this time, a slender and tall figure appeared quietly. He stood between the man and the alien beast, and glanced at the alien beast casually. Bang! An alien beast exploded. Then the second one, the third one. Four or five level five or six alien beasts chasing and killing men, all of them exploded into a cloud of blood in a breathless time, and the broken corpses and blood clots were scattered all over the ground. The man was stunned and blinked, wondering if it was his dazzling eyes. Or dreaming. Sixth level alien beast? In normal times, at least two or three sixth level experts are required to solve it quickly. Even when Shizuo was still alive, he had to use two or three knives. This person. He only took one look. A look. The man's view of martial arts was hit hard as never before, and his head was a little dazed. It wasn't until he saw the finely shattered blades floating around the person's body that he was a little surprised. Spiritualist. No wonder. But is the spiritual master so powerful? The brain is still messed up. At this time, the man had walked up to him, looked down at him condescendingly, and frowned, which division? The man woke up from a dream and jumped up from the ground. Stand upright and salute. Colonel Li Yuking of the 835th Division, I have seen the commander. The man's body is straight and his expression is determined, but his eyes are still shocked. Only now did he notice the appearance of the man in front of him. Young. He was too young, looking only in his early twenties. Such exaggerated strength at such a young age. Zheng Xing. Not the general star, but also the future general star. He made a decision in his mind. 835 Division. L. Yu Sheng searched for information about this division in his mind. Yu Fei showed him the defensive map of the battle line in his hand, if he remembered correctly. The 835th Division is the defensive unit adjacent to the UFEI Division. They were in charge of a longer line of defense, and of course the division was far more powerful than UFEI's 1182 Division. Whether it is weapons and equipment, or the level of martial arts powerhouses. Then why are you here? L. Yu Sheng glanced around and said, Has the 835 Division's front been extended here? The man's face showed a bit of sadness, and he smiled miserably, the line of defense has long been broken. Break the line of defense. L. Yu Sheng was taken aback. The next moment, 
the man standing in front of Liu Sheng suddenly felt an invisible wave spread from Liu Sheng. This fluctuation made him have a kind of gust of wind, and the whole person was completely seen through. Even more frightening. Liu Sheng's spiritual power was unreservedly released, and his vision continued to rise, spread, and extend. After a while, Liu Sheng withdrew his investigation, and there were traces of waves in his eyes. Does the military know the news that the line of defense has been broken? No reinforcements. Liu Sheng stared into the man's eyes and asked. The man smiled bitterly, it has been reported to the military a long time ago, and it keeps saying that there are reinforcements, let us wait. When the defense line is completely broken, the order to evacuate will come. Then why didn't you withdraw? 4.9 The man lowered his head, was silent for a while, and replied, The teacher didn't leave, he died. We won't leave either. It doesn't matter where you die if you think about killing one more beast before you die. When the teacher's seat is together. Liu Sheng was silent. If this line of defense is broken, what will be the consequences? Liu Sheng asked again. The defense lines on both sides of the surrounding area will be affected. If you don't return to the defense in time, it may even spread to the safe area. The man thought for a while and briefly summed it up in one sentence. In short, a lot of people will die. Understood. Liu Sheng nodded, turned, and continued to move towards the west side. He walked slowly, but fast. Seeing that Liu Sheng's back was about to disappear, the man seemed to remember something, and shouted, Sir, there is a war zone. Now there are alien beasts everywhere. I know. Liu Sheng's voice floated far away, with a calmness from beginning to end. I'll go and see if I can still make it up. The man was stunned for a moment, wondering if his ears had heard it wrong. Remedy One Person Chapter 262 There is only one reinforcement? I think it is possible three. Liu Sheng walked like the wind. Like a big bird roaming around the city. After breaking through the seventh level of spiritual power, Liu Sheng tried to take off and fly completely by relying on his spiritual power. It turns out that it does. But the speed is much slower than running on land, which is useful in some specific situations. For example, jumping without a parachute. Passing through the ruins of the city, Liu Sheng approached the outskirts of the city. It's getting noisy here. The roar of alien beasts the sound of machine guns firing, the sound of shells bursting, mixed with roars, screams, laughter. When Liu Sheng stopped at the top of the last tall building on the edge of the city, he looked down. The scene is unobstructed. A large number of armored vehicles, tanks, and various abandoned vehicles were stacked to form a long, 4-5 to five meter high huge defense line around the edge of the city. It reminded Liu Sheng of some apocalyptic games and movies that he had played in his previous life. Wasteland style. It's a pity that this military line of defense has now been torn apart. The sea-like group of alien beasts gushed out from the cracks in the burrows farther away, rushing towards this side like waves. You can see more than one seventh level alien beast wandering on the battlefield. The reason why this wave of alien beasts has not completely penetrated into the ruins of the city behind him is entirely because there is still a small flame burning tenaciously in the defense line. In the position close to the central defense line, there is a small battle fort built with high-strength alloy materials mixed with cement concrete. There are five people in the battle fort, four of them are lying on the edge of the fortress, two are shooting frantically with machine guns and one is throwing all kinds of bombs, rockets, and so on. There is also a cold 12-weapon war bow. They seem to have plenty of ammo, so they've been able to hold on until now. The corpses of alien beasts were piled all around the small fortress, and there were probably no less than a hundred of them, and they were basically low-level alien beasts. On the ground between the four of them lay a tall man with injuries to his chest and abdomen. He leaned on the edge of an alloy long knife that was inserted straight into the concrete floor, and looked like he was saying something to the military cap hanging on the alloy knife handle. 
The five were extremely tenacious, but it was only a matter of time before they were extinguished. Because many alien beasts have passed through the defense line, even if not every one of them is heading towards them, they can be piled to death by the number alone. L. Yu Sheng watched for a while, got a general understanding of the situation, and jumped directly from the roof. He didn't have time to think too much, he had to do his best. Just like what he told the man before. Try it and see if you can fix it. The premise for L. Yu Sheng to do all this is that he has the confidence to retreat at any time. Fuck. Kill more and more. Shirtless, with tendon flesh, black and shiny skin, he didn't know whether it was sweat or oil. He took a deep breath, then put on another machine gun, and then did a shot. The black-faced man next to him was expressionless, like a machine repeating the posture of constantly drawing the bow and shooting arrows. Every arrow he fired was filled with white gas, piercing clouds, and cracking rocks, like a sniper popping out of the chamber. His right arm that draws the bow is already high and swollen due to congestion, a full circle larger than his left arm, but he doesn't seem to care at all. The more the better, I just helped the teacher earn enough money, and the next step is to support us. Little Giggs, who was in charge of dropping bombs, also nodded in agreement. Yet, yeah, one more kill is a gain. I've already kept enough explosives to raise this whole piece to the ground. Make sure everyone walks comfortably and doesn't leave any scum to these beasts. Saying that, this slightly skinny guy patted the big iron boxes under his buttocks and grinned, revealing a mouth full of white teeth. The remaining machine gunner emptied a magazine and looked back, his eyes a little unbearable, I'm afraid Lao Tao can't do it. When several people heard the words, they all looked at the latter, only to see that the middle-aged man lying next to the long alloy knife was already in a trance, with blood pooling under his chest and abdomen, apparently on the verge of dying. Several people were silent, with sad expressions on their faces. Suddenly, at this moment, the man holding the bow groaned, and his body fell back involuntarily. Kuriko. The others were startled, but didn't have time to react. Four or five alien beasts have jumped up suddenly, the cold light is overflowing, and the wind is blowing. Several people were in a mess in an instant, and hurriedly grabbed the cold weapon at hand. But in the next second, screams and blood rushed out at the same time. This war fort, which has persisted miraculously until now, is about to fall apart like flakes in the wind in the blink of an eye. The diminutive little Giggs was pressed down by his companions for the first time, avoiding the attack of alien beasts. He curled up beside the dying man in a trance, watching his only remaining robe struggling to resist under the claws and claws of alien beasts, looking back. It was facing the long alloy knife stuck on the ground, and the dark blue military cap hanging quietly on the handle. Master's seat. The man reached out and took off the general's hat, put it in his arms and wiped it a few times, wiping the badge on the brim of the hat to shine. The light above the head quickly dimmed, which was caused by more and more alien beasts rushing up. A few of our brothers, come to accompany you. The man grinned and pulled out what looked like a remote control from his pocket, and was about to press it hard. Several people in the war castle seemed to feel something in their hearts, and their bodies all relaxed in an instant. Looking at the sky, the voices of those dead robes appeared one by one in a trance. It is finally over. Several people are ready to die generously. At this time. Boom. The invisible wave light sweeps flat. The alien beasts piled up on the battle fort are like being cut and swept away by an invisible huge sickle. The parts above the battle castle were exposed, and all disappeared in an instant. The noisy roar suddenly clears up, and the obscured light shines in again. Then there seemed to be a gust of wind blowing through the battle fort, and several exotic beasts in the battle fort were all blown out, flying high into the sky like straw. Call. A figure suddenly appeared at the top of the battle castle, looking down at them. He glanced calmly and dropped a word. Get up quickly before you die. Then disappeared again. Several people in the war castle were all stunned. The few people who were already ready to die suddenly stood up and looked at each other. 
what happened? One of them suddenly showed ecstasy on his face, and exclaimed excitedly, Reinforcement, it must be reinforcements. The rest of the people also had hope in their eyes and climbed up one after another. Fuck, some people really want to die. Even the skinny man at the bottom jumped up numbly, quickly climbed up the battle fort, and lay on the top edge to take a look. The first sight is shocking. I saw a figure raging like a hurricane among the alien beasts. A huge golden knife wheel spins rapidly above its head. Every time it appears and disappears, there will be an extra corpse of an alien beast whose body has been neatly cut into two pieces. The raging flames are wrapped around the silver spear, like a fire dragon tossing. The figure who wielded a long spear and was shrouded in brilliant golden aura, looked down on his face. Just like the sun. Wherever he went, the strange beasts fell down like mowing the grass. Several people hiding in the battle fort were stunned. Deeply shocked, my heart was taken away by it. This figure only appeared for such a short time, and the group of alien beasts around the defense line has been completely emptied. The floor was full of live corpses, and the dirty blood pooled in streams that flowed everywhere. The thin man reluctantly shifted his gaze away from the incomparable figure, and glanced around 420 blankly. Suddenly startled, his face was a little ugly and he said, the reinforcements, it seems that he is the only one. Several of his comrades didn't seem to hear what he said, and still stared straight ahead from their eyes. After a long while, the thin man heard someone say something in a low voice. How do I think that he alone? Is enough. The thin man blinked and looked up. His pupils shrunk sharply. He saw at the foot of the figure that was as fierce and dazzling as the sun. At this time, large swathes of frost and ice have begun to spread. Many. Too many beasts. As if endless. El Yu Sheng felt like a reef on the coast, being beaten by waves after waves. He probably knew why the line of defense of the 835 division was broken. Because the alien beast tide is too fierce, it is at least four or five times stronger than Ufei's. At a glance, there were no less than five level seven alien beasts on the field, and there were even more five, six level, three or four level alien beasts pouring out of the cracks in the burrow. Even El Yusheng felt the pressure. And the pressure is still increasing. But. Really cool. Boom. A wave of air suddenly exploded on El Yusheng's body, sending dozens of alien beasts flying out of his body. Taking advantage of the surrounding alien beasts to fill the vacuum, El Yusheng slowly moved his hands and feet, and his body made a sound of starting. The collision of blood and flesh, the symphony of bone and bone. It seems that something is quickly awakening in El Yusheng's body. It's been too long. El Yusheng slowly raised the red crystal dragon pattern in his hand, and large swaths of frost appeared from under his feet and spread. Like this without reservations, full of strength, hardy. It's a battle. Boom. El Yusheng slammed his head and plunged into the group of alien beasts in front of him. Chapter 263 No. Double. 4. El Yusheng stepped out, and a large area of frost paved the way. Where the ice and snow spread, the alien beasts below the fifth level were quickly covered by the ice layer from the claws. Only alien beasts above the sixth level are eligible to move, but they are also slow to move, and there is no speed in ten. Cold Halberd Prison The crimson tip of the gun spewed out a bright glacier. The little cold sparrow spreads its wings from the glacier. Its wings are spread out, and it is as frosty as a halberd. But on the ice blue wings, there was a red flame burning. El Yusheng almost never used the trick of Hanji Sparrow Prison in reality. But when he really used this ultimate move, Han Linke already had a more powerful posture. The shadow of the gun disappeared in a flash. In front of El Yusheng, there was a seventh level strange beast that looked like a monster in an episode of Ultraman, and his bloody mouth opened before he had time to make the last cry of his life. The huge body turned dark blue and was silently frozen. The cold spirit sparrow passed quickly. 
The huge ice blue ice sculpture collapsed suddenly, but the broken flesh and viscera inside was scorched, as if it had been burned by flames. Two heavens of ice and fire. L. Yu Sheng's eyes were as calm as water, but his heart was filled with joy. He has already entered the second floor of the empty and bright state. What surprised him was that the increase in the ability to control elements on the second floor of the empty and bright state was not just as shallow as he imagined at the beginning. Not only does the ability to control a single element improve, but it can even control multiple elements to coexist. It's just diabolical. Natural breathing is too powerful. The more L. Yu Sheng understands this practice, the more he can feel its inner mystery. Ice, fire, wind, earth, thunder. Various elemental powers switched back and forth in L. Yu Sheng's hands, changing patterns to slaughter alien beasts. L. Yu Sheng entered a state of ecstasy, only to feel that all kinds of inspirations kept emerging, erupting, and colliding in his mind. He has comprehended a lot of miscellaneous elemental abilities, but has used it very rarely. Except for the breath of wind and the breath of fire, most of the other elemental abilities are placed in the corners to eat ashes, and it is rare to pick them up and use them once. Only now did L. Yu Sheng know how powerful elemental abilities are in the battlefield when combined with martial arts. It is equivalent to the special effects of the attack. The lethality is several times stronger than that of ordinary untalented warriors, a cutting tool. No wonder even in the future 10,000 years of martial arts, the elemental control class talent warriors are golden knots. Not to mention spiritual talent. L. Yu Sheng used both hands together and the alien beasts he killed have not been distracted. That's the real reaping of wheat. It's a big piece at a glance. Of course, his mental power is too strong to cause such a perverted effect. After entering the second form of Shiquan martial arts, the will of L. Yu Sheng's various masters switched as naturally as running clouds and flowing water. The grey roulette wheel in my mind kept spinning, and the invisible pointer fell frequently. The more L. Yu Sheng killed, the more fun he was. Natural breathing worked to the extreme in his body, and the state of climbing Cumulus Mountain came to him again. L. Yu Sheng only felt that there was a breath in his chest and he was unhappy. Suddenly the spear swept away, and the figure rose up like a day pen, and swayed straight up. A touch of golden light bloomed at the Mizen Yintang Shrine. The grey roulette wheel suddenly stopped in my mind. Behind him, the illusory shadow of Mingzun, which is as majestic as a mountain, quietly emerges, the dazzling ice river flows, the black crescent moon and the golden sun complement each other. The will of the four cornerstone masters appeared at the same time. In an instant, L. Yu Sheng circled around. The hurricane rose sharply, ice and fire rose, and the earth rolled over like waves. The four terrifying powers are intertwined and they spread and explode in circles and layers. Countless alien beasts swarming towards him flew out one by one, even including a seventh-level alien beast with a body like a hill. In an instant, with L. Yu Sheng as the center, all the alien beasts within a radius of one kilometer were swept away. On the battlefield, between heaven and earth, as if he was left alone. L. Yu Sheng screamed in the sky, and the two words in his mouth finally spit out. No. Double. Boom. Numb. The few soldiers standing at the top of the homemade battle fort have long been numb. At this time, the scene in front of them made their eyes dull and dazed. The images of the distant battlefield were reflected in their eyes. Yao Jiao was a figure like a dragon, holding a gun in one hand, surrounded by strong winds, ice and fire rising around him, and the earth rolling under his feet. A setting sun was slowly sinking behind him. Large swaths of alien beasts are thrown out like straws. Unparalleled shock and impact. I don't know what words to use to express my inner feelings at this moment. Several people glanced at the battlefield blankly. Before that, there was an endless stream like a tide, and at a glance, the crowd of alien beasts gave a sense of suffocation. I do not know when it has become a lot sparse. Those alien beasts that had already run behind the defense line were attracted back, 
but they still couldn't make up for this sparse and scattered feeling. The appearance of one after another reminded several people of a moth group that was fighting a fire. El Yusheng is the fire that burns everything. He is the sun. A. Uh, a panting man who had just arrived at the battlefield was stunned when he saw this scene. The footsteps stopped, and his face was full of astonishment and confusion. He saw the corpses of alien beasts all over the floor. A completely different scene from when he left. If it weren't for the few people who stood in a daze on the battle fort, he would almost have thought that he had gone to the wrong line of defense on the battlefield. El Yusheng drove unparalleled from the sun to the sunset, and then to the moon and stars. There are fewer and fewer alien beasts around him, and when he even needs to take the initiative to search, he realizes that. It seems almost. Looking up, under the starlight, there are corpses of alien beasts everywhere blood pooling into rivers, and some have even dried up and condensed. Pieces are printed on the ground, reflecting a large area of darkness. The cracks in the burrows in the distance are still spewing strange beasts, but the number is much less than that of the daytime. It will take at least a day or even longer to converge to the scale of the day. El Yusheng relaxed, and immediately felt exhausted from his body. He was silently speechless. Even his inhuman body of steel was exhausted, and one could imagine how crazy this battle was from day to night. Take a look inside. Nima, even the large blood pill on the chest is smaller. If there is enough different marrow fluid now, I am afraid that the third stage of my immortal golden body will be able to make a big step forward in one go, and even hit the second immortal cell. It's a pity that there are many corpses of alien beasts. There was not a single drop of the different marrow fluid. Everything is good on the battlefield, but resources are scarce. If there is sufficient supply of resources, coupled with this endless pressure stimulation, the strength will definitely advance by leaps and bounds. But the harvest is not without. El Yusheng's eyes lit up, feeling his own transformation. He broke through a certain shackle in this battle and entered a state similar to Dot Peerless. It can use the will of the four cornerstone masters and four different elemental abilities at the same time. The combat power has once again been raised to a whole new level. The strongest form other than the Valkyrie state, and... El Yusheng had a hunch that after comprehending the unparalleled stance, his combat power in the state of Wushan was estimated to have greatly improved. Shikwin Master Dao was originally created by me. It needs to be improved little by little and gradually approach the real realm of the real god of martial arts. El Yusheng was in a good mood. At this time, the battlefield communicator in the personal pocket rang. Connected, Yu Fei's voice came from inside. El Yusheng, where are you? El Yusheng thought for a while, but he still didn't tell Yu Fei the real situation, he just said vaguely, in a battlefield, the battle situation is a little anxious. Master, I may stay for a few more days before I come back. Such a good leveling ground, one person has a line of defense. He was really reluctant to leave. Yu I was silent for a while, then replied, Okay, the battle line here is not too tight, we should be able to handle it. Be careful yourself, I heard that an important defense line in the west has fallen, and alien beasts are raging, don't break in by mistake very dangerous. El Yusheng was embarrassed to say that he was staying here now, and he was having a good time, so he could only nod his head to show that he knew. Yu Fei didn't say much, just ordered a few words, and hung up, Zhao does, to cut off the communication. El Yusheng put away the communicator and looked at the crack in the burrow that was spitting out alien beasts in the distance, and suddenly felt hungry. Old Li, you are not dead. It's really good. On the war fort side, several people hugged each other, crying and laughing. The man who led El Yusheng over also looked excited, his lips trembling and he was speechless. Only after dying once did you realize how precious some things are. The most surprising thing is that old Tao with chest and abdomen injuries that everyone thought was going to die. It miraculously survived. After a simple bandaging treatment and two mouthfuls of water, 
he fell asleep and his state became stable. Just as the few people were immersed in the joy of reunion between life and death, a loud sound of heavy objects hitting their ears rang out. Boom! Several people turned their heads suddenly, and their eyelids jumped fiercely. They saw the corpse of a huge alien beast belonging to the seventh level lying in front of them. A young man with a gun watched them quietly. The brilliance of the stars and moon sprinkled on the young man's tough face, his eyes were bright, and there was a bit of hesitation and longing in his eyes. You! Who can cook? Chapter 264 Mountains of corpses and seas of blood, clear sky, find him immediately for me. 1. Eastern Military District 9th Theater Command a 50-year-old man wearing a dark blue military uniform, with shining epaulets, black hair and Megami Chuangkai sat in front of the large long table, quietly listening to the report of the person in front of him. The riots in the S level boroughs have been completely subsided, two days later than expected. I have put the specific casualty statistics on the computer desktop in front of you, Commander. The Marshal also passed on a copy. He Ding Jun the commander-in-chief of the 9th Theater of Operations and one of the four major generals in the East, heard the report from his subordinates. He didn't show any joy or anger on his face, but said lightly, although the riot in the S level borough is inhumane, it is also exposed. Here are some questions about the guarding and monitoring of the boroughs in the Eastern military region. These problems may exist in any level of borough garrison, and we must take this as a warning in the future and improve the awareness of supervision and protection. Yes. The subordinate nodded respectfully. He Ding Jun continued, this time, the generals in the Ninth War Zone did not perform very well in dealing with the riots in the S level boroughs. I will arrange a time to gather them, and I will have a brief chat with them. I'll make arrangements now. No hurries. He Ding Jun raised his eyebrows and said coldly, Are you forgetting that we still have a big problem that we haven't solved yet? The subordinate was stunned for a moment, then suddenly woke up. The commander reminded. In a hurry, he called up a map of the front line on the projection screen in front of him. The entire map clearly divides the cracks of a cave, and different divisions are responsible for the defense lines of different positions and the battle situation level of each defense line is also marked with different colors. Green represents stability, blue represents stability, and red means 663 means the line of defense has collapsed. He Ding Jun swept across the line of defense map with his tiger's eyes, his eyes stopped at several dark red areas on the map, and his brows were slightly wrinkled. Why did line 8 collapse? Which division is in charge of line 8? The subordinates quickly replied, the 833 Division, the division leader, Major General Feng Bashi. Call me the current battlefield situation of the number 8 line of defense immediately. Yes. The subordinate taps the position belonging to the number 8 line of defense on the map, and the message is connected to the battlefield satellite in real time, and the scene of the battlefield belonging to the number 8 line of defense is broadcasted soon. He Ding Jun stared at the picture, stared blankly for a while, and said coldly, Where is Feng Bo Shi now? The subordinates felt the coldness in He Ding Jun's tone, lowered his voice, and quickly replied, Major General Feng is leading his subordinates to rest and prepare to wait for the arrival of the star reinforcements before heading back. Wait a fuck. He Ding Jun snorted coldly and said, It's not his turn if there are reinforcements and the number 8 defense line is not even a second level key area. Does he Feng Baji have the face to bring soldiers back? Tell him to return to the battlefield immediately and rebuild the defense line. Tomorrow morning, either let me hear the news of the stability of the number 8 defense line, or let me hear the news of his sacrifice of Feng Baji. Yes. The subordinate nodded hurriedly. Immediately afterwards, he Ding Jun pointed out and inquired about the status of some defense lines, and occasionally called up satellite surveillance to inspect the scene of the defense lines. Subordinates respond to reports one by one. He Ding Jun's face became slightly gloomy after patrolling several sections of the red line of defense. 
The AA3A level burrows that emerged this time happened to be located in the 9th Theater, and the Guard Force was naturally recruited from the 9th Theater at the first time. The major generals guarding the front line are all from the 9th Theater. After this war, He Ding Jun's direct line of generals sacrificed as many as 12, together with his troops. He Ding Jun's heart was bleeding. This kind of elite commander talent with the strength of a 7th level grandmaster and a certain military literacy is not something that can be easily cultivated. He Ding Jun's mood eased a little until his eyes swept across the lower left corner of the defense line map, which formed a long stretch of reassuring green. This line of defense is quite solid. Feeling the frost on He Ding Jun's face eased a little, his subordinates lifted their spirits and reported with a smile, I got the news. It is said that the 1182 Division has performed well here, and even has spare strength to reinforce the surrounding defense lines and make a contribution to the stability of several nearby defense lines. Great contribution! He Ding Jun's eyes lit up slightly and said, Who led the 1182 Division? Major General Yu Fei. Yu Fei. He Ding Jun read the name, and suddenly responded, I remember that some time ago the military recruited a good seedling to be trained by the martial arts, which was recommended by Yu Fei, what is it called? L. Yu Sheng. That's right, it's called L. Yu Sheng. The young master, at a very young age, he had the blood of several masters on his hands, and even the extreme martial arts hall dared to provoke. Ha ha. He Ding Jun couldn't help laughing, nodded, and said, Yu Fei is a good person. He is a talented person. When this incident is over, let him come to me. Good commander. The subordinate responded with a smile on his face. Finally, He Ding Jun's eyes moved to the most prickly red area in the lower left corner of the defense line map. At the previous meeting of the commanders of the Eastern Military Region's General Theater Command, the marshal personally pointed out this position and named it Strategic Point B. This line of defense is like a narrowing of a pocket, surrounding one end of the crack in the burrow. Unfortunately, the bag is now torn. But also expected. The smile that had just bloomed on He Ding Jun's face faded little by little. He folded his hands in front of him, his eyes were calm, and he said in a low voice, Call the scene, and see the situation. The subordinate felt the sudden depression in the atmosphere in the room, slowed down his breathing, and whispered, Yes. He took out the remote control and simply operated it twice. Soon, a picture appeared on the big screen. First a long shot down from a high place, and then a quick zoom in. As the picture zoomed in, the pupils of He Ding Jun and the subordinates standing beside him also shrank rapidly. The expected picture of alien beasts raging and fleeing did not appear. What appeared in front of the two of them was a The mountain of corpses and the sea of blood. The mountain of blood and the sea of corpses of alien beasts. In front of this sea of corpses and blood, a tall figure stood proudly. He stood quietly in front of the crack in the burrow, with the spear in his hand casually placed on the ground. That picture. As if he was alone then abruptly defended a clear sky. SHH. He Ding Jun supported the table with both hands, stood up abruptly, leaned forward and his face showed an unparalleled look of shock and emotion. Who is this man? Immediately, find him for me. On the wilderness. A tall woman strolled along. She was wearing a slim-fitting high-level combat uniform, a wireless communication headset in her ears, and two alloy long swords crossed behind her back. When she walked to a dense bush, several black shadows suddenly sprang up and flew towards her. The woman's expression did not fluctuate, as if she had expected this scene long ago. The woman casually pulled out the two alloy long swords behind her back, and her hands were astonishingly fast. The sword wielding hands suddenly disappeared and appeared again in the air. There was a flash of white light. Several alien beasts that were about to pounce in front of her froze, fell to the ground, shattered into dozens of pieces, and the stench and blood flowed all over the floor. After doing all this, the woman tapped the headset in her ear lightly, and said lightly, four of them have just been solved, 
three of them are level 5, one level is level 6, everything is normal. Soon, a reply came from the headset. I just killed two here, and everything is normal. I didn't encounter it, everything is normal. It's okay, it's normal. Hearing the report of the team members, the woman nodded and said, then gather at coordinates triple x dot triple x. Yes, Captain. Fifteen minutes later, the four-man team successfully converged on the edge of the huge abandoned city. They stood in a low-lying place overgrown with weeds, and while resting, they briefly reported and communicated. It's really weird. I walked around in circles for a long time, but I didn't see a single alien beast above the fifth level. Didn't the defense line in front of me have been broken? It doesn't look like it at all. A bronze-faced man with a height of 2.2 meters and a scorpion tattooed on his bald head touched his head and muttered in confusion. It's almost the same on my side. Although it's not that there are no fifth-level alien beasts, the number is really small. To be honest. Next to him, a slender, handsome young man in his thirties paused, and said, It's almost the same as when we usually go out into the wilderness, and it can even be said to be more stable. It's really not like the description in the data, the line of defense is broken. The hardest hit area ravaged by alien beasts. Another middle-aged man with an ordinary appearance and a medium stature also made a brief report, and the situation was similar to the previous two descriptions. The leading woman nodded, frowning slightly. This thing is indeed a bit weird. It stands to reason that the task that is rated as double A should not be this difficult. And the cracks in the new burrow appeared, the news that the defense line was broken here is well known, and the information should not be wrong. The woman raised her head, looked at the city ruins in the distance, and said solemnly, those alien beasts that escaped, since they are not in the wilderness area, they can only hide in the city. Everyone should be careful, the density of alien beasts in the city is estimated to be far beyond our expectations. It's definitely going to be a tough fight. Chapter 265 The Long Wall of Flesh and Blood, The Figure Guarding the Gate 2. How hard can it be to suppress the double S level burrows? The bald-headed man's expression was exaggerated, and he said with lingering fears, My dear, all the nine level alien beasts have come out, if I hadn't run fast, I'm afraid I would have explained it there. The life expectancy of a seventh level grandmaster is theoretically 500 years, and I don't want to die young. Martial masters have only been around for a few years, how many survived to the theoretical value? The handsome young man next to him glanced at him and said, However, the double S level burrows are indeed terrifying. Once you sink deep into them, you will have nowhere to run. I heard that there were no less than 15 level 7 generals who fell in this riot. There are even 8 level generals. This kind of encirclement and suppression mission with open terrain is really nothing, with the strength and tacit understanding of our team, even if there are more 7th level alien beasts, at least they can escape, and they will not die. The faces of several people were all expressions of I have seen the dungeon of hell difficulty and then brushed the ordinary dungeon. The Shuangjian woman in charge of leading the team also nodded and said, This operation is over, and the merits we have obtained are enough for us to improve our strength. After taking a break and digesting for a while, and then starting the task, the strength of the entire team can be improved to a higher level. Captain, are you almost level 8? The middle-aged man who had been taciturn suddenly asked a question. The woman shook her head, It's early. I haven't touched the threshold yet, and the double bridges of heaven and earth are still invisible. I hope to touch the eighth level in this life. Okay, stop gossip, and everyone is ready to act. Yes. The four stopped chatting and their expressions turned solemn. The formation spread out slightly, maintaining a distance that could be met at any time, and quickly walked towards the direction of the ruins of the city. The closer they got to the ruins of the city, the more serious their expressions became. At the edge of the city ruins, the handsome young people in the team took out a miniature drone from their backpacks and quietly put it into the sky. 
the pictures passed back by the drone are presented on the smartwatches in the hands of each team member. There is no danger, you can enter. The woman gave a low voice in the wireless communication headset, and the four quickly jumped into the city like civet cats. Even the most bloated and bald-headed man walked like a civet cat, and there was almost no sound when he landed. This is a very experienced and well-trained General Star team. Disperse the search, and reply as soon as possible when encountering a situation. Yes. Clear. Several people immediately dispersed, and their figures quickly disappeared into different street ruins. More than half an hour later, in an abandoned square in the center of the city. The four meet again. No traces of alien beasts were found. I don't have it here either. Everything is normal. The bald-headed man scratched his head and said, I have encountered two here, but they were all third and fourth grades, and they were pinched to death. I didn't find the others. Strangeness. Now the woman leading the team is even more puzzled, why are there fewer alien beasts in urban areas than in wilderness areas? Isn't this unreasonable? Could it be that they all went to other lines of defense? The middle-aged man spoke. Will not. The woman shook her head, the surrounding defense lines are very stable, and nothing unexpected happened. If you really went to another defense line area, there should have been instructions from above, let us turn to help other places. Beep beep. At this moment, the communication watch in the woman's hand rang. Picking up, a slightly frivolous young man's voice came from inside. Hong Yu, your team can do it, it's clear enough. We walked in the wilderness area for a long time, but we didn't encounter a strange beast. Before the other party could finish speaking, the woman cut off the call with a look of irritability. It's the Blue Star team. They arrived later than us and stepped into the wilderness area. At this time, the handsome young man pondered and said, Captain, is it possible that there is something wrong with the defense line itself? In fact, the defense line is not broken at all. The division in charge of this line of defense was withdrawn to the base for repairs more than a week ago, and the division commander died on the spot. Can this line of defense be broken? The woman thought about it and ordered. It's not a way for us to guess like this. We sent drones to investigate the defense line. Yes. The handsome young man immediately controlled the drone to fly to the other side of the city ruins, close to the defense line. The team members all stared at the screen in their hands, and the drone reconnaissance sent back the picture. I saw the drone quickly fly over the city. From top to bottom, you can see the whole picture of the city more clearly. Among the ruins, it is desolate and quiet and occasionally one or two alien beasts can be seen. The ruins of a huge city were so clean as if they had been swept by someone specially. There was nothing like a place where the line of defense was broken and alien beasts ravaged. The more they looked, the more shocked and confused they became. Finally, the drone flew to the edge of the battlefield. A blurry picture appeared in front of several people. The woman's eyes were instantly focused, and she quickly said, lower, the picture is closer. It is good. The handsome young man is about to control the drone to approach. Suddenly a black shadow flashed by, the screen trembled violently, and then completely fell into a black screen. The drone was shot down. The handsome young man stood up with a sigh. The rest of the team also had ugly expressions on their faces, and their eyes flashed with suspicion. Let's see for ourselves. Yes. A group of people moved quickly. At the same time, at the edge of the defensive line. The skinny man grabbed a drone that was smoking all over and had an alloy arrow stuck on its back, and jumped and cursed. Heezy, let me tell you, the drone of the reinforcements has shot you down. Drone. In the distance, the black-faced middle-aged man holding the big alloy bow shrank his neck and scratched his head, I... I thought it was an eagle or something, thinking about giving that dinner a change. Next to it, a few busy people surrounded a cauldron that they didn't know where they turned out, and replied casually, Okay, okay, it's just a drone. Shoot it down and shoot it down. 
Since reinforcements can send drones here, it is estimated that people are not far away. Instead of thinking about this, it's better to think about it, and make something for that adult to eat later. With that said, several people on the field subconsciously cast their eyes in one direction. Over there. The corpses piled up into mountains, the blood congealed into a river, and a slender and tall figure stood quietly with a long spear. In the eyes of a few people. Full of almost devout reverence and fanaticism. The team of four generally flies through the ruins of the city. Because they used drones to probe before and knew that there was no danger, they moved very fast. When you are about to approach the edge of the other end of the city, the position of the defense line marked on the map. The four of them started to slow down in unison. Give each other a be careful look and get closer to the target position step by step. Finally, they stepped out of the urban area, and the vision in front of them became wider. The first thing I saw was the steel defense line constructed of abandoned chariots and cars, and there were several figures of soldiers busy around a cauldron. The soldiers seemed to have spotted them too, and waved at them with great excitement, not knowing what to say in their mouths. Damn, there are still people alive, and, there is not even a single beast here. The bald man with tattoos on his head looked incredulous. The woman and the others covered their noses at the same time. No, the smell of blood is too strong. Rao is that they often go in and out of the wilderness burrows, and the members of the General Star team who are used to seeing blood have a feeling of being choked and out of breath. Let me see. The handsome young man randomly found a high point and jumped up, wanting to see more clearly. But he never thought that just as he jumped up and turned his eyes to the distance of the front line, he suddenly froze, his expression as if he had seen a ghost. Shocked, then sluggish. See what? The bald man murmured curiously and jumped up. In the next second, his performance became the same as that of the handsome young man, even more exaggerated, his mouth opened wide. The woman leading the team and the middle-aged man at the bottom looked at each other, and the two jumped up to a high point with a swoosh and looked forward together. At this glance, the pupils of the two men shrank fiercely, and their bodies were frozen, standing in the same place like petrification, and did not move. I see. At the front of the line of defense several miles ahead, countless corpses of alien beasts piled up. The blood soaked the ground, and condensed into large patches of dark red models on the ground. One by one, the stumps of different beasts were stacked together, forming a long blood-colored wall composed entirely of flesh and blood. The two long walls extend from the extreme distance to the middle, and the height is constantly rising. Near the very middle, the corpses of the alien beasts were completely piled up into mountains. Two corpse mountains. One left and one right, like a huge portal without a top. Flesh door. And in the middle of the door is blank. The setting sun was like blood, and a body with a spear turned its back to them, facing the direction of the crack in the burrow, and stood quietly. It seemed to sense their gaze. The body turned slightly and the sight of the face cast a calm gaze. Boom! His eyes crossed the endless distance and fell on several people. It was as if the thunder in the sky was falling, setting off a storm in the hearts of several people. The woman's body trembled fiercely, her face was pale, and she murmured with dull eyes. My! God! 6! Chapter 266 The Strongest Recruit in History 10,000 Massacres, Killing Chi-3 Tiger Scorpion A-Level General Star Team L. Yu Sheng sat on the roof of an abandoned armored vehicle, with the red crystal dragon pattern on his feet, tearing a piece of steaming exotic animal meat in his hand. While eating, he casually looked at the few people in front of him. Are you here for reinforcements? The four members of the Tiger Scorpion squad sat neatly on four stools made of cement stone slabs, and looked up at Liu Sheng from a top-down angle, but they didn't feel any discomfort. Instead, it feels natural. Yes, I received the order from the military to encircle and suppress alien beasts. There are probably no less than ten generals and star teams like us who have received missions. 
we are the earliest. Zhan Hongyu answered honestly. When speaking, his eyes glanced to the side of the defense line unconsciously. Every time he glanced, his eyelids twitched violently. No matter how many times she watched it, the blood-colored portal built by the long wall of flesh still made her feel shocked. Unparalleled huge shock. And it's such a shocking scene, which is completely created by the person in front of him. Zhang Hongyu sat in this place, and could clearly smell the strong bloody smell emanating from the other party's body. The skin exposed to the air also felt a tingling sensation like a needle stick from time to time. Although Al Yusheng just sat in front of her casually and communicated with her lightly, but a casual look, a tearing action. It will make Zhang Hongyu startled and her scalp tingles. In front of this battlefield 10,000 massacres, her grandmaster force field is useless. No matter what, he has to be a sect-level powerhouse, an eighth-level general. But an eighth-level general who looks so young and possesses such terrifying strength. Zhang Hongyu rummaged through the memories in his mind, but couldn't find a person who met the standard. So, the military will soon send someone to build this defense line. El Yu Sheng tore off a piece of alien meat and stuffed it into his mouth, chewing it into two or three pieces with his teeth like a guillotine, then swallowed it whole. Don't say it, it's down these days. The cooking skills of the big-headed soldiers he had rescued before had improved, and the cooked food tasted better than what El Yu Sheng ate in the 1182 Division Colonel's cafeteria. It should have been waiting for our side to complete the clearing, and then sending troops to guard it. The estimated time is one to one and a half months. But now. Zhang Hongyu glanced at the cracks in the burrow that were littered with corpses in the distance, and was about to be squeezed dry, and said, because my lord has already cleaned up the alien beasts in this line of defense. I will communicate the situation on the spot. After the military department has reviewed it, a division will come to station within two to three days. It is good. L. Yu Sheng nodded. In this way, his days of guarding one pass alone are finally coming to an end. Thinking of this, L. Yu Sheng relaxed, stood up, and slowly stretched his body. During this period of continuous fighting, his physique has been sharpened from the original fairness and warmth to a sharp and sharp texture. The simple action of stretching the muscles and bones, fell into the eyes of the tiger and scorpion team, and there was a feeling of swords, spears, swords and halberds colliding with each other. A murderous spirit. Zhang Hongyu stared at El Yusheng for a long time, her eyes always tingling, she wanted to bow her head, but she still couldn't help but ask cautiously, dare to ask your lord, what is your identity? El Yusheng was stunned for a moment, and then he reacted. It seems that he dragged the tiger scorpion team and questioned him for a long time, but he didn't really say who he was. After thinking about it, L. Yu Sheng replied, I am a recruit under Major General Yu Fei's 1182 division. It's been less than half a month since I joined the army. A few people in the tiger scorpion team were stunned, and the bald man inside forced a smile, Sir, are you joking? El Yu Sheng glanced at him casually and said lightly, Do you think I'm joking with you? The bald man suddenly stopped talking. The others were the same, but they looked at each other with horrified expressions, and they all saw the shocking waves from their respective eyes. Recruits? Less than half a month into the army? After finishing the task, one person forcibly defended the entire front? Several people in the Tiger Scorpion team were shocked by the news, and they didn't know what words to use to express their true thoughts for a while. After a while, Zhang Hongyu suddenly reacted and said quickly, Then, do you want to go back to the military region with us? With your strength, you can easily be rated as a general star, and various benefits are better than ordinary division soldiers. Too much. Zhang Hongyu looked at El Yusheng expectantly. If it is true as El Yusheng said, he is a recruit who has just joined the army, then now is the best time to build relationships and hug thighs. A strong young man who can accomplish such a feat. Zhang Hongyu can also predict with his heel, how bright a new star will be born in the eastern military region in time. 
I'm afraid it's the eighth light in the east, standing in front of me now. Zhang Hongyu couldn't contain his inner excitement. L. Yu Sheng was also a little moved by Zhang Hongyu's words. Look at yourself now. Not to mention personal hygiene issues, after more than a week of continuous fighting, the red crystal dragon pattern and the endless knife wheel were both seriously worn out, and their durability was almost lost. What's more, L. Yu Sheng's body's desire for energy has almost reached a limit now. He urgently needs to convert the accumulated merit points into resources, different marrow fluid, etc., to fill the inner emptiness. Then I have to say hello to the teacher first. L. Yu Sheng said, took out the communication device in his pocket, and dialed. During this time, L. Yu Sheng talked to Yu Fei on the phone every day. Although Yu Fei complained about him running outside every day and not staying home, there was nothing he could do just repeatedly told him to be careful. As for which front L. Yu Sheng was running on during this time, he had no idea at all. L. Yu Sheng told Yu Fei about the Tiger Scorpion team, and let Zhang Hongyu have a brief chat with Yu Fei himself. The two checked each other's identities, and Yu Fei was relieved. Okay, then you go back to the military base first. Your data and information base are all there. You have already entered the file, just go and review it. You stinky boy, you can't see the shadows when you run out, and now you are going to leave and don't come back to see you again. Yu Fei laughed and scolded, and said, but our affairs here are almost over. See you at the base when we come. I'll treat you to a drink. Wait for you, master. L. Yu Sheng smiled and cut off the communication. The Tiger Scorpion team looked at him with extremely complicated eyes. Really newbie. This is probably the strongest recruit in the history of the Eastern Military Region. Several surviving veterans of the 835th Division also walked with L. Yu Sheng and the others. These people have rested for more than a week, and they are responsible for cooking for L. Yu Sheng every day. They are not in good condition. Lively. Even the old Tao who was about to hang up before can walk like a fly. After all, they are all fifth or sixth level warriors, and their physical fitness is there, and the recovery speed is much faster than that of normal people. There will still be alien beasts that continue to run out of the burrow. L. Yu Sheng looked at the messy battlefield, and the flesh and blood portal he built when he was bored, with a hint of reluctance. He tilted his head to look at Zhang Hongyu. Does it really matter if we leave like this? Zhan Hongyu tried hard not to let herself see the sea of blood and corpses, soothed the waves surging in her heart, and forced herself to calm down, it's all right, there will be a team of generals coming over, and they will naturally finish the finishing work. You can't let them run away in vain. 2. L. Yu Sheng nodded and greeted, let's go then. This side, my lord. Zhang Hongyu showed L. Yu Sheng a direction, and then followed L. Yu Sheng step by step. Everyone in the Tiger Scorpion team deliberately fell behind L. Yu Sheng by a tacit understanding, letting him walk in the forefront. This is a kind of etiquette, which should be respected by the strong in the military. When crossing the edge of the city again and setting foot in the wilderness, whether it is the Tiger Scorpion squad or the surviving veterans of 835, there is a feeling of being separated from the world. The former has suffered too much shock and shock, and has not fully recovered. The latter is the joy of rebirth after catastrophe. L. Yu Sheng didn't feel anything, he just felt slightly relieved. It's like the feeling of a string that has been tensed for a long time and suddenly relaxed. When you enter the wilderness, find a safe area, I will contact the military area, and someone will come to meet you. Zhan Hongyu explained on the side. L. Yu Sheng nodded and walked forward at will. After a few steps, he stopped and looked straight ahead. In the wilderness, a group of five people quickly appeared in his field of vision. 0.9 spiritual power swept over, these five people are all strong in qi and blood, and they are clearly master level powerhouses. It's from the Blue Star team. Zhang Hongyu also saw the figures of the five people, narrowed his eyes and said to L. Yu Sheng. 
El Yu Shang read a different meaning from Zhan Hong Yu's eyes, and he was in a good mood, and asked one more question, have there been any festivals? That's not. Zhan Hong Yu shook his head and said, it's the captain of their squad. It's very annoying. A voice came in from behind. The leader of the Blue Star Squad has always pursued our leader. Just like flies, we have to follow us every time we go out on a mission, and we can't get rid of it. It's annoying. No one will think you are dumb if you don't speak. Zhan Hongyu glanced back angrily, and the latter immediately shrank his head and stopped talking. El Yu Sheng glanced at Zhan Hongyu's concave and convex figure, as well as his handsome appearance. He probably understood. Zhan Hongyu is also a human being. Feeling El Yu Sheng's gaze on her, not only did she feel embarrassed, she even deliberately took the initiative to straighten her chest. As if he was afraid that El Yu Sheng would not be able to see it. Chapter 267 Entering the military area, will be certified as a star. 4. Aside from El Yu Sheng's incomparably powerful strength and talent, the appearance is also absolutely one in a million. Although the martial arts practice to the back, the physique is constantly changing, the life magnetic field is strengthened, the temperament is beyond ordinary people, and the appearance will not be ugly. But it is rare to see someone as outstanding as El Yu Sheng. If El Yu Sheng really liked it, Zhan Hongyu would wake up laughing from a dream. During the conversation, the five people on the opposite side approached. The clothes are similar to those of Zhan Hongyu, wearing high level combat uniforms, alloy boots under their feet, and their own cold weapons on their bodies or in their hands. The leader was a tall, well built young man in his thirties. Bronze complexion, sword eyebrows, and star eyes, quite handsome. But as soon as he opened his mouth, he felt frivolous and arrogant. Hong Yu, why did you come out? The handsome young man strode up to meet him, his eyes swept over the people on their side at will, stopped on El Yu Sheng for a while, and finally landed on Zhan Hong Yu. Zhan Hong Yu frowned when she saw him, and did not speak to him, but turned her head to look at El Yu Sheng. Grown-ups. He seemed to be waiting for El Yu Sheng's instructions. My lord? What lord? Zhan Hong Yu's words made the handsome young man frown, looking at El Yu Sheng again. Seeing this, his face changed abruptly. El Yu Sheng held a long spear in his hand, but his posture was casual, standing there loosely, but it gave people a sense of sharpness and dazzling. El Yu Sheng glanced at him lightly. The handsome young man seemed to see a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood rising from El Yu Sheng's back, and ten thousand sharp knives pressed against all the big points on his body. For a moment, the scalp was numb and horrified. Who is your excellency? This time, even if the handsome young man was slow in his response, he could sense something was wrong. Even with a few team members behind him, the eyes that looked at El Yu Sheng were full of shock and awe. Some people even subconsciously grasped the cold weapon around their waist. El Yu Sheng ignored them and said to Zhan Hong Yu, Say hello and leave. Clear. Zhan Hong Yu said coldly to the handsome young man and his party, Lian Tian Si, we have something important to do, so we don't have time to chat with you. Let's go. Red Jade. The handsome young man was a little anxious and subconsciously took two steps forward and wanted to stop Zhan Hongyu. At this time, El Yu Sheng raised his arm slightly. This action is like a switch. Boom. Boom. The aura of Lanchian Si's entire group exploded, and the rich white chi and the Grand Master Force field lit up like the headlights of a car. All of them had nervous expressions, staring at El Yu Sheng as if facing an enemy as if he would suddenly burst into flames in the next second. Don't be nervous, I just wanted to scratch the itch. El Yu Sheng looked at Lan Chen with a calm face, and then turned to Zhan Hong Yu and the others, let's go. Yes, my lord. The group looked at the Lan Chen C team with strange eyes and quickly left. The complexion that the blue sky gave to the few people was blue and red, which was extremely ugly. Captain. What is the origin of that guy? 
Even Zhang Hongye calls him Lord. As soon as people walked away, some people couldn't help but ask questions. The blue sky gave his face sinking like water, and slowly shook his head. Whoever he is, it has nothing to do with us, let's continue the mission. Yes. A group of people quickly entered the ruins of the city and repeated what the Zhang Hongyu team had done before. Strange, from the wilderness area to now, can't see a single beast? No wonder Zhang Hongyu and the others walked so fast. Is the mission data wrong? Lan Tian Si walked in the ruins of the city, with an alloy long knife in his hand cleaning the weeds and shrubs on the road at will. At this moment, the wireless headset in the ear suddenly came out with a trembling sound. Team. Captain, come over here. Lan Tian Si was startled in his heart, subconsciously thinking that something was wrong, and he moved quickly under his feet. Hold on, I'll be there soon. Lan Chen Sifeng usually rushed to the coordinate point reported by the accident team members. From far away, he saw the man standing in one place, motionless. What happened? Lan Tian Si stepped over dozens of meters and landed next to the man, frowning, stupid. The man didn't speak, just stared straight at somewhere and stretched out his fingers. Lan Tian Si looked suspiciously in the direction of his finger. In an instant, the whole person seemed to be pierced by a sharp arrow, hit hard, and nailed to the ground. His eyes widened and he stared in disbelief at the shocking sight of the long wall of flesh and the huge portal before him. It went numb from head to toe. Between the electric light and flint, a figure flashed in Lan Chen Si's mind. It was a tall and straight young man with indifferent eyes. The mountain of corpses and the sea of blood that Lan Chen Si had seen behind him actually faintly overlapped with the shocking scene in front of him. Combined with Zhang Hongyu's respect for him, the strange things that my team encountered along the way. A line of clues quickly connected in Lanchen's brain, and finally weaved a terrifying truth. Impossible. Lan Tian Si's face was pale, and he staggered back a few words, shaking his head constantly. Absolutely impossible. It's almost here. Zhang Hongyu greeted everyone to stop, and then asked the handsome young man in the team to contact the base with a communicator. After waiting for about 15 minutes, two military helicopters roared. L. Yu Sheng and the Tiger Squad were in the last one, and the surviving veterans of the 835th Division were in another one. Thank you sir for saving your life. Before boarding the plane, several veterans stood neatly in front of L. Yu Sheng, gave a solemn military salute, and then bowed. If there is no L. Yu Sheng. Several of them have already been digested in the stomach of the alien beast into feces and excreted from the body. Where is the possibility of standing here alive and kicking? Until L. Yu Sheng boarded the helicopter and whistled away. You can also see the six people standing straight at the bottom in a military salute, staring at themselves. The thin man standing in the middle is still holding a long alloy knife and a military cap with a shiny cap. These people are real warriors. L. Yu Shenzhen was touched and said something to Zhang Hongyu who was beside him. Zhang Hongyu was stunned for a moment, then nodded her head, yes, it is worth admiring. However, L. Yu Sheng couldn't read much resonance in her eyes, and suddenly felt a little moody. The helicopter roared fast in the air. Half an hour later, L. Yu Sheng saw the outline of the military region in sight. It wasn't the military region he went to when he joined Kaiming General. The Eastern Military Region is just a general term. There are a total of 12 sub-theater regions in the entire Eastern Region. He is now in the Ninth Theater. The helicopter flew into the military area. L. Yu Sheng's mental power glanced at the dense military camp below. This should be the barracks area of ordinary soldiers. L. Yu Sheng saw many scenes of recruits and veterans training. The helicopter gradually deepened, the building density in the barracks gradually decreased, and the site became empty. At this time, Zhan Hongye from the Tiger Scorpion Squad said, It's here. The helicopter fell slowly, and L. Yu Sheng followed Zhan Hongye and others down one after another. What appeared in front of L. Yu Sheng was an orderly building with a simple and cold style. 
Most of the people I saw were people in military uniforms or combat uniforms, and occasionally in casual clothes. You can see the martial arts masters who are full of energy and blood like a stove, and you can also see some ordinary people, even the elderly and children. L. Yu Sheng swept around and found that there are almost all shops here, except that there are slightly fewer people, almost comparable to the central commercial streets of some first tier cities. Zhang Hongyu, who was on the side, seemed to see his doubts, and took the initiative to explain this is the General Star District. Many General Star will pick up their family and friends to live with them, and slowly develop into this situation. One thing to say, in addition to the inconvenience of living here, in all aspects, the safety is better than 050 in many places. L. Yu Sheng's heart moved. Zhang Hongyi was right. Don't look at this as a military area, it is the closest place in the entire Dragon Kingdom to the front line of the borough, but when it comes to security, there are really few that can compare to this place. No wonder there are so many ordinary people here, all of whom are Zhang Xing's family. If I bring my parents and L. Yu King He to the military region, I don't have to worry too much about the revenge of Lian Su, the crazy woman. No matter how big the Jideo Martial Arts Center is, a martial saint lady would dare to be in the military camp. Do you buy a murderer? The only problem is that I don't know if my parents and L. Yu King He are willing to come. What are the conditions for bringing in family members? L. Yu Sheng asked. Zhang Hongyu explained in detail, as long as you are a general level officer in the army, you can have ten relatives for a seventh level general. The military will allocate a house to each general, enough for a family to live in. If you are not satisfied, you can also spend extra money to buy it yourself. Very simple condition. L. Yu Sheng's heart relaxed, nodded, and said, then please take me to certify the qualification of a general. You should know the specific process, right? Certainly. Zhang Hongyu responded quickly, but her expression was hesitant for a while, and she said to L. Yu Sheng cautiously, Sir, do you want to, clean it first? L. Yu Sheng was stunned for a moment, then looked down at himself, a rare blushing. Indeed, if it wasn't for Zhang Hongyu's reminder, he almost forgot. He is now almost the same as a savage. Although after the formation of his immortal cells, his physique was extraordinary and holy, out of the world and refined, and he had the demeanor of a stainless body. There is very little dirt left on the body. But hair and clothes can't be spotless. L. Yu Sheng was used to smelling it and didn't feel it before, but now his sense of smell has recovered, and when he smelled it carefully, he almost fainted. Thanks to Zhang Hongya for being able to follow him and endure this smell for so long. I can't take it anymore, I have to take a shower immediately. L. Yu Sheng said to himself. Chapter 268 Too much difference to accept. 1. Where is the place to take a bath, take me there. L. Yu Sheng asked everyone in the Tiger Scorpion squad. My home. I know that there is a star hotel in front with a good environment. Zhan Hongyu and the bald man with the scorpion tattooed on his head blurted out almost at the same time. The two looked at each other, Zhan Hongyu glared at the bald man, the latter understood and immediately added. But you haven't registered for the army now, and you don't have the star badge and qualification certificate. It's estimated that you won't be able to move in. Zhan Hongyu nodded seriously, yes. L. Yu Sheng frowned and said, Can't you use your credentials to open one for me first? Five minutes later, the bald man walked out of the hotel in relief, and said with a relaxed expression, The room is full. L. Yu Sheng looked at him, Then why are you smiling? The bald man instantly felt his scalp tingle, I. I'm not smiling. I was smiling when I saw you coming out. L. Yu Sheng's face was calm. Me. The bald-headed man became nervous and seemed a little helpless. He must be thinking of something happy. Didn't I hear from you two days ago that your little wife is going to have a third child? Zhang Hongyu frantically winked at the bald man. The bald-headed man's expression quickly changed from dazed to stunned, 
and he couldn't stop nodding, ah, yes, yes, it's because of such a thing. The other two people in the team also hurriedly echoed, congratulations, congratulations. Thanks, thanks. L. Yu Sheng watched the clumsy performances of several people calmly, and did not speak, but the air centered on him became depressed little by little, and the temperature dropped. The voices of several people gradually decreased, and the atmosphere on the field became stagnant and awkward. Zhang Hongyu said bravely, why don't we go to another hotel to see? Never mind. The pressure on the field suddenly loosened, and L. Yu Sheng shook his head and said, just go to your house, is it far from here? Not far, just a few minutes. Okay, let's go then. Uh-huh. Zhang Hongyu and L. Yu Sheng quickly left. Behind them, the three bald-headed men who stayed in place breathed a sigh of relief, as if they had unloaded a heavy burden. What? The bald man wiped the sweat from his forehead and scolded, if this can be done, the captain won't give me a big red envelope. I can't justify it. It has to be one person at a time. The handsome young man looked at the direction where the two left with a complicated expression, and said, if the blue sky gives these generals who are chasing after our captain in the war zone to know that the captain is trying to lead a man to his own house, it is estimated that everyone will go crazy now. The middle-aged man who has been talking very little suddenly came up with a word, value. The bald-headed man and the handsome young man were taken aback for a moment, but they immediately reacted and nodded their heads. As Zhang Hongyu said, her home is nearby, and it's a three-minute walk away. Zhang Hongyu's home is a four-story single-family villa, which looks simple from the outside but extremely luxurious on the inside. It is the best and most advanced house that L. Yu Sheng has ever seen. Many designs full of technology are not popular outside. The only downside is probably the lack of a yard. L. Yu Sheng was not polite to Zhang Hongyu, and went straight to the bathroom after entering the room. Woohoo! The scalding hot water washed over L. Yu Sheng's body from the top of his head, taking away the slightest sense of exhaustion. In the past week or so, L. Yu Sheng has not entered the dream space once, which means that he has not closed his eyes once. Although compared to the time at home, the intensity of the battle was much higher this time, and it was a continuous battle that was almost sleepless. But L. Yu Sheng felt more relaxed. Mainly for psychological reasons. Last time, my spirit continued to be highly tense, and I didn't dare to relax in the slightest, and there was absolutely no chance of making mistakes. But this time is different. The situation seems to be a hundred times more dangerous than the last time. In fact, I have always had a way out. I can leave at any time, so my spirit is more relaxed. L. Yu Sheng thought about it, watching the water flowing under his feet turn from black to grey, and then from grey to clear. It was so dirty that he even despised himself a little. After rushing for a while, I wanted to order some shower gel, but I found that there was only a ladies in the bathroom, and the package had not been opened. It was estimated that Zhang Hongyu had prepared it for me. L. Yu Sheng hesitated for a while, but he still used it. After the big deal, use mental power to disperse the smell. At this time, Zhang Hongyu's voice came from outside the bathroom. Sir, I helped you put things here, you can see when you come out. It is good. L. Yu Sheng responded casually, thought for a while, and added, Don't call me your lord. My name is L. Yu Sheng. Oh, 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 good. After L. Yu Sheng used the shower gel, he washed it several times, using muscle vibration and mental power to remove the residual fragrance from his body. Spiritual power reached out and felt that there was no one at the door. Then he slowly walked out of the bathroom. The full length mirror at the door of the bathroom showed L. Yu Sheng's masculine body like a creation. The skin is still as fair and delicate as the finest jade. Muscle lines are almost perfect. But it doesn't have the slightest milky taste and feeling of thinness. It is more like the style of ancient Greek sculpture, which combines strength and beauty, giving people a very impactful beauty. L. Yu Sheng ran his blood a little bit. Qi and blood rose, 
and the remaining water stains on the body quickly evaporated into qi. He came out of the bathroom naked, and his eyes fell on the neatly arranged clothes on the bed in the room. A set of casual combat uniforms that are very popular in the military area. Black jacket, dark blue tunic. This kind of close fitting gown is made of high precision synthetic materials, which is not only warm and tight, but also highly elastic, and is extremely flexible which is stronger than ordinary bulletproof vests. Underneath are matching black combat trousers and a new pair of alloy combat boots. Zhang Hongyu even prepared his underwear for him, the same material as the gown. L. Yu Sheng didn't think too much, and quickly dressed up. He pushed open the door and went out, Zhang Hongyu was sitting on the sofa in the living room with a glass of water, not knowing what to think. How are you? Seeing him come out, Zhang Hongyu stood up in surprise. Ding Ding stared at him for a while, there seemed to be a strange flow in his eyes, and then he quickly turned his head away. L. Yu Sheng found that Zhang Hongyu had also changed his clothes. The full body combat uniform that was originally tightly wrapped was replaced with a tight fitting vest with a small vest, shorts with black mesh stockings, and a pair of small combat boots. The hot body is on full display. It reminded L. Yu Sheng of a female character in a shootout game he played in his previous life. It seems that the fox is called something else, forgot. L. Yu Sheng didn't pay much attention, and said calmly, then I'll go to the general star qualification certification now. Oh oh good. Zhang Hong Yu nodded and asked, do you want to eat something before going? Eat after certification. It is good. The two walked out of Zhang Hongyu's house, and a small bus happened to pass by the door. L. Yu Sheng found that the infrastructure of the star area is really perfect, almost no different from the general central city. In my heart, I was even more determined to bring my parents over. The star qualification center was not far from Zhang Hongyu's house, so the two simply walked over. I informed the bald head and white face a few of them. They will wait for us at the center. Zhang Hongyu put down the communication watch and said to L. Yu Sheng. L. Yu Sheng nodded and said nothing. He is well aware of the thoughts of Zhang Hongyu and the others, but he is not disgusted. It is human instinct to be strong and avoid the weak, and it has no value. Why should others be nice to you? Not your parents. He is also in need of a few people who are familiar with the general sector such as Zhang Hongyu, to lead the way, and become a novice guide. Walking on the road, L. Yu Sheng saw that some of the people who were passing by were generally around 40 or 50 years old, with strong vigor and blood. He couldn't help but be curious and asked Zhang Hongyu, how old are you this year? Zhang Hongyu was stunned for a moment, twiddled her hair, and replied casually, it's more than 50, and it's almost 60. I'm probably more than 10 or 20 years older than you. After Zhang Hongyu finished speaking, she suddenly found that L. Yu Sheng was silent and panicked. What? More than 20? L. Yu Sheng thought about it and said, almost. Then keep silent. L. Yu Sheng is not a saint either. He is just at the age of vigor and vitality. Seeing Zhang Hongyu, a mature woman with a hot body, strong strength and enthusiasm, she will inevitably not have the idea of magic in her mind. But not anymore. Joke. Good king is good, bigger than his mother Zheng Yufen. Although the lifespan of the master is much longer than that of ordinary people, he always feels a little uncomfortable. Ten years older is the limit, no more. It's amazing to be at the age of Dong King Xiu. Dong Qingxiu also looked like she was in her thirties. This age difference, in the era of martial arts, is no different from a difference of two or three years old. L. Yu Sheng reacted suddenly. Why would I subconsciously compare Dong Qingxiu? Something's wrong. L. Yu Sheng suddenly seemed to understand a little. Why does Dong Qingxiu's name always exist in his profile spouse column? Ten minutes later, L. Yu Sheng and Zhang Hongyu came to a tall and magnificent building. The door to the building was open, and people came and went from time to time. The people who come in and out are almost all masters. 
With so many martial arts masters gathered together, I am afraid that I can only see the plan in the General Star District of the military. The three members of the Tiger Scorpion squad stood at the door waiting. There was another tall and thin man in his forties, who was also a Grand Master, wearing a battle suit. It seemed that he was quite familiar with the Tiger Scorpion squad, and they were chatting while smoking. The captain is here. The taciturn middle-aged man in the team saw El Yusheng and the two of them and said something. The bald man and the handsome young man immediately snuffed out the cigarettes in their hands and looked at them. Chapter 269 Strength Test, A New Standard for Evaluating Combat Power Old women are trouble too. Team Leader Several people greeted Zhang Hongyu. The tall and thin man standing in front of the door chatting with the bald man also greeted Zhang Hongyu with a smile. Long time no see, Hongyu, did this mission end so early? Your team just came back. Yeah, the riots in the double S level burrows are over, and I have only come back to rest until now. There are still some teams that haven't come back. The two briefly chatted and the tall and thin man's eyes naturally fell on El Yusheng who was standing beside Zhang Hongyu. Now El Yusheng's murderous aura has subsided, and his aura is not as aggressive as before. But it still looks sharp, like an old gun that has just been dried and cleaned. It looks brand new on the outside, but if you look closely, you can still see the blood stains left on the gun blade. This brother looks so good. The tall and thin man looked El Yusheng up and down, and asked Zhang Hongyu, the newcomer the team is going to recruit. Zhang Hongyu hesitated for a moment, then smiled and shook his head, I hope so. The tall and thin man was a little surprised, but he didn't ask too much. It looks like the tiger scorpion is going to add wings. Don't hinder you, I'll go first. With a greeting, the tall and thin man walked towards the center of Zhang Xing. Looking at the back of the tall and thin man leaving, Zhang Hongyu voluntarily explained in a low voice, the captain of another A-level general star team, he is good in character and strength. El Yusheng nodded and said calmly, let's go. Um. The group walked towards the center. Entering the gate, you will be greeted by the expected spacious hall. There are many windows in the hall, and each window is marked with the items to be handled. There were not many people in the hall, and there were about a dozen people coming and going. Not seeing the tall and thin man who walked in before, Zhang Hongyu explained, most generals are on the second and third floors. That's where the tasks are handed over. It happens that we are going to hand in the task later, so we can go up and take a look. If you are going to be certified by the star, you can do it on the first floor, and the verification of strength is also on the first floor. 747 L. Yu Sheng nodded. Then follow the directions to a window. A young man in a dark blue military uniform sat in the window, looking at his thirties. Sitting properly and upright, his martial arts strength is probably at the fourth or fifth level. I want to certify the general star qualification. Okay, please show me the relevant documents, a letter of recommendation from the military. The young man at the window was respectful and reported a lot of things in his mouth. El Yusheng has nothing in his hand now, so he thought about it and said, Can I have a name? I'll ask the recommender to talk to you again. I thought the youth would be embarrassed, but I didn't expect to be very easy to talk, so I helped El Yusheng get in touch with Yu Fei. Hey, I'm Yu Fei. El Yusheng, are you in the military area? Certify the star? Okay, I get it. Yu Fei had a brief exchange with the young man in the window, and the latter called up El Yu Sheng's information on the computer, and the identity verification went very smoothly. As Yu Fei said before, he has already registered the relevant information for El Yu Sheng, and he only needs to activate it himself. I'll take you there for strength certification, some procedures have to go through. The young man looked at El Yusheng's information and stared at the computer screen for a few seconds. Then he stood up abruptly, walked out of the fast window, and explained to El Yusheng respectfully. El Yusheng nodded and looked back at Zhang Hongyu and the others. 
Zhan Hongye followed, and said to the young man naturally, let's follow along and test our strength along the way. It should be fine. Certainly. The attitude of the youth was more respectful. Then he led El Yusheng and his party to the door of a room on the left side of the hall, opened the door for them, and made a please gesture. It wasn't until the whole group entered that the whole group relaxed. The expression on his face also became moved and unbelievable. Honey, 19-year-old general. What kind of monster did the military recruit in this time? There are many masters in the star area, and many masters are well maintained. The young masters who look younger than El Yusheng have all seen them. But the age on the information is real and cannot be faked. 19-year-old Zhang Xing After rummaging through the 12 war zones in the east, I couldn't find a second one. No wonder he was so shocked. Thinking that I am over 40 years old, and I am only at the fifth level of strength. The young man in military uniform was suddenly indescribably depressed. No matter how many grandmasters he has seen in the past, even the eighth level grandmasters have never given him such a feeling. El Yusheng and the Tiger Squad entered the room. When I entered, I found that the space inside was very large and very spacious. Twenty large seats were placed on both sides of the room, and seven or eight people were standing or sitting in it. In the middle of the room is a huge metal crystal column connected to the ceiling. Four or five people stood beside the crystal column. When El Yusheng and the others came in, one of them was wearing a battle suit and a tall man with blood and energy was facing the crystal column and preparing to punch. Boom! Violent chi and blood rose, and there seemed to be a flaming stove in the room. The temperature rose a few degrees, and a strange light flashed. That is the radiance of the martial arts will. Boom! The tall man punched the crystal column violently. The arm disappeared and reappeared in the air. A white cone cloud visible to the naked eye appeared in front of him, and the crystal column seemed to sway a bit, but it didn't seem to sway. When the tall man stopped his fist and stood up, the sound of sonic boom and fist hitting the crystal pillar appeared one after another. Then El Yusheng saw that the crystal column began to flash wildly. A fist-sized star lit up in the middle of the crystal column, followed by a second. But soon stopped. One and a half in total. If it weren't for the light, El Yusheng didn't notice, the middle of the crystal column was upward, and the patterns of stars that were as white as jade were embossed. A rough scan, there are a dozen or so. Amazing. After the tall man punched, several people around him immediately burst out in amazement and admiration. As expected of the captain, the second star has already passed half a quarter. The combat power is probably more than 16 million. The captain hit, B.I., me with this punch, I'm afraid it will knock all my shit out. Hey, if only I could be half as powerful as the captain. Captain's speed of progress, I'm afraid it won't be long before he can try to open up the double bridges of heaven and earth and hit the eighth level sect. The tall man shook his head, where is the double bridge between heaven and earth so easy to get through? If you open any bridge at will the combat power is estimated to be 30 million upwards. I'm still early. The words are modest, but the smile and arrogance between the eyebrows cannot be hidden. It seems to be in a good mood. The few people sitting on the massage seats next to them looked at them coldly with a bit of disdain in their expressions, but upon closer inspection, one could find that their eyes were also moved and solemn. A seventh-level grandmaster with 16 million combat power. Even in the entire Ninth War Zone, it can be regarded as a good player. The strength of the Master Realm, where is it so easy to improve? El Yusheng watched it interestingly. It was the first time he had seen this way of testing the combat power of the Crystal Column. It is quite different from the previous force measuring instruments. He couldn't help but ask Zhang Hongyu, who was beside him, is all War Zone's testing strength like this? Zhang Hongyu nodded and said, basically, after passing the Grand Master Realm, the combat effectiveness test will be separated from modern instruments. The power of the Master is too strong, even if the instrument is made of the best material and the best protection, 
the parts inside will be scattered and shattered with a fist. So I can only test with synthetic crystals. Although it cannot be extremely accurate, the error will not exceed 100,000. What about qi and blood? How to test the qi and blood value? The peak and valley values of the Grand Master's blood fluctuate too much, and the blood test is too inaccurate. After passing the Grand Master realm, the blood test will be eliminated long ago. Moreover, the combat power value is the best reflection of whether the blood is strong or not. After listening to Zhan Hongyu's explanation, L. Yu Sheng understood a lot. Red Jade The two were chatting here, and the people from the teams who had just done the test had already noticed them. When the tall man saw Zhan Hongyu, his eyes lit up and he strode over. Another blue sky gift. L. Yu Sheng understood the impatience habitually shown on Zhan Hongyu's face. To be honest, he didn't quite understand Zhan Hongyu. They are a lot of age, and I can find someone who is similar to the rich and handsome to marry, and they still carry them all day long. What do you want to do? It is estimated that he wants to marry a great master. L. Yu Sheng pondered in his heart. Xiao Zhan, my strength has improved a lot. I'm no longer your opponent. Zhang Hongyu said congratulations, but her face and tone were cold. But this man named Xiao Zhang bestowed a virtue on the star and the previous blue sky. He just ate Zhang Hongyu, and couldn't lick it, he said with a smile, no way. Even if I become a big sect, I'm definitely not your opponent. I wouldn't want to move a little finger on you. Damn, sour. L. Yu Sheng got goosebumps on his arm, feeling unbearable, and quickly took two steps to the side. Hong Yu, do you also bring people from the team to test your strength? Xiao Zhan seemed to be very familiar with the members of the Tiger Scorpion squad. They greeted each other one by one, and then asked Zhan Hong Yu. Zhan Hong Yu nodded, hesitated for a while, and then his eyes fell on L. Yu Sheng, yes, by the way. Bring a friend to participate in the strength certification. Oh. The tall man had long noticed L. Yu Sheng who had been standing beside Zhang Hong Yu. The two seemed to be talking very intimately before. Now take a closer look at L. Yu Sheng. Younger than him, taller than him, handsomer than him, and his temperament also hangs him, strength. To be able to enter here, no matter how poor the strength can be. Immediately. A strong sense of crisis filled his heart, and the look in L. Yu Sheng's eyes became hostile and unkind. L. Yu Sheng noticed the change in Xiao Zhan's face, and his heart burst into flames for no reason. They all want to slap directly. This Xiao Zhan, along with Zhang Hongyu, were all beaten up. Nima, every day is just such a cliched plot of competing for the wind and jealousy, is it annoying? Old women are a lot of things. Or East Instructor. Uh, wait. Why do you think of Donking Xiu again? Chapter 270 The combat power exceeds 100 million, the 12-star combat power, the first in the ranking. 3. I'll do the certification. L. Yu Sheng was too lazy to pay attention to the entanglement between the two, and strode across the crowd towards the alloy column. The few people who were waiting on the seats also stood up and lined up in front of L. Yu Sheng. Xiao Zhan and his team stood with the Tiger Scorpion team, looking at L. Yu Sheng's back. Hong Yu, you don't think the old cow eats the tender grass, right? Xiao Zhan crossed his arms and asked with a sullen face, How can your Tiger Scorpion squad be an A level General Star squad? such a newcomer who has just entered the military area and has not even completed the strength certification, how can he be qualified to be accepted by you? Zhang Hongyu looked at him and sneered, how about an old cow eating young grass? You don't count as an old cow eating young grass when you chase me? You're almost 80 this year. I. Xiao Zhang wanted to refute subconsciously, but opened his mouth but was speechless. At this time, there was a muffled sound of boom from the front. A few people looked at it, and it turned out that the group in front of L. Yu Sheng had already started the test. One person punched and hit the crystal column with a bang, one star lit up, 
and the second one lit up by a third. 13.5 million combat power. Standing beside the crystal column, the man in military uniform who was responsible for reporting the results reported the results. Nice. Xiao Zhan commented in a condescending manner, Wolves Captain Han Ling, I remember that the last time he tested his ultimate combat power, it was only more than 12 million. The progress is very fast. Not as good as you. Zhang Hongyu interjected lightly. Xiao Zhan grinned. He didn't know if he heard the teasing in this sentence, but he responded with a smile. I can't say that, how can I say it is the top ten masters among the seventh level generals in the entire ninth theater? Blue sky bestows me a bit. I said Hong Yu, or you can promise me. Don't just look at appearance, what's the use of being handsome, strength is king. Xiao Zhan seems to have found an idea and picks up the sentence that Zhang Hongyu poked at him before. What if I'm almost 80, I'm still in my prime. It won't be long before they can hit the double bridges of heaven and earth, and maybe they will be able to win the big sect before the age of 150. What's up with that kid? In addition to looks, what can be compared to me? Xiao Zhang stretched out his finger and pointed to El Yu Shendeo who was standing in front of the metal crystal column. The members of Xiao Zhan's team also followed suit. Yes, Captain Hongyu, our captain is not bad, a top-level mating partner that is hard to find with a lantern. It's just... What are you talking about? Xiao Zhan stretched out his legs to kick the guy who was talking nonsense. A few people were making noises, and at this time, someone in the Tiger Scorpion team suddenly said a word. Captain Xiao... What if someone was handsomer than you, younger than you, and much stronger than you? The people in Xiao Zhan's team were stunned. The tall man Xiao Zhan turned his head and stared at the person who was speaking, as if his ears had misheard, and said with a puzzled expression, What did you say? That kid is stronger than me? Much stronger. Xiao Zhan was very happy, Aren't you awake, you're still driving with me. Boom. An unprecedented loud noise resounded throughout the room. Like an earthquake, the floor seemed to tremble. Dust and debris rustled down from the ceiling. For a moment, everyone's eyes turned towards the direction where the voice came from. Just after testing their strength, the members of the wolves who were walking towards the door also stopped abruptly and turned around. Dozens of eyes converged at the same time. And the next second... Everyone's face was suffocated, their pupils contracted, as if they saw an extremely shocking and incredible scene, the whole person was stunned. This, how is this possible? I saw a slender and tall figure standing quietly beside the metal crystal column, holding a gun in one hand, and the other hand was maintaining a posture of slowly closing his fist. His face was as calm as water, and his clear eyes reflected. One star after another. The white embossed stars on the crystal column start from the middle and light up one by one. A. Two. Three. So fast it's almost impossible to see. In an instant, he rushed to the position close to the ceiling. Stop. Everyone in the room was dumbfounded. It's not just people from Xiao Zhan's team and wolves. Even the Tiger Scorpion squad and others, who had long known about El Yu Sheng's strength all turned into fools. He stood there, his mind buzzing. The room fell into an eerie silence. The man in military uniform standing next to the metal crystal column in charge of statistical results raised his head and stared blankly at the ceiling. For a long time, he didn't come back to his senses. It seemed like half a minute had passed. Only then did this guy react. He stretched out his hand to support the military cap that had fallen off a bit because he raised his head, swallowed a mouthful of saliva, and said with difficulty, 1, 124 million combat power. The lit stars on the metal crystal column. There are as many as 12. Nearly 13. 124 million combat power. As this number was reported, Everyone in the room seemed to be hit by a burst of electric current from the tailbone all over the body at the same time, and they shivered involuntarily and woke up. 
A pair of eyes full of shock and disbelief turned to the young tall figure in front of the crystal column. The sound of gasping for breath came one after another. Xiao Zhan, who had just been so indomitable just now, had his eyes bulging out of his sockets, and he couldn't believe it. He opened his mouth wide, trying to say something. In the end, just a few words popped out. Top, bulk, did you make a mistake? The second floor of the star center. Compared with the deserted and empty space on the first floor, it is much more lively here. In the middle of the hall on the second floor, two large screens are half hanging. On the left one scrolls a piece of task information. Blood Shark Squad has received the B-level mission patrol the number 23 wilderness area. Congratulations to the Battle Knife team for successfully delivering the S-level mission calamity in the catacombs, mission evaluation, B-level. Latest mission news, A-level mission. The generals in the hall can use the scrolling information on this big screen to obtain the task handover status of themselves and other teams in the war zone, and the latest task report. There are even generals who act alone without a team, and post a message on it for a request to form a team. On the other large screen, the words displayed on it are consistent, and occasionally there are characters that jump slightly. This screen shows the 9th War Zone General Star List. Name, Chen Engzing. Combat Strength, 9 Stars. Merit Value, 1,329,867. Overall Ranking, 1st. Overall Ranking, 11th. Name. There is little change in the ranking of the Divisional Star List, and the most change is only the value of the merit value after a certain name. People in the hall glanced this way from time to time as they looked up at the information on the task board. This is a habitual, subconscious move. It's as normal as every time you open pocket banking and glance at your bank card balance. Captain, the A-level mission to help rebuild the defense line and encircle and suppress alien beasts was cancelled for some reason. A rough-looking middle-aged strong man walked up to the person and frowned, it seems that the line of defense is not broken and it doesn't need to be cleaned up. It's vague, and I didn't explain it clearly. Never mind. The tall and thin man said lightly, if it's gone, it's gone. The new burrow has appeared, and there are many derivative tasks. Let's choose a few and take over. Okay. The middle-aged man nodded. The two were chatting, when suddenly... Boom. A muffled sound came from below. The ground on the entire second floor seemed to tremble, and the floor shook. Almost all the generals in the seventh level Grandmaster realm were present, and this shock would naturally not have any effect on them. But the sudden change still surprised many people, the crowd became commotion, and there was a lot of discussion. What happened? There was an earthquake. How could there be an earthquake in the center of the military region? What's the matter? What's going on on the first floor? Someone frowned and said to himself, Why do I always feel that this kind of thing has happened before? It did happen. When Admiral Chen Angzing came to test his combat effectiveness, the second floor was like an earthquake. I was there at the time. A general star next to him explained naturally in the attitude of a coming person, because the bottom is the strength test room the synthetic crystal column inside is connected to the axis of the whole building, and the punch is strong enough to penetrate into the building. Causing a shock, just like. Halfway through his words, the guy suddenly reacted and suddenly looked up at the big screen hanging in front of him. Shows where the partition will be starred. Seeing this, the man's eyes widened, his body leaned back, and he sucked in a mad breath. The others also came back to their senses, and they all looked at the Division General Star list. All of a sudden, as if contagious, all the generals in the hall on the second floor had shocked expressions on their faces, and the sounds of gasping for air came one after another. The same is true of the thick and thin man and the tall and thin man who are discussing the task, their expressions are shocked, and they are greatly shocked. I saw, in the position where all their eyes fell, a brand new message popped up on the screen. Name, L. Yu Sheng. 
Combat Strength, 12 and a half stars. Merit Value, 0, not counted. Overall Ranking, 1st. Overall Ranking, 8th. Strongly Occupy the 1st Position. As for Chen Angzing, who was originally ranked 1st, he has been squeezed to the 2nd place. After a brief shock and silence, the huge mission hall on the 2nd floor. It boils directly. Chapter 271 Shake, our captain has a bad brain for. Fuck, airborne first. Where did this Liu Shang come from? Why haven't I heard of it before? 12 and a half star combat power. More than 120 million. Hissing I don't even have a fraction of him. Crying. Don't be so exaggerated. My ninth war zone has another top tier sect. Someone got emotional and said loudly, I don't even count the merit value, and I'm ranked 8th in the overall list. Given time. Don't I want more 8th luminaries in the East? It's just a matter of time. Representing the 7 top sects under my Eastern Generals, the Eastern 7 luminaries, not all of them can reach 12 and a half stars. Haha, <laughs> my ninth war zone is about to rise. The next time the Eastern military region will compete against the stars, it's when my ninth war zone will be in the limelight. The stars were talking a lot, and their emotions were running high. In the crowd, the tyrannical man was also amazed, Captain, 12 and a half star combat power. Top sect, admiral level person. I haven't seen each other for many years. The tall and thin man nodded, although he was hit hard, he was quite calm. His eyes flashed and analyzed, when we came in just now, the strength test room seemed to contain Xiao Zhan's team and Han Ling's wolf team 403. Let's hurry down now, if the speed is fast, it is estimated that I can catch up with this top sect. Yes. The rough man's eyes lit up, and he immediately became excited. The top sect of the 12-star combat power, the admiral level figure, and the future 8th luminary of the East. Even in the group of their master generals, it is definitely an unattainable existence. Either live in a secluded place, or soak in the depths of the double S grade cave all year round. It's usually difficult to take a look at it, let alone get in close contact with it. Such an opportunity is too difficult. The people who thought of this were obviously not just the two of them. The figures in the hall on the second floor flickered, and Zhang Xing had already reacted and rushed to the first floor. Walk. The tall and thin man gave a low drink and disappeared in a flash. The golden divine radiance disappeared in Liu Sheng's eyebrows. Looking at the crystal column with twelve and a half stars lit up, Liu Sheng's face and mood were calm. A grip of God. More than 120 million combat power. Both unexpected and reasonable. Back then, I didn't even have an immortal cell, so I was able to hold a sect with one hand. Although Tong Kuxing is not a serious sect, my combat power was estimated to have exceeded 50 million at that time. Although the minimum standard of the Wushu Association's combat effectiveness against Daizong is 20 million, but just like the Grand Master's 1 million combat power threshold, the weakest large-scale combat power is more than 20 million. Once the double bridges of heaven and earth are opened, the combat power can soar to more than 40 million casually. After that, the blood pills of the sect washed away day and night, the will of the martial arts was tempered, and the fighting power of the sect would continue to increase. The realm of the eighth level is too deep. The gap between the top sect and the bottom sect is bigger than the gap between the 7th level Grand Master and the 6th level Grand Master. After all, it is the last realm under the 9th level martial arts. How many talented martial artists are stuck in this realm, and they have widened and deepened this realm? I don't know how much. Liu Sheng's punch just now used almost all his power, including the immortal cells. It can be said that it is the strongest blow that does not open Wu Shuang and does not enter the state of martial god. This is also a punch of my recent body depletion, the immortal cell being in a shriveled state. This is more than 100 million combat power, which seems to be a bit exaggerated. According to stellar immortality, 
an immortal cell can only reach the level of horizontal push, which is too much. But on second thought, in the 10,000 years of martial arts in the future, it is estimated that the measurement standards for the big sex will also be different. With a battle strength of 30 to 40 million, how can there be such garbage in the future 10,000 years of martial arts? When you think about it, it makes sense. In this way, two or three immortal cells can almost reach the invincibility of the big sect. The 11th level martial arts scripture is more powerful than I thought. L. Yu Sheng sighed in his heart. He stopped thinking and turned his eyes to the officer beside him who was responsible for helping him do the assessment and certification. The latter felt his gaze, and his body trembled immediately. Pop a beautiful military posture appeared in front of L. Yu Sheng. Salute. With a frenzied expression, he said, Sir, do you need to take another test? No need. L. Yu Sheng shook his head. It was a bit false in the first place, and it is estimated that there will be no better results than this in the retest. I will talk about it later. It's sir. Please wait a moment, I'll go and enter your information right now. After the officer finished speaking, he turned around beautifully and quickly ran out of the strength test room. L. Yu Sheng turned around and saw a face of Zhang Yuzi immersed in great shock and horror. Then. It quickly turned into excitement and awe. SHH. A figure jumped up to him like the wind, half bent, and respectfully held out his hands. It was the captain of the General Star team who was in front of L. Yu Sheng for the test. My lord, Han Ling, is the captain of the Star Wolf squad in the Ninth War Zone. Today, I am fortunate enough to meet the adults, it is not a great honor. This man named Han Ling, even when he saw Xiao Zhan playing 16 million combat power before, still maintained his restraint and pride. Now in front of Liu Sheng, he was so respectful that he was almost humble. It is conceivable how much impact Liu Sheng's 12 and a half stars had on those present. Liu Sheng shook hands with the other party at will, and didn't say anything, just nodded slightly. The latter had a look of excitement on his face, not knowing how to express his inner joy. L. Yu Sheng then walked towards the location of Zhan Hongyu and others. The way Zhan Hongyu looked at him changed completely. The entire Tiger Scorpion squad looked at him like a god. For these grandmasters whose general combat power does not exceed one star, L. Yu Sheng, who has a combat power of twelve and a half stars, is a god. The key point is that this god was picked up by them in the wilderness area. The experience was even more magical. Especially Zhang Hongyu, his mind is still dizzy. She knew that L. Yu Sheng was very strong, and she thought of hugging L. Yu Sheng's thighs. Originally, I thought that L. Yu Sheng Gui was a big sect, otherwise he would not be able to maintain a front line by one person, killing a seventh level alien beast like killing a chicken. But never thought. L. Yu Sheng's combat power is as high as twelve and a half stars. Top bulk. The existence of that grade of eastern seven lights. Nima, where are these ordinary thighs, these are obviously very thick dinosaur legs. It's a shame that she still wanted the old cow to eat the tender grass. Even if L. Yu Sheng is willing to let her eat, does she have such a good mouth? Can you chew? And many more. Tender grass? Zhang Hongyu suddenly remembered L. Yu Sheng's age at least 10 or 20 years younger than her. That is to say, 30 years old. Top 30-year-old bulk. Hiss. Zhang Hongyu suddenly felt that his brain was deprived of oxygen. It's too stuffy here. L. Yu Sheng looked at the thin layer of dust on the ground, which was all shaken by his punch just now, and even the ceiling was about to crack. Go out and wait. He greeted a few members of the Tiger Scorpion squad. Zhang Hongyu and the others nodded blankly and followed them obediently. At this time, a figure stood in front of him. It's Xiao Zhan. At this moment, Xiao Zhan's head was about to dangle into his crotch, and he had a face of mourning and humiliation. My lord, I just said something wrong, please don't take it to heart. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. 
Xiao Zhan just commented on El Yusheng and made various comparisons. And the voice was so loud, with El Yusheng's strength, he definitely heard it. In case of a grudge, come back and get revenge. It is too exaggerated to take his life, but it should not be too easy to let him not survive in the military area. El Yusheng calmly looked at Xiao Zhan bowing and apologizing, but did not speak. The more this happened, the more panicked Xiao Zhan felt in his heart. The members of Xiao Zhan's team also panicked. Quickly jumped out to help apologize. Please accept our captain's apology. Our captain has a bad mind and often says the wrong thing and is incoherent. Yet, yeah, people who are as strong as our captain but still have a bad mind are hard to find with lanterns in the entire Ninth Theater. It's just. Xiao Zhan listened to the team members' enthusiasm for helping, and squeezed out a smile that was more ugly than crying. He nodded to El Yusheng and said, Yes, my lord, I, really, my brain is not good. I thought to myself, if I don't beat these bastards to death when I go back, I will write down 4.4 characters. Okay, pay attention next time. El Yusheng said something casually, bypassing Xiao Zhan and his group and continuing to walk out. Thank you for your generosity. El Yusheng led the Tiger Scorpion squad and others just out of the strength assessment room. Suddenly. Call. A hurricane blew across the hall, and a figure appeared in front of El Yusheng and others. This is just the beginning. Immediately. Call. Call. Whoosh. Second, third, fourth. In the blink of an eye, dense figures appeared in the hall. Each of them has strong qi and blood, and the body of the master, the qi and blood like an oven gather together, raising the temperature in the hall several degrees. The faces of these people were anxious, urgent, and excited. When I came up, I asked, El Yu Sheng De Zone. Which one is El Yu Sheng De Zone? Some people jumped into the strength test room with a swipe, and quickly ran out. There's no one in there. The eyes of the generals in the hall swept across the faces of El Yu Sheng Zhan Hong Yu and others. Someone stared straight at El Yu Sheng and whispered, This person looks at me and Sheng. Could it be him? Chapter 272 Unprecedented, Admiral Twelve Stars 1. It's unlikely. Someone hesitated, this person, is too young. Many people nodded. El Yusheng looked too young indeed. Although after buying the seventh level Grand Master Realm, his blood and blood skyrocketed, and his physique changed. With a little care you can maintain a much younger appearance than your actual age. But this small has a limit. El Yusheng looked like a young man in his early twenties. Although he had a good temperament, if he was related to a sect, and he was a top sect at the level of the Eastern Seven Lights. It was too unbelievable. But I've seen the strength test indoors and out, and everyone except this person knows it. Could that adult have left? Possible. When the generals were talking about each other, two people emerged from the crowd. It was El Yusheng and the others who were chatting with a few people from the Tiger Scorpion squad at the entrance of Jiangxing Center when they entered the door, and two tall and thin men whom Zhang Hongyu knew. The tall and thin man walked up to Zhang Hongyu and asked eagerly, Hongyu, you were in the strength testing room just now, did you see a top sect being tested? Zhang Hongyu and the Tiger Scorpion team had complicated expressions and nodded. I have seen. The tall and thin man and the big man around him looked at each other with a surprised expression. He couldn't wait to ask, where is that adult now? You don't know, that one with outstanding combat power was parachuted into my ninth war zone general star list. Senior Chen Angzing was squeezed out. It even entered the 8th 15th overall list comparable to the famous Eastern Seven Lights. Zhang Hongyu looked at the excitement on the tall and thin man's face, opened his mouth, but didn't know what to say. In the end, he could only look at El Yusheng and said to the tall and thin man, This is Lord El Yusheng. What? The tall and thin man froze in place, looking at Zhang Hongyu, and then at El Yusheng, their expressions a little confused. Hongyu, 
Don't be kidding. The tall and thin man reluctantly spoke. Zhang Hongye was too lazy to explain, just waved his hand to get a few people out of the way. At this moment, a series of rapid footsteps came from outside the crowd. With a loud and gentle voice. My colleagues, please make way for the old man. The crowd dispersed, and a dark-haired old man in a dark blue military uniform strode in. The old man's eyes were warm and moist, like a pair of beautiful jades, and the blood emanating from his body was vigorous and round, far exceeding that of ordinary masters. It's Admiral Su. Master Su Xian. The old man seems to be quite prestigious in Jiangxing Center, and many people know him. The eyes of many people converged on his shoulders, showing awe. Ah, there are five little gold stars set there. In the Eastern Military Region, a general with a combat power of five stars or more can be considered an admiral. Five Star General It represents not only identity and status, but also superior combat power far beyond others. The old man came closer and asked the leading officer beside him. This officer is the one who was in charge of the strength test before. He pointed at El Yusheng excitedly, and the old man's eyes fell on El Yusheng. Those beautiful jade-like eyes began to bloom with indescribable brilliance. He stretched out his right hand towards El Yusheng, and said loudly in a tone of joy mixed with a little respect and excitement, I'm very happy, I have another twelve-star general from the Eastern Military Region, a top-tier sect. Old man Su Xian, I have seen El Yusheng's zone. In an instant, the field was like a hurricane. Exclamations of exclamation sounded from the crowd, stirring up the stars. It's really him. The top sect with twelve and a half stars. Admiral of twelve stars. God, so young. How old should I be? A pair of eyes full of shock and disbelief converged on El Yusheng. The two tall and thin men who were standing in front of El Yusheng's expressions and stature suddenly freeze. A pair of eyes stared at El Yusheng in front of him, his mouth opened wide so shocked that he couldn't say a word. Really, it's him. The tall and thin man's mind subconsciously jumped out of the scene when he met the Tiger Scorpion squad at the entrance of the center. At that time, El Yusheng was standing in front of him, and he mistakenly thought that the other party was a newcomer that the Tiger Scorpion team was about to recruit, and half-jokingly said, Tiger Scorpion adds wings. Now it seems. Where is the Tiger Scorpion squad with wings? This is directly spiraling up into the sky, flying without a shadow. Being able to have a relationship with such a top big man, I don't know how many benefits will continue to flow in the future. For a while, the tall and thin man was envious, jealous, annoyed. All kinds of emotions were entangled, and he couldn't tell what it was. El Yusheng was quite calm, and shook hands with Su Xian. He has come all the way to the scenery, and has long been used to the scenery. Pretending to force him is like a floating cloud. If you pretend too much, you will be numb. Hello, Admiral Su. El Yusheng simply said something. However, Su Xian was quite excited and said quickly, I have already arranged for Daizong Lu's benefits, and the settlement of merit points has already started. Do you want to go to my office for a tea now? No need. El Yusheng shook his head and said, I haven't rested for a long time. I want to rest first, next time. Okay, then next time. The invitation was rejected, but Su Xian was not angry at all, but readily agreed, and then arranged for the officers around him to go to El Yusheng to go through the follow-up procedures. As if the officer had accepted some kind of supremely honorable task. He led El Yusheng away with excitement on his face. The generals in the hall were still discussing, both shocked and excited. I wanted to go up and get acquainted with El Yusheng, but I didn't dare, so I could only watch him leave in awe. Today is definitely a very unforgettable day for them. Because they also witnessed the birth of the first twelve-star general in the Ninth Theater. And at such a young age, the future is boundless. Su Xian should be the most excited among these people. Others can only see that El Yusheng is young, but they have no idea how young he is. 
19. Thinking of this number, Su Xian's heart trembled fiercely. His grandson is more than this age. As a result, he has twelve and a half stars of combat power, and is a top-level sect. Boundless future is not enough to describe the other party's evil talent. Can only say. The posture of Martial Saint. It is posture, not capital. The difference in one word can mean a huge difference. Maybe, my eastern military region can really produce a ninth-level Martial Saint of the direct line. Su Xian himself was taken aback by this idea. But it doesn't feel like an exaggeration. This news must be communicated to the commander as soon as possible. The commander will also be very happy. Thinking about it, Su Xian turned around and left in a hurry. Before taking two steps, he turned around again and instructed the Tiger Scorpion squad in a pleasant manner. The land general has just joined the military region a few days ago, if there is something you don't understand or not understand, you must guide him well and help him clear his doubts. If he has any requirements, try to meet them. If you are not satisfied, just come to me. Don't worry, Elder Su, we will definitely. Zhang Hongyu tried her best to straighten her chest and answered seriously. Su Xian deliberately glanced at Zhang Hongyu's chest a few more times, thought about it, and meaningfully added, if you have an advantage, make good use of it. The potential of the land general is much greater than you imagine. His genes are precious. You know what I mean? Zhang Hongyu blushed and nodded slightly embarrassed. Heart is helpless. I am willing to ten thousand, and I have to be attracted to L. Yu Sheng. Su Xian quickly left. As soon as he left, the generals immediately surrounded the Tiger Scorpion squad, the Wolf squad, and the Xiao Zhan squad, and kept asking questions. It was so amazing and so legendary. It is conceivable that it will not be long before the matter of the twelve-star general will spread throughout the entire general sector, even the entire Ninth Theater, and even the entire Eastern. Your military uniform, the Star 990 batch, all need to be made in a hurry, and it will be delivered to you as soon as it is made. The officer leading the way respectfully put a key in L. Yu Sheng's hand and said, This is the residence prepared by the military for you. I will take you there now. L. Yu Sheng nodded, then got into a military jeep with the officer and quickly drove away from the center of Zhang Xing. In the car, L. Yu Sheng casually played with the keys in his hand, watching the scene along the way. The rank system of this military region is quite interesting. There is even a 12 star general. It is quite intuitive, the number of stars in combat power is the number of stars in the admiral. I don't know how many stars the general's standard is and how many stars are the military marshals. L. Yu Sheng reckoned that the generals and marshals reckoned that combat power alone was not enough, and they had to have certain military literacy and political talent. Just like Yu Fei, it is not the same as ordinary generals. L. Yu Sheng remembered Su Xian he had just seen, the five stars on his shoulders, and the general uniform he was making. I couldn't help but think. Wouldn't it be very troublesome if the combat strength rose once and changed into a military uniform? If I hit 20, 30, 50, 100 stars in combat power. Can you put so many stars on one epaulette? Thinking randomly, the military jeep stopped, and L. Yu Sheng looked out through the car window, his eyes lit up slightly. He also commented that Zhang Hongyu's residence is good, but there is no yard. Now he lives in a yard right away. Sir, please get out of the car. The officer leading the way took the initiative to open the door for L. Yu Sheng and respectfully invited him to get off. L. Yu Sheng was quite emotional, but he didn't expect that he would also become a military boss one day. After getting off the car, an extremely stylish manor villa appeared in front of L. Yu Sheng. Chapter 273 Good Boss 2 there are two large black gilt European-style iron gates, and there are two soldiers with steel guns standing guard at the door. The officer leading the way stepped forward and briefly exchanged a few words with the two, and the two soldiers immediately gave L. Yu Sheng a beautiful military salute. Hello, Chief. 
The phrase good boss reminded L. Yu Sheng of a certain comedy movie he had seen in his previous life. The most famous line in it is Hello, Mr. Wang. Not to mention, the manor villa in front of him is really a bit like the Wang Zong villa in the movie. It's just that the size is a little smaller, after all, it's a military area. But the force is higher than the latter, I don't know how much, and there are soldiers standing guard everywhere when you enter the door, and the weakest are also at the level of third level warriors. It's a military area after all. A third and fourth level martial artist can open a martial arts hall in Beihe City, or be a coach, a martial arts school principal, however, he can be regarded as a big or small person with a head and face. On my side, it can only be used to be on duty, to stand guard. L. Yu Sheng was a little emotional for a while. After the strength of martial arts has been improved, the social level has undergone earth-shaking changes, and there are many things that ordinary people can't even imagine. Although this manor is not big, it can also be ranked in the top five in the entire Ninth Theater. It was specially prepared by the military for the generals. While guiding L. Yu Sheng, the leading officer explained, all the soldiers on guard are from the military department, and they change every week. They receive the military department's meritorious awards, so adults don't have to worry about it. L. Yu Sheng listened and nodded occasionally. Walk down a granite stone boulevard flanked by manicured landscaping. There are not only soldiers standing guard in the manor, but also gardeners, carpenters, cooks, drivers, cleaning women and so on. L. Yu Sheng used his mental power to scan it roughly, and there were dozens of these people alone. The whole manor is like a large and orderly hole that exists only to serve one person. Now, L. Yu Sheng came and became its true core. As they walked, the officer led the way and let some people remember L. Yu Sheng's appearance and told them who would be the real owner of this manor in the future. The military will also allocate a few special cars for the adults. When the adults are free, I will personally go over and choose. The officer leading the way led L. Yu Sheng through the fountain pool in the center of the manor, stopped at the door of the house, and said respectfully, My name is Wang Ye, and if you have any instructions in the future, just contact me at any time. Saying that, he handed over a black phone the size of a slap. L. Yu Sheng took it and found that the mobile phone was also specially made with all functions. It just so happened that his original mobile phone had long been out of power and shut down during the fierce battle on the battlefield. Okay. Then take a good rest, sir, we will count your merit points as soon as possible and report to you in time. The officer leading the way opened the door for L. Yu Sheng, and when he walked in, he turned around and left. The villa is still luxurious. The first and second floors are connected by a spiral staircase with a width of more than three meters. On the left is the living room and on the right is the dining room. A maid in her early twenties with fair skin and big eyes squatted on the coffee table in the living room to wipe. There were also two maids in their thirties and forties. One is cleaning the handrail of the stairs, and the other is cleaning the vase. After L. Yu Sheng walked in, the three immediately stopped their movements, stood up respectfully and waited for his orders. You guys continue. L. Yu Sheng's eyes swept over the three of them at will, and said casually, prepare me something to eat. Yes. The youngest man on the side of the coffee table replied softly, then turned and ran quickly towards the back kitchen. This person is also a martial artist. He stepped on the smooth floor quickly, but hardly made any sound. It is estimated that he has received special training. L. Yu Sheng sat down on the sofa at will, his mental strength spread out, and he quickly scanned the whole house. I have a good idea of the structure of the house. What a luxury! Even if he never paid attention to these material things, he couldn't help sighing like this right now. Before his family came, he lived alone in the entire manor, and everyone served him alone. It's really a boss-level treatment. Waited for about ten minutes. The maid who left before came back with three people. Everyone had food in their hands. Will the chief dine here or in the dining room? The maid with big eyes stood in front of him and asked him. Dining room. 
El Yusheng got up, and the four quickly arranged the dining room. Plates of food in his hands almost covered the large round table with a diameter of four meters. He didn't leave after finishing the event, everyone held a pair of chopsticks in their hands, and waited for El Yusheng's look to serve him vegetables at any time. El Yusheng still hasn't gotten used to this kind of treatment. He doesn't like being disturbed when he eats, not to mention the four pairs of eyes staring at him. Go down, I'll eat by myself. Yes. The four of them didn't talk nonsense, and they retreated obediently. Before being left alone, the big-eyed maid stood four or five meters away from the round table, waiting quietly. El Yusheng picked up a piece of pink meat and put it in his mouth, and the whole person was instantly satisfied. He ate canned food on the battlefield for more than half a month, as well as unprocessed exotic animal meat that was either half-cooked or salty, and his taste was about to fail. Now finally back to normal people's recipes. El Yusheng ate slowly, but the food on the table was rapidly decreasing. He has mental power to help him, he doesn't even need to turn the table, and he can pick up dishes anywhere, which is equivalent to having more hands than others. When he was five or six full, El Yusheng slowed down. He took out the cell phone that the officer named Wang Ye gave him just now and turned it on. The commonly used software inside is downloaded, that is, the contacts in the address book need to be re-entered. He first logged into the chat software account. I haven't logged in for more than a week, and the message jumped to 999 plus instantly. El Yusheng quickly swiped the screen and found the news of his sister El Yu Qinghe and the family group in a pile of useless news. Brother, I'm almost a second level martial artist. Brother. Do you remember what I told you last time, the city's high school martial arts conference? Win the first place, proud. I'm so sick of it, every day there are foolish critics who come to challenge me, and I'm so arrogant and arrogant. I really need to beat, crazy. Brother, why don't you read the information for so many days? Mom asks if you will be back on New Year's Day? L. U. King he sent him more than ten messages almost every day and after more than half a month, he had accumulated more than 100 unread messages. El Yusheng read them one by one, picked out the key points and replied one by one, and finally said in the family group, I've been on a mission recently, and I'm too busy to look at my mobile phone, and my old mobile phone is broken. It may not be back on New Year's Day. At El Yudahai at Jenjiafen. As soon as the post was finished, the three people in the group were blown up. The fastest reply was naturally El Yu King He. After chatting privately over there, he was able to grab the first place in the group. He really deserved to be a second level martial artist right away. El Yu King He, fuck, you still know how to reply. I thought you were missing. El Yu Dahai, girls are not allowed to speak dirty words. At El Yu King He, angry, boys should be more careful outside alone at El Yu Sheng. Zheng Yufen, at El Yu Sheng, the weather turns cold, pay attention to keep warm. Zheng Yufen turn, shocked, the fifth level martial artist's illness caused by the cold caused the martial arts strength to regress. Dot. El Yu Sheng typed and replied while eating, chatting with the three of them. In the end, I simply used mental power to control the food into my mouth, using both hands. He thought about it for a while and briefly talked about his plan to move the whole family to the Jiangxing district. As expected, the three people, including El Yu King He, were hesitant. One by one showed reluctance. El Yu Sheng didn't expect to persuade his family once, take it slow. At this time, a new message suddenly jumped out. Qin Shaijun, El Yu Sheng, we are back. A photo from the helicopter is attached at the back. El Yu Sheng's eyes lit up. Ufei's division came back from the front. Feeling a little relieved, he quickly pulled out Dong King Xiu's chat box again. After waiting for a long time, I didn't see half a message reply. Maybe you don't have a cell phone, or your cell phone is out of power. El Yu Sheng picked it out in the emoji column for a long time, but finally, Li Qian's, was not sent. 
his relationship with Dong Qingxiu is strange now, far less harmonious and natural than before, and I don't know why. It seems to be caused by the spouse column information. L. Yu Sheng suddenly felt a little irritable. When he was about to turn off the phone and put it aside, he suddenly remembered something. He quickly dialed the number of the only contact on the phone, Officer Wang Yat. My lord, I'm Wang Yat, what do you want? The phone was connected almost in seconds, and Wang Yi's respectful voice came from there. L. Yu Sheng calmly said, Help me check, a man named Liu Kaiming. He is a recruit of the Eastern Military Region this year, from Beihe City. L. Yu Sheng briefly explained Liu Kaiming's information to Wang Yat. Wang Ye responded quickly, OK, I'll let you know as soon as there is news. Hanging up the phone, the last worry in L. Yu Sheng's heart relaxed Qin a little. Turning his head, he saw the maid with big eyes looking at him. L. Yu Sheng greeted casually, I'm done eating, so I need to clean up. Yes. The maid came up obediently. L. Yu Sheng got up and asked her name casually, and learned that her name was Li Dai. Her parents were both officers, and she grew up in the eastern military region. The second generation of Red also came to be a servant. L. Yu Sheng shook his head, raised his feet and walked to the second floor. Chapter 274 Dong Qingxiu, do you really like L. Yu Sheng? 3. L. Yu Sheng found a room on the second floor and went in, took off his clothes, and went to the bed. Exhausted like a tide, I soon fell asleep. In the dream space, L. Yu Sheng reappeared on the familiar dilapidated street. In the distance, a figure with one hand holding a knife and wearing a battle armor slowly looked up at him. L. Yu Sheng waved his hand at will. Don't fight today, I'm too tired, another day. After speaking, he hurried to the distance, found a street at random, and practiced the idea of amethyst view while mowing the grass. Ninth Theater Command. Twelve and a half stars. He Ding Jun stood up abruptly from his chair and stared at Su Xian in disbelief. A huge pressure fell on Su Xian, like a huge boulder covering the top, and the floor tiles under Su Xian's feet made a crunching overwhelmed sound. One after another clear cracks appeared on the floor. Su Xian's body was slightly tensed, and while trying to resist the terrifying pressure from the military generals, he nodded solemnly, Yes, I personally confirmed it. It is indeed the combat power of the top sect, far surpassing me. The pressure in the air suddenly loosened, and He Ding Jun's eyes lit up. He smiled and said, OK, finally there is good news. Twelve and a half stars. Nineteen-year-old bulk. And it's top-notch. He Ding Jun didn't know what words to use to describe the joy and joy in his heart at this time. When the martial artist is promoted to the eighth-level great realm, the gap between them will be greatly widened, exceeding the difference in any previous realm, and even exaggerating to an outrageous degree. And the reason for this situation, in addition to the time after entering the bulk, the most important thing is the potential. The greater the potential, the higher the upper limit of combat power that can be achieved. The quicker you can widen the gap with the same level of bulk. As a result, the difference in combat power of tens of millions or even recalled. 113 and this potential can also be said to be the embodiment of the foundation of martial arts. The more solid the foundation of martial arts, the higher the upper limit. This is a simple truth that any martial arts practitioner understands. But knowing is one thing, doing and how is another. Sometimes it may just be an omission in some details. Others did it, you didn't. Waiting for the 8th level great sect realm, it is a world of difference. The embankment of a thousand miles collapsed in the ant's nest, it is not a casual talk. There are many things, many truths, that you do not understand at the critical moment. After I understand it, I want to go back and make up for it, but there is no chance. How many amazing martial arts geniuses, He Ding Jun has seen too many people in the 8th level sect. This is also the main reason why L. Yu Sheng was a young master before, but in the military, he did not receive much attention, 
and was only regarded as the main reason for the observation and cultivation of general martial arts seeds. Moreover, many military leaders were not very optimistic about El Yusheng's potential at the time. Because the speed of his promotion to Grand Master is too fast, the promotion time is too short. It's hard not to be suspicious. This seemingly dazzling young genius, has the inner talent burned out. And now, the answer is there. Twelve and a half star combat power is enough to completely shatter the previous doubts of the military. As the most promising seven lights in the entire eastern military region, how many can reach this height? Martial Saint Seeds can no longer be called Martial Saint Seeds, but should be called Martial Saint Miozi. Possessing the qualifications to truly impact the Martial Saint, the potential is astonishing. He Ding Jun was so happy that he paced back and forth at the long desk. He had paid attention to L. Yu Shang before, and, BFBH, admired him quite a bit, but now L. Yu Shang gave him such a big surprise, which was really unexpected. Yu Fei from the 1182 division is back. He Ding Jun suddenly thought of something, and ordered Su Xian, call him for me, and I will reward him well. Yes, Commander. Su Xian nodded and left quickly. Standing in the office, He Ding Jun looked at the large cracked and messy floor in front of him, but he was indescribably happy and happy, and couldn't help laughing. The Ninth Theater, in the streets of the military district. The two figures walked side by side. One has a well-proportioned body, slender fingers, and half-length hair. Although his clothes are dirty and slightly embarrassed, his handsome face is cleanly wiped, and he has the temperament of an unruly prodigal son. The other person is tall and tall, with long and straight legs in tight combat pants, and his hair is casually tied into a ponytail behind his head, revealing a fair and delicate face, but his expression and temperament are slightly cold. It's back. My dear military district. Qin Shaijun stretched out his hands in a hug, his face full of relaxation and comfort. Dong Qingxiu glanced at this guy, silently distanced himself from him, and the disgust was beyond words. Wait a while, take a shower, clean up, and have lunch with El Yusheng at night. Qin Shaijun explained his plan to Dong Qingxiu and asked, Is there any problem? Dong Qingxiu hesitated for a moment, then shook her head and said, I won't go, you can go with him. Why? Qin Shaijun looked surprised, then frowned and said, Dong Qingxiu, I found that something is wrong with you recently, since El Yusheng came to the military area, not really, it should be said that it started when El Yusheng attended the National Martial Arts Conference. Every time you mention El Yusheng, you are always weird. We have been friends since childhood, and they are childhood sweethearts. You can tell me honestly, do you really like El Yusheng? If you talk nonsense again, I'll sew up your mouth. Dong Qingxiu spoke coldly, and several six-edged army thorns with blood stains on them floated quietly beside her. Qin Shaijun hurriedly jumped a few meters to the side, but he was still reluctant. Don't lie to me, I have been in love since elementary school. The number of girls I've talked to ranges from a thousand to a few hundred, and there are several illegitimate children. If you are so careful, a blind man can't see it. Dong Qingxiu stood on the spot her chest undulating slightly, more and more six-edged army thorns floated up, and her temperament was cold. Qin Shaijun felt that his scalp was numb, and he was about to leave at any time. In the next second, the ice and snow around Dong Qingxiu quickly melted away, and the dense thorns of the six-edged army also fell. What if you like it, what if you don't like it? Dong Qingxiu spoke calmly. Call. Qin Shaijun breathed a sigh of relief, walked back cautiously, and persuaded earnestly, go and tell him if you like it. El Yusheng is now a master, and Wu Sheng is too far away, but the great master is definitely appropriate. In addition to me, how many potential stocks can you find around you? Dong Qingxiu looked at Qin Shaijun with a puzzled look. Qin Shaijun didn't realize it, and continued to say, do you think that you are older than him? have less talent in martial arts, have a bad temper, 
and are not worthy of him in all aspects, so you feel inferior. The veins on Dong King Xiu's forehead jumped up and down, trying to resist the urge to shoot, took a deep breath, and said slowly, There is a part of the reason. God. Qin Shaijun suddenly turned his head, looked at Dong King Xiu with an incredible look, and exclaimed, Dong King Xiu, I'll try you anyway, I didn't expect you to really like Al Yu Sheng, he's your student. Do you know what your behavior is called? It's almost possible to enter the domestic area. Qin Shaijun, go to hell. Dozens of military thorns suddenly flew up. Qin Shaijun's face changed abruptly, the whole person disappeared suddenly, turned into a gust of wind and dodged wildly on the street, attracting the curious eyes of many passers-by. Until a few soldiers with guns ran over quickly. You two, fighting is strictly prohibited here. Did you hear me? Call. Dong King Xiu exhaled for a long time, her eyes flashed back with all the thorns of the six-edged army, and her pretty face said calmly, Sorry, we didn't fight, we were just discussing. Yes yes just learning from each other. Five or six meters away, Qin Shaijun's figure reappeared, bent over on his knees, sweating profusely, panting like a dog. The patrolling soldier glanced suspiciously at the two of them, and he didn't want to say anything else, but solemnly warned, please go to the actual combat hall, this is the street, what should you do if you accidentally hurt someone? You are also veterans, how can such a simple reason be so simple? Don't know. Feel sorry. Soldiers leave. Qin Shaijun raised his hand in surrender. Sister, I was wrong, I was joking with you, Hu Chi Hu Chi. Qin Shaijun walked back with an uncomfortable expression on his chest, breathing hard and said, I personally support you both with my hands and feet. What age is it now, what is the age difference between the two of you? It's no longer news that a 100-year-old master married an 18-year-old female high school student as his wife, and he couldn't even get into the top 100 hot searches. To be honest, the two of you are really good match. When L. Yu Sheng entered the training camp, I thought you two were married. Qin Shaijun, do you really want to die? Don't stop, I'm not talking nonsense. Qin Shaijun's face turned pale, he quickly returned to his seriousness, and said in a serious tone, Would you like me to help you find out what L. Yu Sheng said, I think he should also be interested in you. One thing to say, there is no teenager in this world who has not liked his beautiful teacher. Dong King Xiu's beautiful eyes flickered, and she subconsciously reached out to touch a silver pendant hanging around her neck. His expression seemed to move a little, but he finally shook his head. Forget it, it's impossible. How do you know if you don't try? Are you afraid of being rejected? Shame. Qin Shaijun patted his chest and said loudly, With me here there is no possibility of failure. No. Dong King Xiu said calmly, they won't agree with me and L. Yu Sheng. Them. Qin Shaijun frowned in confusion. The next second, he seemed to think of something, and said with an ugly face, you mean, those two brothers of yours. Chapter 275 The sister controls the mad demon, the fourth in the total list, three million merits. 4. Dong King Xiu didn't speak, but the expression on her face seemed to have said everything. Qin Shaijun opened his mouth and wanted to say something, but he didn't know where to start. He and Dong King Xiu grew up in the same courtyard when they were children, and he knew something about Dong King Xiu's family. Dong King Xiu's two older brothers. One is now in the central military region, the strength of the top sect, shining in the central region is one of the most important martial arts seedlings in the military region. The status is estimated to be higher than their current Eastern Seven Luminaries First Luminaries. One more is amazing. At the age of eight, he was sent to Cheyu Martial Arts Hall, and at the age of 16, he was admitted by Cheyu Wushan. At the age of 25, he became the third disciple of Wu Sheng. Now that I am approaching, I am not confused and God knows how far the strength has reached. Speaking of which, 
Qin Shijun has been by Dong Qingxiu's side for so long, but he has never had any thoughts about Dong Qingxiu. Dong Qingxiu's two brothers are one of the big reasons. The pressure is too great, and the scalp tingles just thinking about it. You have many brothers and sisters. They are not your brothers, but half-brothers. Why should they care about you? Qin Shijun smacked his lips and said unconvinced. Dong Qingxiu's face was calm, and she said lightly, Eldest brother is like a father, they have protected me since childhood. You also let them beat you when you were young. Qin Shijun's face became ugly, and he couldn't help saying, Dong Qingxiu, sister control is sick. Find time for your two brothers to see a doctor. Tell them yourself. Dong Qingxiu paused and said, my second brother told me some time ago that he will come to the military region soon and will come to see me. What? Qin Shijun jumped up as if his tail had been stepped on, and panicked, Dong Shenji is coming to the eastern military region? Is it true or false? Qin Shijun looked around nervously, as if the one in his mouth was hiding somewhere and would suddenly appear at any time. Don't worry, he's not here yet. Dong Qingxiu pondered, it seems to be escorting someone, and doing something for himself. Qin Shijun's face changed, and his eyes flashed quickly, even so, they may not agree with you and Liu Sheng. Liu Sheng is good enough. Young master. What else do they want? Dong Qingxiu looked at him and said faintly, what they mean, probably. The family background and martial arts strength must be at least as good as they can get their approval. Qin Shijun's tone was blocked and he was speechless. Family background and strength are two huge gaps between Liu Sheng and Dong Qingxiu. The high walls built by generations are not so easy to break. Master. Perhaps in the eyes of ordinary people, it is already a very remarkable achievement. But in the eyes of the Grand Masters and even the great families with continuous inheritance, they are only entry. The only thing that Liu Sheng can do, is probably the talent that seems to be terrifying enough at present. But this alone is obviously not enough in the eyes of the two sister control madmen. Thinking of this, even Qin Shijun couldn't help worrying about Liu Sheng. So, Dong Qingxiu calmly said to Qin Shijun, this matter has no results. Do I like Liu Sheng, or Liu Shenxi doesn't like me? It doesn't matter at all. Since it is completely meaningless and fruitless, why should it happen again? You know my character. Identity, age. When did you ever care? Qin Shijun opened his mouth, but in the end he could only say something dull, it's so embarrassing. After finishing the job, he seemed to feel that he was not relieved enough, so he kicked the ground hard, and smashed a small piece of cement pavement. Fuck the family. If I become a martial saint, I will definitely give you and Liu Shang a marriage. I think Dong Potion and Dong Shenji dare to give an extra fart. Dong Qingxiu looked funny and said, you can enter the master first and then talk about it. Qin Shijun was sulking, and his thoughts about matching Liu Sheng and Dong Qingxiu also faded. Dong Qingxiu's expression was calm. As she walked, she occasionally reached out to touch the dense silver pendant hanging around her neck. It seems that this has been quite satisfied. The two were walking on the road, when suddenly a group of people ran by with a hula law. Hurry up! They all looked excited and anxious, as if something major had happened. Qin Shijun looked curious and couldn't help but stretched out his hand and grabbed a young man in a lieutenant's uniform, and asked, What happened? What are you all rushing for? The young man who was stopped by Qin Shijun swept away Qin Shijun's epaulet, immediately gave a military salute, and said solemnly, Sir, it is said that a new twelve-star general has been born in our ninth theater. The airborne general ranked first in the star list, and also broke into the top seven in the overall list. We're now getting ready to prove it with our own eyes. Real or fake? Qin Shijun blinked an incredible look on his face. Turning to look at Dong Qingxiu, Dong Qingxiu was also a little moved. Go and see. It is good. The two of them didn't talk nonsense, 
and ran straight ahead with the crowd. After a while, the two rushed to the affairs center of the military camp. There are also star rankings here, just for these ordinary officers in ordinary military regions. The names on the star list are too far away, just like the stars seen on TV shows, they are not very related to them. But after all, they are also from the Ninth War Zone, and there are new top martial arts experts in the Ninth War Zone. It's like there are famous people in my hometown, and there are more or less proud emotions involved. So at this moment, the lobby on the first floor of the affairs center was crowded with people, almost filled with officers who heard the news. A burst of exclamations and discussions made the whole hall noisy. Qin Shijun and the two managed to squeeze into the hall and looked at the big screen. In an instant, their eyes widened, and their expressions were like seeing a ghost. Qin Shijun blurted out the words fuck. The stars are ranked first, and the overall ranking is fourth. Twelve and a half stars. More than three million merits. L. Yu Sheng. Duplicate name. Qin Shijun immediately looked at Dong Qingxiu beside him. Dong Qingxiu was equally confused. Qin Shijun grabbed a school officer beside him who was chatting with his companions, and asked anxiously, Dude, do you know the specific information of this new general? You're asking the right person when you ask me. The latter raised his eyebrows and said, As far as I know, the deeds of this land general are truly legendary. Less than a month after enlisting in the army, he went directly to the battlefield as soon as he came to the military region to report. Do you know the line of defense guarded by the 835th Division of the newly appeared Double A Borough? It was broken half a month ago, the division retreated, and the division leader also died in battle. Guess what the land general did? Good guy, just go to the front line alone. With one shot per person, he abruptly defended the already broken front line for a full half a month. I heard that the entire battlefield was covered with the corpses of alien beasts. The brothers who went to build defenses were stunned, and it took two whole days to clean the battlefield. If you want me to say, more than three million meritorious deeds are considered too few. With twelve and a half stars of combat power, how many people in the entire military can reach it? Just wait. It won't be long before the seven lights in the east will become eight lights. Bah, it's already B.A. Yao. Qin Shijun listened to this man and opened his mouth little by little, until it was so big that he could almost fit a fist into it. Really, is that the L.U. Sheng we know? Qin Shijun slowly turned his head and looked at Dong Qingxiu in disbelief. However, he was surprised to find that at this time, Dong Qingxiu's face was blooming with a strange brilliance. She stared intently at the name on the big screen, touched the dense silver pendant on her neck, and said softly to Qin Shijun, Call L. Yu Sheng for dinner at night. I'll call. Qin Shijun blinked and nodded. It is good. 1182 Division Ufei, report to the commander. Ufei, dressed in a straight military uniform, stood at the door and reported loudly. His expression was serious but from the slightly trembling left hand and the fine sweat oozing from his temples, he could still see that. Ufei's current mood is very nervous and excited. The commander personally received him, but not every division commander can have the honor. Not to mention being alone. Ufei joined the Eastern Military Region and has been in the military for decades. The last time I saw He Ding Jun. It was when he was promoted to Major General and appointed as the head of the 1182 Division. It was eight years ago. Ufei. He Ding Jun stood up from his seat and greeted with a smile, Come in and sit. Yes, Commander. Ufei strode into the office and sat down on the sofa. But even so, he only sat on half of his buttocks, his back was straight, his hands and feet were neatly placed and he didn't dare to move. Don't be too cautious. He Ding Jun came over, poured a glass of water for Yu Fei with a smile, and said, You did a good job this time. Yu Fei was refreshed and quickly said, It's all about the commander's good command. He Ding Jun chuckled, shook his head and said, It has nothing to do with me, 
it's because of your unique vision that you have made a good recommendation. Uh. Ufei was stunned for a while, not knowing why. Wasn't he Ding Jun meeting him this time because of his outstanding performance in the AA Burroughs defense line battle and successful defense? Unique vision? Recommended work? What's the matter, he can't understand at all. 